nap, just sleep in the club. Just take a nap and sleep in the club.
Here we go! Yeah! It's time to do it. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let me make sure all my stuff is where it should be. Mm. Looking good, looking good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All the truth seekers out there. This is Caesar coming to you live from Total Darkness. We're going to go into the chamber here in a second, but this is your last chance. I only want people who want to believe to go forward, all right? Go no further if you're a naysayer or a skeptic. We are here for the truth, understand? All right, let's get this started. Listening to my own voice play back to me just to make sure that we're in good shape. Looks like we are. That's good. That's good. All right. We're going to open up those lines. Chat. How are we doing tonight? We doing good? We ready to share some conspiracies? Some stuff you've been thinking about? Am I too loud? Am I too soft? I've got the gain way up. Because I was, I was talking throughout the vid there, and uh, I couldn't quite hear myself. But, uh, we want to know, is Cobra dead? Are his latest videos deepfakes? What happened to Warlord? How does he get away with drinking so much ZZ Quill? We want to know. Pray to seizure five times a day. Well, that's good, that's good. Let me, uh... Let me adjust this. There we go. We are going to open up those lines here in a moment. I hope you all are ready. I wanted to update you guys. There's going to be a new two-minute timer. So that... I'm sorry, three-minute timer. That will be a hard stop. It's so that we can cycle through people quickly. We can hear more crackpot theories. All right? Yeah, so uh, if you want a little sneak peek at that, make sure it's working for me, too. Check that out. Uh, good, okay, it's not making noises. Yeah, three minutes, and then you're going to get flushed. Sorry, Fred. So, I'm going to open up the lines now. Let's get down to the bottom of it, shall we? There's your number. Dial it up. See if you can get inside. Hello, caller. You're first. What's up? Yo. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, friend. Well, now you're first. It's like uh, we picked up where we were. You were dead last. Now you're first. Yeah. Well, uh, what kind of theories you got? Bowling? Uh, Warlast, a.k.a. Warlord, a.k.a. Sasha. Yeah. So, I think hey, that, my bad. I gotta let you know. I had you muted for a second there. It's corrected. So we lost, I don't oh, know, shit. 10 seconds of me riffing with you. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. Wow. All right. So yeah, I think uh, I think Warlord has got something to do with it. I think he uh, came back for his vengeance after being uh, after being rejected by the Boglum. I think that has something to do with it. You so know, he Clint, came back and uh, killed him. You're saying? Maybe, maybe killed him. Maybe kidnapped him. It's hard to tell. It's hard Let's to tell. See. People saying, better not unmute. 
Let me listen real quick. Oh, no. No, you should be coming through. I, I just heard the playback. Oh, okay. That that should have all gone through. Nothing like being the first. You get to endure all of my uh, emotional problems and technical issues. Uh, people oh, yeah. are saying been, that we're good now. Okay, I've been here. I've been been waiting. So. Yeah, talk about a, a spurned lover. We've got a, a yeah. guy right here who has been mistreated and abused. And uh, mm-hmm. did you have a name for yourself? Did you call yourself anything? Uh, I'm Faux Fady in the chat. If you want to, if anyone uh, sees Slow me in there, Faux Fady, Fady music. Faux Fady. Oh, okay. Uh, F-A-D-Y music. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. You, you're the music man, eh? Oh, yeah. I love music. Oh. I love, I love the shit that you play. You got some really good uh, taste. Thank you. I wish I could make music. I'm really bad at that. I need to get myself oh, yeah. some Fruity Loops and, and make midis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love making electronic music. It's great. It's my favorite. So yeah. uh, how did Warlord do it when he came back? Did he break down the door and get to work? Maybe. Uh, maybe he went through the window. As we know, that's a common thing for people to go through oh, Josh's yeah. apartment. Yeah, it's a vulnerability you know. right there. You know, uh, we also know that basically all you have to do is offer him just a little bit of alcohol and he'll let you back in so you know maybe maybe roofied maybe roofied him Ooh. oh yeah well i think there has been a hint that he's been up to that uh lately or at least in the past even uh cool taste was okay. saying hey don't put anything in my drink bro <laughs> oh, man, right, i didn't friend. know that i, I should right. give you more time but i'm gonna adhere to it in the last 10 seconds here anything you want to leave with i uh, i mean it's great i'm i can't believe i got in this yeah cobra's blessings friend thanks for sticking it out your patience was rewarded all you got to do is wait patiently all right a boy all right all right yeah chat saying relax your shoulders do some shoulder stretches i'm sure this is gonna seem like it's uh 10 minutes afterward when someone said that but uh, yeah relax take it easy this is a safe environment yes call you're live hello i can't hear you call you may be muted i'm gonna give you a second before i start your timer No? Guess not. Sorry, buddy. Better luck next time, Blood Lunch. Let's call her. You're live. What's up? Hey, what's up, dude? So I got an idea. Uh huh. The truth lies in the vape juice that Cobra was sending. Oh, he's been getting a lot of very sussy vape juice. Tell me about it. <laughs> that stuff was cursed, my friend. I would say so. What kind of lethal dose of vape do you think he got? I mean, just about 100% cancer, I'd say. Yeah, well, I think he was already Never- getting that from the coil. I think that was a 50-second long video. He takes a puff and then... Suddenly he goes offline, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, real talk, though, that getting was sent. He, like That was when we went dark on him right after that video. Yeah, because he, he got that <laughs> big-ass cold, his head cold, which this isn't the first time he's gotten that. He starts hitting up the ZZ Quill real hard. Which, by the way... Just in time for the Gore concert. Now let's get nice and sick to go see Gore. <laughs> <laughs> Love how he had that up. He knows that they sprayed blood on the fans. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Bud Light trick and spray that on the fans. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the crowd loved that. Getting old piss drink sprayed all over them. <laughs> Smells like old throw up and bile. Cause he he had the Bud Light. On top of, he had like a a mixed drink with him, but he had to go double up, right? 
because the long oh, yeah. the line was wrong here. Yeah. I'm sure people were buying so drinks me, too because you know it's my, famous. My flat, like, you remember? Uh, uh, that my bad. I'm, I'm so excited. I don't mean to talk over you. The uh, Ozzy concert where he bought like a Jack and Coke that cost twenty bucks. <laughs> always getting grifted at these oh, yeah. concerts well well that's that's for the god ozzy i mean he'd probably pay 50 bucks for a jack and coke at an ozzy concert oh yeah easily well, well, gore the, it, it, but was he known for liking gore what was this fan that chose to give him a gore ticket <laughs> um good question i guess they're looking let me let me check something. I'm gonna give you an extra thirty seconds here. I'm getting a message that callers are still coming in a little soft, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna crank up the boost right now. We're gonna get boost power. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, I see the problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. You should be coming in much louder now. Thank you for. Uh, okay the heads up chat we're gonna give this guy an extra 30 seconds after the timer's done that's great yes sir yes sir you shouldn't have to suffer because of my mistakes <laughs> no you're fine uh, yeah gore you know uh he said he was getting harassed a lot uh at the concert people yeah. were yelling at him there how many how many trolls do you think were there just in the sidelines, we got like two good photos of, you know, trolls that got some photos with them. I yeah. heard a rumor that, and this this mm -hmm. is, uh, we don't know for sure, I heard a rumor that people were texting him threats with pictures of yeah. him as he was at the <laughs> concert. Can you believe that? In real time, like yes. they... <laughs> We've got some cast. How many people in Casper just follow him constantly? I wonder. Oh, like how many uh, local native trolls yeah. do we got? I'm, we're like six years in. I'm pretty sure every like 28 year old in Casper who is goth knows about Josh, and they they're just on him 24 seven. I'll bet you. I mean, there's nothing else to do. If I was in Casper, I'd you know I'd keep track of them. Oh yeah, for sure. Probably, uh, hey, what? you know, pester <laughs> him. bother him. I I guess he went live the other day, but I'm not convinced he's actually back from the dead. Oh yeah, I think he is gone. I think he yeah. is dead. All right, friend. He's, he's the one. With... All right, man. <laughs> that... Sorry to give you the boot. I feel bad. I gotta stick to this timer. That's my my All name right, is Johnny. Dog. Just so you know, was that I did the village? I did. I'm, I'm Johnny D. I did the village drunkard on your cool art. Oh, oh you're a Remember? legend. The oil painting, man. The real, yeah. only real artwork. I <laughs> thought that was gonna win, my dude. That was it's quality. Still, look, man, it, it's on your epic website. That's all that matters to me. That's right. Deep fart contest dot neo cities dot org. Check it Part out. Part two coming twenty six. Yes, sir. I, you know, I'll have to rev that up again. Here, take your time, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Have All right, nice night, man. bud. Wind's dying down. Catch you on the flippity flip. See ya, bro. See ya. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Ville Drunkard, that is a good one. That is a quality portrait. Yeah. Yes, caller. Welcome, welcome. I made it to the show. You done made it. What can I do for you? Well, I have a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. What Pretty solid idea, too. Okay. Am I coming through all right? Oh, you sound good to me. Uh, chat will, of course, let us know in the event. Certainly. So, I think Sasha Warlord Campbell went to Josh's house, mm -hmm. killed him, and is wearing his skin oh. and is uploading videos. Oh. Because Josh, I don't know if you've like seen Gwar's set, like, sets before, but they have like a lot of dicks and props 
and Josh wouldn't, I don't think, Josh couldn't even be around Sasha <laughs> with the shirt off. No, no. Wouldn't get that close. So he pulled an Ed Gein and is now wearing Cobra as a skin suit. Yep. Because there's no denying, Warlord has always wanted what Josh has. Big time. He's been jealous. 100% yeah. agree. Making his uh, cheap imitation bootleg uh, pipe thoughts videos inside of a cardboard box. Yep. Yeah. No, we can see right through you, Warlord. Mm. You know how scary yeah. that would actually be to see him, his little itty bitty, frail little Frame. body inside of Cobra's big ass husk? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> his husk. <Ugh. laughs> Like a, you know, I wonder if uh, like a snake or a cicada, he molts and leaves behind a shell. How much for that? Of Josh's old corpse. Just uh, just on the regular, as you know, instead of showering, he just molts, and you can find the, oh. like yeah. a semi-transparent uh, carpus next to a tree or something. In his bed. He, that's where he keeps them in the bed. <laughs> yeah. That's why he doesn't show us his room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a lot of dark secrets out there, man. That's so disgusting. That's so gross. Yeah, so uh, Warlord killed him. We have a lot of theories, I want to say already, that Sasha finally did the <laughs> deed. Now they can be together forever. Yep. Oh. They'll always be together. Man. Speaking of Warlord... I asked last time, uh, do you still plan on releasing the part two of Josh versus Warlord? Yes. Yes. Awesome. I will say... The Killer Spree thing was great. Thank you. That one, uh, eventually my, my stuff gets finished, even if it does take a while. I remember like I, I made a podcast and maybe something else in between, but the Killer Spree started shortly after that actual video. That's how long it had been on the back burner. Oh, wow, yeah. It's messed up, but uh, eventually I deliver. Just like Cobra, you gotta oh, wait Oh, I know. Oh, I know you do, Caesar. Oh, oh thank you. Well, thanks for having me on there. Oh, anytime, anytime. I appreciate the time. Oh, you're welcome. Catch you later, friend. <laughs> Yo. Are you in? Hello. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yes, Caesar. Yo. It's time to talk, bro. It's time to talk about uh, these conspiracies. All right, let's get down to brass stacks. It's a doggy dog world, friend. It is. Yes. It's absolutely a doggy dog world, and it's time to talk about it. It's time to get into these theories, bro. All right, all right. I'm ready to deep dive. I'm sitting down. I'm my ass is firmly planted in my chair. What you got? I'm glad. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go into Josh. Mm. So Josh, he's not even autistic. He is not autistic at all. This entire time, he's been trolling us. And I know you know this, Seizure. I know you know this. You can't prove that. I you, okay. Well, I can't prove it, but. The proof is in the pudding. Have you seen his videos? There is many times where he is self-aware. He is trolling all of us. He's got us by the balls, and I know you know this. Oh, Don't even true. try to kid me. No, he does have me by the balls. I agree. Yes, he owns my sad, pathetic troll life. And yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and I can't get over it. Okay, Same with right. Sean. Sean, there's something going on with Sean. I think Warlord's original soul has been planted into Sean. I do not think that Warlord is Warlord anymore. That he's a transgender alien that has been supplanted into Warlord's body, and Warlord is now into Sean, and he's screaming in agony. It's like a Black Mirror episode. I think he deserves some kind of punishment, and that is one form that I could get behind. Present Warlord is just a sex zombie. All he thinks about yep. is how horny he is, and maybe sometimes that he's hungry, but mostly that he wants to bang somebody. It's ridiculous. You're not lying. No. You're not lying. He, he's craving it, and he sees Josh as his prime prey. He has been building Josh up for the longest time. He has been 
treating Josh as a veal, a venison mm. chop that he <laughs> is, is just building up. I know you know this, Seizure. I know tenderizing you know him gradually. Yeah, breaking him down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, uh, uh, my girlfriend right now wants to say hi to you. Is that okay? Y yes, you have permission. Hi, Seizure. Hello. I love you. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. Good to hear it. <laughs> is, your, is your man's taking good care of you? Yeah, he's very nice. He's a very nice guy. He's not as crazy as he sounds. Do you watch Cobra before bed? You watch a few videos? Help you relax? All the time. Oh, that's I'm nice an of age, cisgender, alive, willing fangirl of cobras. Mmm. And you're not an animal. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Well, no. not not an animal. Great to hear it. Uh, honestly, Cobra <laughs> it breaks up a lot of relationships, causes a lot of marital problems. Honestly, honestly, we have an understanding. Mm. I, Cobra is my my one. You know how everybody has a path. He's my one like path. That's that's the one that I'm gonna choose out of everybody. Are you guys married? No, not yet. No. I want you to no. uh, bring up Cobra somehow during your wedding vows, okay? <laughs> we will. All right, get to work <laughs> on that. I'm already All thinking right. about it, yes. Have a good night, sweetheart. You too. Love you, Seizure. Love you too. Bye-bye now. Isn't that nice to hear? A man and a woman getting along because of Cobra and not the opposite. I think someone in chat was saying that uh, Cobra actually caused a marriage to fall apart and disintegrate. Isn't that nuts? Man. Hello? Oh my god. Yeah. What is going on, Caesar? I can't believe I got in. Oh, you made it. <laughs> I, I, you know, trying to get I... people through. I, I think this is working out well. <laughs> First. Yeah. Before we talk about the conspiracies, I like to say you made a little animation of uh, of uh, J Jason Saunders wearing a little cowboy hat, and I applaud you, Seizure. I love that. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I love, love watching <laughs> the little baby. <laughs> it's just a little dancing baby. Are you but... familiar with uh, Ally McBeal and the original from uh, <laughs> late '90s, early 2000s? <laughs> It's it's the best thing that I've ever seen. Yeah, but... it's it's a grim little <laughs> reminder that he's he's never gonna have Jason at this rate. He's mocking. <laughs> no, no, he just gotta keep on waiting patiently. Yeah. That's Caesar, a great you have strength. to understand. <laughs> but <laughs> I <laughs> I I feel that he Cobra he ate one too many Doritos Locos tacos and just just emptied out his bowels inside of his his godforsaken toilet oh he shattered and now to death. yeah <laughs> the the chair bugs need su substance oh. so they've 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 overtaken him like uh like the cordyceps and right now we're we're watching like the parasites overtake josh and every time he he does the mental reboot right he he stutters a little bit and that's actually him trying to fight the parasites it's my theory to he's gonna hit that ratio he's gonna be more bug than man <laughs> yeah. that's god though what how sick it is to be a, a walking corpse <laughs> that's yeah. the ultimate goth oh gosh they they <laughs> embrace death and uh being bug food is the ultimate and uh just rolling with it <laughs> what a guy i before you kick me off, I don't know how long we've talked, but I, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Our, uh, I, I have another theory. This isn't pertaining to death, but I think our boy, Josh, I think he grinds his piece when he sleeps. Grinds his piece? Yeah, yeah. You mean um, his dong? You could see it, right? Um, in every single uh, video, you could see like his teeth are getting smaller and smaller. Oh, his teeth. And <laughs> Yeah, bruxism. Yeah, I yeah. think he's grinding his teeth. And whenever he 
he passes out, either it be the Ezekiel or the alcohol, that's the only time he doesn't grind his teeth. Any other, like, if he just sleeps normally, 100%, I think he's grinding his teeth, and that's why it looks so damn small. Yes, the, the front teeth are uh, really ground down. They should never be a completely flat line. Uh, what's his face? The U.S. president had bruxism as well, uh, Roosevelt, and he had the completely flat teeth. Uh, but yeah, it's it's nuts. It's crazy. I um, I got I recently got into the Cobra verse, and I I my first video of Cobra was a cigarette video, and I I went on his channel and I I saw his little like cigarette magic trick. Yeah. And I'm like, no way, this is him. <laughs> this is there's no ways. And I I just I watched him decline so so much. I I. Cobra, if you're watching this, I know you're not, but if you are, dude, you gotta get into AA, man. I don't, I don't want you to be this, this ghoul, this boggum. I want a live stream from AA. I'm gonna give you some homework before I let you go. There's a video <laughs> out there of him playing with the Zippo lighter, and he sets his hand on fire. Oh no, I've seen that. That's okay. The best. Kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy. I, I. Cobra, you need to go back to how you were, man. I, I'm tired of these gender relations. <laughs> we're all sick. Ran? We're, we're more sick of it than he is, Tubes. <laughs> Thank you for the call. Thank you for the content. Absolutely. Uh, catch you on the flip side, Tubes. Cobra's blessings. <laughs> Yo. Seizure. How's What's it going? Uh, thanks, boy. Satan, I got through. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't have much time to explain. Uh, I've got some insider information on Cobra's death. Uh, I am not, wink, wink, from the CIA. Uh, can you assure me that this is a secure phone line? Yes, this has been uh, encrypted about five to six times. So, Perfect. I'm glad the proper that. preparations have been made. Yes. Is this, uh, are, are you an associate of Gape Porn? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, we, we were there together on uh, what's his division. Uh, I, I can't remember. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're, yeah, we, we work in the same office. Uh, so Courtney from Courtney Sucks Discord uh, is actually an agent for Iranian intelligence. Uh, she's been trying to stop Cobra's magic from defeating ISIS. Mm. Uh, and uh, actually, Josh's uh, magic had been causing real problems for ISIS. Uh, Courtney, Courtney was worried that his wand making might allow Joss's magic to spread beyond Casper. So she has been funneling money through pay pigs to make Josh lazy. Oh. Uh, someone even bought him a wand lathe, uh, which was actually an elaborate ruse to try to injure Josh's hands. Uh, to stop him from casting magic. I'm trying to get him to injure himself, that's right. His wand hand, trying to grind it up. Exactly. Oh. She's also been funding his alcoholism to try to reduce his magical powers, uh, so the CIA had to intervene. Uh, they actually faked Josh's death to try to get him out of Courtney's control. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, as Josh was being escorted to a secure CIA facility, uh, we realized we forgot his cigarettes. Uh, and he went into an autistic rage and used his magic to escape. Uh, so un unfortunately, he's back in uh, Courtney's control. Uh, the CIA had previously deployed Special Agent Matt Green to try to reduce Courtney's influence. Oh, he would be uh, agent, which, yeah. It worked to an extent, but uh, we, we've also uh, called upon our allies uh, to deploy other assets. Uh, Britain's MI6 deployed Crystal Roberts. Uh, but we're quite worried about her. We're, we're not sure that this isn't a British ploy to get Cobra's magic under British control. Uh, and we need your help on this matter, Seizure. Uh, would you be willing to uh, act on behalf of the CIA to, uh, to get some agents to stop this Iranian intelligence asset from compromising Cobra? No, I don't work with any feds. I thought you knew better oh. than that. Your file should have a big old document on me. Unless... I want full pardons for all my data hoarding and pirating, okay? I want a free pass. Well, we, we, we have some, some ins with uh, the Biden administration. I know Cobes isn't too big on Biden, but yeah. uh, if you'd be willing to, to work with Biden, maybe we could work something out. Mm. Uh, 
someone's knocking at my door. Uh, if it's Courtney, I'm going to have to commit suicide. So I'm going to have to let you go here. Uh, All right. Here. Get that uh, cyanide tooth ready and uh, get a, a few extra for uh, Cobra ready. He needs some new teeth, period. All right. Will do. All right. Over and out, friend. Hmm. Yes, caller, you're live. Yeah, hey, um, glad to talk to you, Seizure Robot, big fan. Oh, big fan so, of you. Aren't you getting kind of sick and tired of Cobra at this point? I mean, like, over the last couple of years, I mean, like, really things have gone downhill. It's not as much fun as it used to be, right? <laughs> well, the running joke for me has always been we are in the worst era of Cobra, no matter what time it is. And admittedly, especially God, like the past year or so, uh, it's been pretty lame. It feels like ever since you moved to the new apartment, it's been like the last few seasons of a show you really liked and they bring in new writers and everything feels kind of uncanny. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So I've got a conspiracy theory and I, uh, I have personal evidence to back this up, but mm. One thing that's always bothered me about Cobra is his claims for being autistic. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no chance whatsoever this guy's actually autistic. This is beyond proof. Like, he's... It's an excuse. I mean, it's, again, uh, it's, it's much easier to take your son who's got social problems or learning disorders into a specialist and for somebody in that position with a license to say that your son is autistic instead in reality it's pretty obvious that the guy's just stupid or has fas yeah, yeah. you know he's just uh i i don't know you know like he's always used that as a crutch it's like his uh, go-to like okay you know i'm autistic it's not bothering the uh the autistic person you know his, his great suffering it, it it makes me sick because you know working with actual autistic people in real life you see somebody like josh and it just makes me upset maybe i'm getting too mad at the internet <laughs> but you know it, I, I i don't think that it's <clears throat> have you ever thought of maybe uh have you uh looked into like uh cyrax you know what I'm yeah, talking about here? he's too much of a horror cow for like, me. A, okay, yeah, no, he's a little bit disturbing, but you know, yeah. like, uh, there's been a recent crossover with, uh, you know, J, uh, King Cobra and Cyrax and, uh, God, I forget her name, uh, Gothic, what's her name? Oh, uh, Gothy. Yes, Gothy, yeah, so I think that might be, uh, interesting material, but anyways, I'm sorry, I don't want to keep you on much Not uh, at all. too long, but I... I really do enjoy your content. You're incredibly talented. Thank One you. last question, if I may: What do you do for a living? Like, are you an actually graph like a graphic artist? In no, uh, I'm an IT guy, and I hate it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you spend all your time doing what you do. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you for uh, talking to me. Anytime, friend. All Have right. a good one. Bye now. Ah. Chad, settle down. Calm yourselves. We got the timer. I can't be hanging up on people willy-nilly. Three minutes. Three minutes. Keep it moving. See Van Wayward screaming because he wants to come in and talk about stuff. Freaking going to get banned at this rate. No, no, stop screeching about kicking people. It's hard getting in here. Oops, my bad. Yeah. Yay. Hey. Yeah, who's this? What's, what's going on? Oh, not much. Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't expect to get through, so here's the the gist of it. My husband's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy right now. Mm. Um, uh, so he's in inpatient rehab. Oh, Cobra is. Yeah, he's an oh. inpatient rehab. Let's combine that with the one where um, Warlord's wearing his skin. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a Venn diagram of him in rehab yeah. and Warlord wearing his skin. Gotcha. 
Yeah. I'm kind of stoned for this. Gonna hand the phone to my husband. All right. Yeah, pass that baton. Uh, yeah, um, uh, my theory is that, uh, that Josh's alcoholism and, uh, his, his, the strength of his magic, um, his magic has backfired. Mm. And, uh, he has written, he's written his own destiny, um, in the stars, and, uh, um, he has actually been the source of Warlord's transition. And now they're destined to be together. Josh has betrayed his magic, and now he's destined to be with a trans woman. Something that he very... Cobra yeah, Cobra Angel. Um, oh, yeah. Something that he very clearly um, has a, uh, a disliking for. You know, especially when he drinks. So he his goes magic made him gay. Yeah. Well, Ooh. not gay. I mean, well... I mean, I don't know. Well, you know. I guess yeah, technically Sasha hasn't fully transitioned yet. So would that make him gay? Gay one? No, 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 uh, no. But... No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not gay. But she has a dick. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know how to go about that one. I was talking to someone who was uh, very up to date on on being politically correct, and talked about Sasha slash Warlord and they didn't even want to watch it uh, a little bit oh, wow. of a ways in because a, a lot of these people you you want to respect them and observe their pronouns and stuff but some people like Chris Chan or Warlord are just so absolutely insane it's it's not like every person transitioning is a, a good guy a good person sometimes they are oh, scummy yeah. and uh, it can create a big old dilemma for people who aren't used to seeing that side of it yeah, yeah. Man. Sorry Absolutely. to go off there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think that uh, uh, Cobra has uh, has subconsciously decided that Sasha is his uh, his OTP, his one true pairing. Doesn't want to show it on camera. Yeah. And they're spending quality time together. Yeah. 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 All right. May maybe maybe she'll get him sober. We'll get so so Cobes. Uh, if anyone was going to get Cobra sober, it is not Sasha slash Warlord, whatever. Get him on meth, maybe. He might be really pepped up, but that's about well, it. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, it'll be a uh, contrast from the alcohol. Right? He'll, <laughs> he'll be, uh, he'll be uh, Eastern Kentucky sober. Is that what they call uh, it? Where you, yeah, it's where you only do meth. Well, I like Josh on stims much more than on booze, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, dog. I'm afraid your time is up. It was great to have you and your lovely partner. Uh, good good times. I like the hearing her in the background. That made me laugh. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Nice, nice to talk to you. Oh, bye, guys. This had better be a hot woman. Hello? Hello? Is this a hot woman? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, damn. I lucked out. Who have we got here? Hey. Uh, hey. This is uh, <laughs> Agent Deep Butt. Um, Agent Deep Butt? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's funny. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I got a lot of jokes. Um, Keep them coming. Oh no no no. <laughs> 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 uh, so my my little conspiracy theory is um, that Cobes has congestive heart failure as well as COVID right now, and I think he actually is low key, high key dying. Ooh. Um, and I think that Clint is a horrible dad who needs to, uh, step in and fucking do something and not, uh, fuck off in Ireland for once. Yeah. You know, everything went wrong when Clint went overseas because, uh, right after he got back, Cobra had this mystery bill 
where he owes like, I don't know, 700 bucks or something. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, oh, Clint goes wow. away and now uh, Cobra's in the shit. He owes money. Mm. And he's sick. He got really sick, too. <laughs> <laughs> got his head cold when Clint left town. Taking care of him. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, you think uh, heart failure is what you said, right? Yeah, man. That fucking cough. The, the cough is bad. It's real bad. He kind of sounds like an old man laughing sometimes when he gets going. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know that noise? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Mm-hmm. no, uh, heart failure. Or, hmm. wasn't expecting <laughs> what, that. You don't think so? I just, I don't know the symptoms personally, so I don't even know what to look for with heart failure. You know? Well, um, yeah, well, uh, I don't know. Look up some samples of, I don't know, people who are uh, going through it, <laughs> yeah. how they cough. It, it, it's a very specific sounding cough. The death rattle, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, not, well, not exactly like that, but <laughs> yeah, death rattle. <laughs> yeah, he's about to go. Tell you um, what. Right after we wrap up here, I'm going to read off some symptoms. I'm on Mayo Clinic, and I think you're on to something here. I'm going to share it with chat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, All right. Good to have you. Thanks for the laughs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, good. well uh, good night, Caesar. Good night, uh, chat. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, bye. All right. So, symptoms of heart failure, which can be ongoing or it can be sudden. Um, hide this real quick. Uh, fatigue and weakness. Eh, swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet. Now, he did have the red foot. I don't know if that would count as swollen. Also, uh, thank you, Burger Boy, for the $20. That's extremely generous of you. Very much appreciated. Trying to keep a, an eye on chat. That's why I'm yelling at people for uh, telling me to dump people. <laughs> Reduced ability to exercise. That's funny. Persistent cough or wheezing with a white or pink blood-tinged mucus. Now, when he finally coughs and there is something in it, you know that he's at death's door. You know we got problems when he starts coughing up any kind of uh, white mucus. That's weird. Uh, Or pink mucus. You know, he does have a lot of boogers flying out of his nose when he gets going. Would that count? You know, the white stuff where it's really uh, opaque? Uh, Swelling of the belly? That could just be his weight gain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nausea and lack of appetite. Cobra hasn't been wanting to eat. Uh, He blames it on his cold, but he did say he doesn't want to eat anything. Well, geez. Uh, Thanks for cueing us into that. Cobra may be suffering from congestive heart failure. If that's the case, I hope he recovers soon. Uh, I don't think any of us want him to actually die. If you do, then, uh, I don't know, watch someone else. You, you can wish that on Cyrax or somebody, but not Cobra. Is this a international caller we got here? Uh, yes, it is, Sage. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. I'm honored. I saw the really long no, string no. of numbers and, and thought, oh. No. The, the honor is all mine. I am calling from uh, Upside Down Land in Australia. Ah, yes. Some of our most notable trolls hail from there. That's how they make yeah, them. Trolls. There's a lot, of, a lot of trolls here. Yeah, I guess it's the, uh, the environment that we grow up in here, you know. And no one can touch you. No one from the States can come get you. There's no punishment. No big old island that we're on here there's, yeah. there's no getting to us <laughs> well, what can I do for you hey uh, well uh, I don't know if you noticed but at the beginning right when you started I think I saw our boy in chat oh 
Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably watching this right now. This is not for Josh though. This is not his stream. This is your stream, Seizure. Yeah, this is my house. Not welcome. No, no. But you find him, delete, ignore, ban, get oh. rid of him. Tell you what, I did enjoy talking with them that one time with uh, Crystal. That was a really fun conversation. Yes, yes. and that was uh, that was very fun to watch. I think uh, everyone would agree. Um, I think you uh, approached it and asked him some questions that I think uh, a lot of us were thinking and would have enjoyed asking. Um, so well done on that one. Got him on the G fuel too. The Cobra's fog. Trying to, trying to get that G Fuel demon going. Because I know that you've noticed as well, when he is on the G Fuel, if he is streaming, it is a it is a different experience. I think you're getting you're getting peak cobes when he's uh when he's on the G Fuel. Oh yeah. And I mean I just want him to have energy regardless if I'm gonna be talking to him. If he's too far gone, uh he'll barely respond to anything. He'll be exhausted. Oh, I know, I yeah. know. Um, yeah, that and, uh, you know, I mean, we've seen him, you know, duck away a couple of times to the bathroom for a prolonged, prolonged period. I don't know if he's got some of that extra special G fuel in there that he uses every now and then. You know, thank you for reminding me. I'd love, uh, some speculation on this. Have you seen Cobra's wet ass? Oh, yes, I absolutely have. And strangely enough, Sometimes when it's at its wettest, it when he hasn't been doing his uh, his beer trick or he hasn't spilled one of the six beers that he spills every night, it's it just seems like the wetness is coming out of the chair to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, the bugs are, the bugs are trying to do something to get him away so that oh. they can escape finally. I'm not sure. It's acting like a sponge. I gotcha. uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was yeah. the other way around. I thought he was getting so wasted because he he can't feel a whole lot when he's in the throes of his no. drinking, and he's just like pissing himself yeah. and can't notice. And and I'm sure it, it probably happened once or twice, and now it's normal. Now it's habitual. He doesn't even notice. Doesn't even believe us trolls when we're telling him that he's pissed himself. <laughs> Man, I'm wild. I'm getting distracted, my friend. I keep seeing Cobra supposedly in chat, uh, regrettably from the YouTube control center. I can't check to see if it's actually his uh, channel. I'm not buying it. Cobra, it can't be. if it's really you, it can't be. send me a text message with proof. Send me a pic and I'll call you. Otherwise, well, I just saw him saying that uh, that he he is a sicko, so it definitely can't be him. But now he's telling me to get a life, so oh, who knows? I, I I think I'm sold. If, if he's saying he's a sicko, then uh, that's most definitely Cobra. Sold, most definitely. Well, anyway, uh, well, yeah. look, I'll I'll let you try to get in contact with him. Uh, best of luck. Oh, and, thank uh, you. Best of luck with the rest of the stream. Yeah. Appreciate it. Have a good one uh, down Bye, there yeah. in uh, the ass of the earth. That's right. The uh, the wet chair of the earth, maybe. Yeah, the wet chair. <laughs> Soak it up. <laughs> All right, Fred. Bye, See you. Yes. Who have I got here? restart that timer who have i got here oh hey is this seizure this is seizure speaking oh goodness gracious man this is beetlejuice beetlejuice hey hey what's going on big guy oh not too much are you named after the howard stern character uh no i i really like the uh, constellation orion so Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, buddy. Man what we got here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Dude, uh, great stream tonight. I just want to say, hey, long time listener, first time caller. It's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure to be on with you, buddy. Oh, great to have you here. Appreciate the positivity. I think we got things moving real nicely here. What do you think of the timer? Um, I'm, you know, I just got up to walk around my house. I'm not looking at it. I think it's a good call, though. 
Um, it's a good compromise. Yeah, you don't, yeah, it is. Yeah, you don't want some people hogging on the airwaves. But uh, I, I won't keep you too long. But, you know, I got the news today about uh, Cobra's passing. Indeed. And, uh, you know, I'm reminded of the uh, Don McLean song, American Pie, you know, talking about Buddy Holly dying. It's very oh, similar to yeah. me. yeah. Parallels. You know, we've lost an American legend, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to miss him. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I need some, some proof. But uh, I, I like to think that, uh, you know, he's going to come back like Gandalf the Grey. You know, like maybe oh, maybe he'll be descend. resurrected. Yeah. Going to be uh, no longer uh, Grey, but white. I don't know what Cobra's equivalent would be. <laughs> He'd probably go from black to green or something. Oh, yeah. Cobra I'd probably green. come back as Cobra the Green. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I actually come back oh, as uh, one of his demigods. I don't know, Cobra Tin. I think that was supposed to be the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it, man. Oh, You've been good, brother? Something. You've been hanging in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, keeping busy in uh, working on my projects and stuff. I right. admittedly took a massive break from Discord because uh, it was making me crazy. So there's that. Yeah, it's 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 a little much. And while we're on the subject of Discord, I want to shout out three to four real quick. All the hooligans in there. Oh, is that a lot the of good uh, people. is that the chat room three and four? Yeah, it's the uh, it's the cabal. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, dark arts cabal. Inner of, circle. Uh, trolls and uh, naysayers. Yeah. Oh, you got Matt Green in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we do have uh we do have Mr. Green in there. Yeah. Oh, VIP. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we need to get you in there, buddy. Oh, man, no way. No more Discord mm -hmm. for me. I don't want any more yeah. of it. <laughs> it was giving me so me. much a fucking... trouble. That's a time sink, man. Yeah. It can be. That was a big part of it. I'm trying to um, stay focused, and it's easy to lose like pockets of time all day long with Discord. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, genuinely, uh, I genuinely mean this, man. You are one of the most important figures in the community, hands down. I mean, the, the content and the, you know, kind of sense of community that you provide is, it's irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are one of a kind, so re really appreciate what you do, man. Oh, that, that means a lot. I, I'm very grateful to hear that, and it's, uh, it's been quite a journey making content for all you insane cretins trying to yeah. troll an autistic man how dare you oh, god man what a That's bunch horrible. of pathetic losers <laughs> well, hey I, I don't want to take up too much of your time uh but i do want to say it is my birthday so everybody say happy birthday to me um yeah chat give them a good and, happy uh, birthday yeah give me a happy birthday everybody happy birthday beetlejuice um happy birthday, and, beetlejuice. Uh, yeah. Uh, take care of yourself. Seizure is a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. Oh, you too. Happy birthday. All right. All right. Bye bye. Oh, wow. Well, no. Nice callers. Nice people. I'm calling in. Hello. Am I live? You are live, but there is a delay. No. So if you want to say what? something nasty, I'm gonna I'm gonna dump you. Then you won't make it. Mm. No, no, I just wanted to uh, first say, you know, fuck rape. Is that all right? Yes, that's A-OK. -okay. That's uh, encouraged. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck rape. Uh, fuck sickos. Yes. All that good good business. Um, My conspiracy today is that Josh and uh, fucking Stephanie never broke up, dude. Ooh. You kept yeah, it going. Stephanie is at... It, it, yeah, man, Stephanie has made a lot of sacrifices. She wants to, uh, you know, keep Josh comfortable. His YouTube fame's made things difficult. So she got a couple beards and <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you're saying in order to keep her from being trolled, they, they broke up on the surface. And then he, he started growing beards as like a, a disguise. Is that what you're saying? No, she uh she has other boyfriends, who, oh. other quote unquote boyfriends who yeah. pose for him. Okay, yeah. that's the beard. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's to make it look like he's not just you know destroying that puss every night. Do you think Cobra um, had a like it's it's raining and he brings flowers kind of thing to show that he's sorry? Did, did they have kind of a moment together where uh, um. 
I would say something similar, but he brought her like the finest wand in his collection, man. Ooh. He pulled out that, you know, that nice vintage era classic wand. None of that laved bullshit. What the big None dick wand? Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 The ones he used to make. Hey, vintage. I'm a big fan, man. I love your content. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, gives me power I, uh, that's actually how i got into cobes man i started watching snake bones and like they just go in so deep i'm not used to that as an so, entry point that's surprising yeah man that was actually one of the first ones i saw and i'm like who's this josh guy and what's his deal with autism and boy did i find out what was the first episode you watched well, i really think it was josh and autism man okay yeah it was yeah, yeah. wild and yeah. No, I know that YouTube will not stop recommending more episodes once you're in the vein. They oh, are. absolutely, man. <laughs> yeah. They love you. <laughs> Me and Susan, we have an understanding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I I'm starting to think Susan is your Stephanie. Ooh. No. Oh. Hey, keep that on the down low, all right? That's the ultimate <laughs> conspiracy. I'm in bed with Susan, CEO <laughs> of YouTube. <laughs> Hey, well, everybody watching, waiting patiently pays off. Thanks for having me on, dude. Yes, sir. See ya. Yeah, you have a nice night. Hugs and kisses. Yes, caller, you are live. <gasps> yes. So, I'm back. It's me again. Do you, do you remember me from earlier? Are you the special agent? Uh, no, dude. I'm the <laughs> Alex oh, Jones dude. of the... Yeah, dude. I'm the Alex Jones of the conspiracy world of King Cobra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, um, you know how earlier I was talking about how, uh, Warlord's soul has been trapped into Sean's body, right? Yes, yes. Yes, so he has been dropping hints in every video. I don't know if you catch this, it's split second, but it's every time Sean, sometimes in the video, he'll just, he'll turn his head real quick, or he'll mm. blink, or he'll, he'll do something. He leaves messages. Okay, is it, is it kind of like that? where soldiers would blink in, in Morse code kind of thing, uh, in footage? Absolutely. Yeah, an encrypted yes. message. Okay. And I, you know what? I don't know how Warlord even learned this, but he learned it somehow when he went into Sean's body. He's like, I have to communicate somehow. I have to let the world know that this has happened to me and that even Josh can't decipher it. Josh gets so drunk all the time, he just sees it as, whoa, dude, that happened. Anyway, and oh, he yeah. goes about his day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe anything at this yeah. point. So you think that Sean is actively moving around and floating and waggling and uh, Cobra just embraces it. Do you think maybe he even knows that Warlord is stuck in there and uh, doesn't care? I, absolutely. I think he doesn't care because of all that Alex Campbell has done to him, all that Warlord has done to him, how uncomfortable he's made him feel, how many times... Um, Warlord has come on to him, and then Josh goes, oh, that's gay, get away from me. Yeah. It's one of those things where he knows that he's trapped, and he's like, this is your punishment now, dude. You don't like and it? You don't like it? You don't like it? Yeah, you you yeah. don't like it? That's what's going to happen. And then he sprays his beer on him. Yeah. Uh, sometimes he casts really mundane spells on him that you're just like, why would you even do that, dude? I, I'm aware of this. You know, I, I feel warlord's uh consciousness speaking out to me in the ether and he tells me these things and i say man that's fucked dude i'm sorry i'm that's what sorry. you don't see in the uh, wet and juicy vids is that he's farting right into sean's face every vid absolutely it's off camera absolutely yeah yep and and warlord as sean just has to accept it it's like embedded in the wood of sean at this point <laughs> to where he just constantly reeks yes and and warlord has to accept that he's forever trapped in this stinking bog mist that uh coves has created for him and it's his eternal punishment and there's nothing that can happen there's nothing that can be done unfortunately Some existential horror right there well uh thank you for Getting in again, highly impressive. You must have some magic of your own. And uh, uh, hope yeah. to hear from you again soon. Some more kick-ass conspiracies. 
Well, I love you, Seizure. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good day, bud. Oh, love you too. Thank you. <sighs> that is impressive when someone can get in twice. How do they do that? Well, there's people complaining real hard that they can't get in right away. Mm. Hello. Hello? Hello, yes? Uh, hi. Uh, so I'm the guy that bought uh, Cove's uh, the war ticket. Ooh, for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for real, for real. Okay. Good going. Yeah. You seem to enjoy it. Oh, yeah, you had a good time. You had a good time. Um, I have a buddy who's just like him, and uh, he was at a Gore show, and uh, I kind of bounced things off of him because he's just like Josh. Um, he's like a clone, a Josh clone. Oh, so you can use him as like a predictive model. You can like reference. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so according to my map, um, everything went right, and uh, he ended up at the Gore show and had a great time. He got trolled a bit, but... Uh, he had a good time. He he soldiered through it too. He uh, felt indebted to go, even though he felt really sick and cranky. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I uh, I wanted to get him out of the house. Uh, this guy's just been in his house all day long, so I how just much, needed to get him out of his house, have a good time. How much does a Gwar ticket go for these days? The Gwar. Gawar tickets were um, thirty-five dollars. <laughs> That's pretty cheap. <laughs> General. I made sure to buy him one and only one. Into the the like gravel parking lot where they were playing. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you better get pregame, and boy, you're gonna have to start drinking before five this today. Oh, well, Chad doesn't believe you. They're not having this. They don't believe me. Liar! Yeah, I will prove, out. dude. Yeah. So I, I I'm gonna need a. I a donated picture of him a receipt. dollar. So what happened was I, I donated him a dollar, and uh -huh. I, I was just like, uh, I was like, you know, if you want to go to this Guar show, uh, let me know because it was just like a rare show in Casper. Like, there's never shows in Casper, so I was just like, oh, cool. There's actually a Guar show in Casper, and fucking bought. I, was, I hit him up, sent him a dollar, and then he texted me. Yeah, Send me. I didn't think anything of it. And then one day I was like walking, I was like doing something mundane, and I just get like a text message, and it's just, hey, it's Cobes. It's Cobes. <laughs> hey, it's, it's me. Like, yeah. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Um, I heard a, a caller was talking about Cobes and, and autism, and I, I kind of agree with uh, with them on um, on. I don't really think that that Josh is autistic. Yeah. Got to say. Got a botched I, diagnosis. I think, I think he's schizotypal. He may have that mixed in there. He just doesn't talk about it. Clint has said that he has uh, other illnesses or something besides the autism. <laughs> well, Clint isn't even his dad. Scott Carr is his dad. Scott Carr is his dad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Look at Scott Carr. You look at more like him than Clint does. I gotta look him up right now. One sec. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I think uh, Scott Carr has been genetically modifying him. Uh, Grandite Soap is actually like a research institute. Um, oh. They're like a bioweapons laboratory. They oh, do yeah. gain function research. Changing and his so DNA. they're sending him soap without the pheromones, but with uh, a couple extra chromosome editing. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, you know, a little CRISPR action. Yeah. Well, Cobra has been mutating for quite some time now, so that would explain it. He keeps changing he forms. He has. That head is bulbous. And his bulbous looking, and his, looking big. His face is altering all the time. I, I swear to God, he really is a shapeshifter. I can't believe <laughs> how many forms he's taken. On. Oh man, I, I I actually kind of like feel bad for him. Like, I oh actually, yeah, I love Cove. But, that's natural. That's but, uh, natural. He's got it pretty rough. He do. He yeah. do. Um, but, but yeah, that's all. Uh, shout out Thunderdome. Shout, oh, another yeah. Discord chat. More on, gay ops. <laughs> gay ops, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, you got Matt yeah. Green in there, too? Matt Green? I actually have known Matt Green since I was 15 years old. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's, yeah he crashed. He yeeted his car through a field with me in it one time. Man, he's a <laughs> through a dog park. Wild man. He's out of control. 
he, his first car yeah he just you know he picked me up and drove down the road it was like a 90 degree angle this guy's driving like 65 miles per hour and just eats the car through a field man what a guy he's living on turned the, the car into like a turned the car into uh i don't even know it had no wheels <laughs> but uh yeah he's a great guy <laughs> like a boat well uh kick ass yeah shouts out thunderdome Go back to your lair you and rub your hands together and come up with some I'm dirty here, schemes. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, be gone, golem. Yeah. Thunderdome, that's still around. There used to be the Poot Shoot, Poot Gang, and if I remember right, those splintered off and other factions formed, but... I'm not entirely up to date with the uh, public access Discord groups these days. Yo! Are you a dirty liar too? Whoa. You here to spin some lies? I'm not a dirty liar. Okay. I'm not. Honest. I'm 100% truthful. True and honest. Okay. Okay. Are we Are we live? We Mr. are Seizure? live. This is the Mr. She Seizure I've been hearing about. Oh, Mr. Singer, I've been hearing about. Yep. Yeah. Guilty. Guilty will, is charged. Will you touch your hand to my hand? I'll uh, touch my screen if you want to touch your screen. <laughs> we can we can touch tips. Yeah. Well, I I don't want to to sabotage your stream, Mr. Seizure, but I'd like to veer this call from conspiracy theory into advice, if that's okay. possible. Oh, well, absolutely. I will warn you. You got two and a half minutes. Just just okay. to update you, but yeah, sock it to me. Okay, let me just lay this out for you. So I have a friend who's, I would say, a somewhat serious alcoholic. Mm. It's not too worrying, but it's worrying, you know? So I thought, you know what I'll do is I'll start sending him Gothic King Cobra videos, and then he'll be watching it, and he'll be like, Oh, that's what I'm like. Now I want to stop drinking. You follow me? I think so. Continue. So I was sending him the videos and he was like getting into it. And he's like, oh man, this is crazy. This guy's hilarious. And then he saw the, the like birthday video where he got like too drunk to go to his birthday. Yeah. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is so depressing. And he kind of hit like mm. like a moment of clarity with it. Yeah. But then, this is, this is the part that's really throwing me off here, Mr. Seizure, is lately, he's like completely reversed. And he started texting me saying like, man, 2022 Cobra, he's made it. He's like a micro celeb and he gets donos and he's oh, got all no. this female attention. Yeah. Oh, so he's and encouraging the lifestyle. Yeah, so uh -oh. I'm basic, and, and I, I met up with him, and he's like, yeah, he's just, like, living his best life now. He's really winning, and now I'm worried <laughs> that watching Cobra has taught him that he could just live off of disability and the occasional dono and just stay at home and drink all day. Oh, he's going to start streaming. It's going to be like Highlander. He's going to finally take over and be the new Josh at this rate. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. What, what can you? What can I do, Mister Seizure? What do you think I should do? Does he want a girlfriend? Um. Or does he have one? No, already? not honestly, not really. Uh, is he on disability? No. Okay. Um, does he have a lot of money, or is he just kind of getting by? Oh, he's scraping by. Okay, I think. If the lifestyle isn't sustainable, it will sort itself out. He's not able to, like, lean on his parents or, or friends for too oh, long, is he? He's definitely able to. he's definitely able to do that. Oh, see, that's a problem. That's not good. Well, if he's really committed to being that way and living like that, and you can't convince him, tell him to start streaming and put himself out there. At least we can get some entertainment from it. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Some people just don't want to change. You can't. You can't help it. You'll just drive yourself nuts. Uh, oh. Spin it and tell them to get on YouTube. Get some donos. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
That's right. great advice, Mr. Seizure. Oh, thank you. Only the best. Only the best. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Have a good night. Bye bye. <sighs> Advice here. Mm. Yes, caller. Oh my God, Caesar, I'm on. You're on. Okay. I got two conspiracies here. You okay. know how he always says, "I don't really care about ending my dry spell." I yeah. I think he might actually care. Ooh. Also. No way. Mm. Yeah. You know oh. how he says, I don't need alcohol to have a good time? Uh-huh. I think he might. Well, oh, wait. What if he he doesn't actually mean it? <laughs> Blowing my mind. <laughs> oh, man, Caesar, it's great to hear you. Um, I got a question for you. Yeah. I have an old-age female girlfriend. Um, uh, How do I get her into Josh? I mean, oh. I try to show her how, like... She likes other little cows. She likes Chris. Well, until, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one can like that. The, the end days of, of Chris. So you want her to get yeah. into Josh. That's a hard sell. That is a hard sell. Mm, has she, I mean, what have you tried to show her so far? All right. She really likes the goth eyeliner, but trying to show like actual like um, uh, Boglum Chronicles, like longer form content ain't selling it thinks that he's too boring which i know you've covered in one of the episodes of the podcast but it's like watching a sports game you gotta you gotta be there for the perfect moment yeah yeah the long haul holding out because <laughs> they do arrive they they still come around we had the stream with sasha and crystal and josh mm -hmm. and things were escalating that was amazing i don't know if you can force someone i wouldn't just say force uh fuck grape but uh <laughs> Man, uh, there are people out there who really resisted at first, and then finally it clicked, and it just had to be the right video. Uh, does she watch Bite Size at all? I haven't actually showed that yet, because again, that's another long form thing, okay. like those huge documentaries. Um, but uh, oh, yeah. I know she's seen almost all of the Gino Samuel uh, documentary, so I guess some you got to be invested to get into the longer content, but it's hard to like. Gotta get, get someone hooked. invested. Yeah, yeah. Just got to get that the appetite for it. I feel like it's so late in the game now. Uh, it's amazing when TikTok people come in and they ask about Stephanie and they're just getting into it. I truly feel like this is like the, the last season of The Office or something where everything just sucks and feels weird. I'd hate to be getting in now, honestly. Yeah. I got in like beginning of 2021, and people were saying that too. That that you know yeah. the boglum's gone downhill, the decline is so <laughs> bad. What's the point? Yeah. But it, it, it's gonna get worse. I just know it will, and I want to be here for that. Well, what if you could try to be like, hey, look at this dude's teeth. I'll bet you they're gonna fly out soon. He's gonna bite into something. Hey. He uploaded a video last week where he was brushing them. Did you see that? Yes. That was take two, I mean, by the way. <laughs> so take two, yeah. yeah. I really wonder what went wrong in the first one. Oh, it, he must have been screaming in pain. <laughs> Had to get used to Just it. Just spitting pure blood. Had to do the filter, the weird purple filter that probably masked all the, like, gum bleeding taking place. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh no. man. See if you can hook her with uh, his teeth flying out, and, and when's it going to happen? That might, that might do it. <laughs> I mean, that's the one thing keeping him way above Gossy still. Like, he's, he still has teeth. He yeah. still has them. Yeah, yeah. Not you good. can see it, though. The, the big front teeth in particular are, like, caving in. Uh, they call them um, caries or something, a, a unique form of cavity mm. that's up high in the root. Oh, uh, those, those little black ones on his front teeth? Yes. That's what that is? There's a special name for them, and it's, it's dangerous. But, yeah, try to push the, the tooth angle. Like, at least stick around for that. Hey, thanks for uh, talking, Caesar. It's uh, been a good Very call. You're welcome. Anytime. All Goodbye, right. Fred. Good luck. Ooh, thank you. Welcome, caller. You're alive. Yo. Yeah. Where is my fucking Patreon tape, boy? Oh, is this Fat Baby? 
How? Don't even. Is it? How are you doxing me like this? Oh. Well, I want my tape. I haven't forgotten. I'm calling my credit card company tomorrow, boy. Hey, hey, let's work something out here. You will still get that tape. You'll still get it. I was okay. actually going to message you and double check your address. Oh, I was doing the yeah. Eight oh. years later, I was actually thinking about you yesterday. Yeah. Well, Caesar, I will help you out if you get it in the mail, boy, but this is your last chance. Last chance? How much time You're do I have? Thin ice with fat baby. Thin ice with fat baby. No, no, no. See, I, I remembered you. I remembered you. You need your tape. Anything you want on it? Or is it still it, uh, Chef's it. Choice? I sold it like three months ago, and the guy's going to send his money back. if I have to send the dude's money back if I don't send it soon. You're selling so. the tape? Just put it in the mail, Caesar. Okay, fat baby. You We've got been it. Over this. You got it. We've been over this. Go get your tape. All right, Caesar. All right. You have a good night. Thank you for your content. God as bless. Always. God bless. Fat baby wants his tape. Give me my tape. No problem, no problem. Yo. Hi, Caesar. Hey. Um, this is uh, Brian Fisher from Denver, Colorado. Oh, hey, Brian. And Fisher. my theory is about the fans. Um, uh, so it's a little bit different. And I've been listening to your podcast, and you have great, you go so far back. Like, I, you do really great podcasts. <clears throat> but Thank my theory you. is about the fans. And um, so you know that there's a whole contingency of people that want, you know, that they're just watching a guy depreciate to nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's a whole nother contingency of people that, so like, I don't know about you, but you talk well. I put you in your late 30s, maybe early 40s. And no, when you no, talk, no, no. Early 30s. Early 30s. What, where are you? Early, early 30s, okay. Well, you have it's references right. to late 30s. But anyways, I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't want to out you or whatever. No, don't worry. Um, but, um, but what's interesting is like when I show, so I'm in my late 30s, and when I show people videos of Josh, they're like mortified, and they like don't, you know what I mean? Like when you show them a cooking video or something, they don't want to know. But I think that there's this secret contingency of normal people out there that are secretly watching Josh's videos. Normies. But particularly through people like you, you know what I mean? Like not like a, not like some delinquent or some weird character from the Cobra universe, but just like normal people that are just upset. And I can tell you've been watching way longer than I've been watching, but I came in way after the hair dye video and I've been like, and my, my wife <laughs> is like, what are you doing? All my friends are like what you're doing, but like every video that comes up, I like, am in love with it so i think that if you were going to gather all the cobra fans in a room it wouldn't be what you think it is oh. i think it would be a, a lot more like white collar normal people that are hidden in reality what do i you was think curious to to understand because I, I get an idea of course like what you mean by normal but if you were to paint a picture like you said white collar <laughs> well-adjusted maybe normal yeah. looking yeah. right exactly no means. that goes to work every day or whatever but they have like an alt like youtube profile that just have subscribed to every weird reddit user or whatever that has anything to do with josh and i think it's what i find is so interesting is not just so much of him drinking himself to death and i've heard you talk about kind mm -hmm. of you talk about on your podcast is more what i'm really interested in about him is just kind of this how your whole worldview can become so completely wrong and yet you're unwilling to ever see anything different does that make sense oh definitely and the main issue is he has so little exposure to the actual world but he's deeply invested in the internet <laughs> and being in that room so uh it really yeah you talked everything. about it in one of your in one of your podcasts you talked about it, how the content that he like absorbs is so skewed and strange right yeah. that it's so, like you, you talk about how he doesn't torrent and he doesn't know what it what it is or whatever and i'm like that is so funny because he could be absorbing amazing stuff but he's like on the lowest dumbest most basic thing and like this is what results in a life lived like that so he's a uh, upgraded to cartoons lately <laughs> exactly <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> 
Um, anyways, but uh, great, great content. I just found you. Your podcasts are incredible, and I love the depth which you know, like you know the titles of videos. And I'm like, oh my god, he even knows that videos is like the red cap because you know how he <laughs> tells the videos. Yeah, yeah. I'm just very, <laughs> I'm very impressed by your knowledge of something that most people would think is really silly. So, it's, uh, anyways, thanks it's a lot, Peter. Much appreciated. Bye now. I'm going to talk a little bit more just on that. I, I like that guy a lot and what he was talking about. With the fans that exist, there's probably a lot of well-adjusted, normal-looking, non-mutant fans. But usually, if you were to get them all in a room, you would find the subset of the guys that are really angry and vicious and uh, just want to like hurt Cobra. And you probably recognize this kind of talk. I've talked about it before. But uh, these guys, the angry ones, are probably your freaks. I have looked into certain individuals that made it clear they wanted to hurt Kobe's. Usually they'd be on the sub and they'd leave behind a nice little trail, a little paper trail. And you wind up finding like a um, Instagram or um, some kind of photo hosting thing and you get to look at them. And these are some cringy, ugly motherfuckers out there. I will guarantee you. They look sometimes just like Cobra. They, they'll play guitar. Um, they drink. A lot of them are alcoholics. There's a lot of um, A-log Cobra haters that are just raging alcoholics. Um, so that subset exists. Then there's what I would say are, are probably just like fascinated normies keeping an eye on things, but uh, no, no, uh, that was great. I, I liked that theory a lot. Much appreciated. Hello. Hey, Seizure. Hey. It's a fever monument. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, shit. I'm trying to remember from the, uh, the from podcast the alcoholism episode. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to remember what our topic was. Um, yeah, it's yeah. been forever. Yeah, that's uh, good. Sorry, I just, uh, nothing. I I just got home, turned on the TV, and saw that you were on. And I always miss these things. So you made it. Call in. You double made it. You caught the stream and you called in. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, what are we talking about here? Uh, we are doing conspiracies. Cobra conspiracies? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Man. What, where do you think, <laughs> what do you think his health is like right now? Basically, I, I think uh, anytime Cobra starts to disappear for a while, uh, we did this last time for sure, conspiracy discussion one. He was only appearing on other people's streams and like wouldn't upload anything. And now yeah. uh, people are joking that he's dead and uh, he seems to be very sick. So here we are. Yeah, well, he he was talking about that head cold he had. Yeah. So, uh, Jesus, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, out here in California, monkeypox was going, going mm. kind of crazy. Maybe he caught that. I don't know. And the, uh, for chat, gave it to him. like you... I was gonna say, <laughs> you don't have to be necessarily a uh, gay person to get uh, no. monkey pox, but then you brought up <laughs> Warlord. Warlord will have sex with everything. He is omnisexual. Yeah. Uh, it well, doesn't and it matter. Yeah, and I mean, it wouldn't technically be gay if him and Cobra hooked up now, because... That's the second time I've heard that. Is it because he identifies as a Sasha, that it's no yeah. longer gay? Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's an of age female. So. Interesting. Do you think? No, uh, I don't. I don't think Cobra's that horny yet. Even if, like, on no. paper, it would be uh, no, no, <laughs> straight. Another, <laughs> another, another four years, maybe. Yeah, four but, uh, more years. Conspiracy theories with Cobes. I'm trying to think. Do you think he would uh, hire a prostitute? I'm gonna give you that one. I don't. Dude, I don't know, because he hasn't done it yet. No. He hasn't done it yet. No, he's too proud. And I know I know that people 
there's got to be people that have like donated money to him, been like, hey, go get a prostitute. And he's not, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe? What about, I mean, we, we talked about alcoholism in our episode. Do you have any thoughts yeah. on, on ZZ Quill and its abuse? Oh my god. I mean, is he is he doing that now? Is that his new kick? Uh, anytime he gets a head cold, he winds up drinking like an entire <laughs> bottle of ZZ Quill. So, oh my god. That's great because it's not even really, it's not for cold at all. It doesn't have anything in it that would help a cold. No. Um, it's just the if, uh, I, I forget how to burn It's literally just a sleep aid. Um, Maybe, yeah, maybe that's what he'll move in, move on to. Maybe there'll be a, a new drink combo. Uh, <laughs> ZZ it'll Quill. It'll be uh, Mountain, Mountain Dew and Z Quill. Because his organs aren't uh, being killed off fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh Maniac. God. Yeah, right. no, uh, that would be incredible if we got his whole Z Quill saga. I would love that. Oh, I would, I would honestly... Uh, approve or encourage efforts to intervene and say Josh you cannot keep drinking this stuff like it's hard on your body to drink too much of it nonstop. yeah yeah no it's and god I can't imagine the head state that you'd be in after like prolonged like drinking that like just that over and over and over again yeah cause it's not I don't think it's DXM which makes you trip it's just like some antihistamine something or rather it, it's barely anything. yeah i think it's like i think it's like a little bit of like you might get like a little bit of a dissociative thing but that's it and it's like uh but... i think it's a step down from codeine as well it's not as strong as that it's just really petty but uh, yeah yeah well i mean this is this is a man who used to huff alone so he, he will abuse anything <laughs> yeah Fever, I um, gotta let you go. Oh, your yeah, timer has yeah, expired, yeah. but it's really great to hear from you again. Yeah, hell yeah. All yeah. right. Have a good one, CJ. Yes, sir. Later. Keep on that straight and narrow. I will. All Later. right. Bye bye. Hmm. Chat, settle down. Settle down. Tell me to ban people. Not necessarily ban, but dump. I'm holding to the timer. So just deal with it. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, Schlater. what's up, dude? Who's this? It's Schlater. Schlater. Welcome. Like from, yeah, I'm uh... a jacketed leader. Wait, what? I'm a jacketed leader. Jacketed leader? I was going to ask if you were from uh, Saved by the Bell. No, it's Schlater. Going for a joyride on my bike later. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I'm I'm missing this uh, this character. It's it's going over my head. You're definitely missing it. It's from the Job Corps saga. Oh, Schlater, Job Corps. It, 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 would you mind filling me in? I'll give you like an extra twenty seconds because this is on me. Yeah, when uh, Cobra stole Schlater's bike. Oh, the the uh, the the principal man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he stole Schlater's bike and that's went for a right. joyride around. Yes, he did. And uh, everyone stood up and clapped and said, that's that's Saunders. That's right. Yes, yes. Thank All right, you. But anyways, I had a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen the videos of Trapped hanging out with the Hampow twins? Oh, uh, was it during the doc he made for them? Or was I mean, it there were a couple. He's, he's visited them a couple other times, but there was one clip from last year where he had said he is no longer interested in Josh's content. He doesn't watch it anymore. Yes, he's really, really upset over what has happened to him because uh, as many of us know, during the first doc, Josh was a completely different guy in that documentary. He was someone you could root for and now he is actually mad and doesn't want to talk about him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I guess that's my question is how do you feel about kind of a lot of these people who have found a way to monetize Josh's content and edit it down to kind of 
the lowest common denominator of watching an internet lol cow because in, in my opinion it's kind of turned josh's content into the garbage that he knows he can get away with now so what do you think about that mm. i mean if the edit channels didn't exist i think he would still be doing long form stuff where it's just one big take uh, you don't think like you're not saying that he would condense it and try to improve if they weren't around are you no, no, I mean, we, we respect the classics like uh, Bite Size and Lennon, and obviously you make great content, but I'm thinking more of like the TikTok people oh. and uh, maybe even Bobbin Chronicles where it kind of incentivizes people to like try to be mean in the chat for like these quick dopamine hits. Yeah, it's that's an interesting, interesting take. Uh, I, I appreciate boglum chronicles because he's kind of been past the torch when it comes to condensing cobra's vids and yeah true he oh my goodness uh, he's had to sit through some stinkers with josh's videos um it's i have a lot of mixed feelings about it i'm gonna give you your extra 30 seconds because uh you had to explain that joke to me because i'm an idiot but uh <laughs> for me like i wanted to get in on it because it's like a really easy like playground sandbox for for making content very low stakes and i see a lot of people make videos and stuff where they just kind of like throw stuff at the wall because it's josh crap and like i really encourage that um it's still such a small community that i don't think most people are going to make that much money from trying to put a spotlight on josh and make like derivative content you know yeah yeah that's fair enough um it's easy to think that some guys are a little scummy. Uh, that usually shows when they're just like straight up grifters trying to get away with low effort content. But for what it's worth, they usually don't make it very far. You, you have to be talented uh, to roll with Josh stuff and have people pay attention to you. Yeah, true. Definitely but, fair. Uh, all right, man. Well, that's all I got. I just, uh, yeah. No problem. Uh, all right, thanks, man. Appreciate you calling in, friend. All right, take care. Guys, we're going to take a brief break. I'm going to drink water and use the toilet. I'm going to make a troll video where I just dump a bucket of liquid in there. Um, give me just like five minutes. It shouldn't be very long. I'll put on a nice little uh, video for you. And... Uh, We'll be back shortly. Blasted. That's awesome. Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the Love was just a glance away. A warm embracing dance Remember away. the heartbreak with Purnamon. You like a rock star with the Smash Mouth. A lot of golf is bad boy with Britney Spears. Rock out with a smooth Santa. No other collection gives you the feeling of golf moves. Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the grain. Love was just a glance away. A warm embracing dance Remember away. Remember the heartbreak with Purnamon. You like a rock star with the Smash Mouth. I love the golf is bad boy with Britney Spears. Rock out with a smooth Santa. No other collection gives you the feeling of golf movies.
Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the Love was just a glance away, a warm embracing dance Remember away. Remember the heartbreak with Purnamaz. You like a rock star with the smash mouth. Unlock the gothic bad boy with Britney Spears. Rock out with the smooth Santa. No other collection gives you the feeling of goth movies. know is that I lose a lot of water as I talk. Uh, big, fat spit drops fly out of me. And uh, it just sprays the screen. Uh, usually a tarp is nice to have around. It's uh, so that I you know get dehydrated. Got to replenish my fluids. Spit. All right, all right. Hey, chat. I'm looking at you. I'm paying attention. I'm trying to call in. I got a song, Conspiracy Theory. Oh, um, if you want to send me a text, that also works. I can see those. If you've got something real solid, I might call you back. Ugh. I'm trying to just be fair and, you know, cover people as they come in cut them off after three minutes uh, some people complaining that the number doesn't work and the reality of that is simply you're hitting my voicemail I'm sorry uh, someone sent me a funny picture of Josh I like that uh, one last thing I'm gonna do I'm going to see if I can enable an emergency audio boost on the callers. Two seconds here. I have a plugin that can like push it even harder. Um, I'm not sure if this works or not. Okay. Well, we'll see if that works. I've got it turned on. These things can be a little unreliable. All right, here we go. Yes. Okay, this is your robot? This is Seizure Speaking. Fucking face. Um, yeah. So I have a conspiracy theory about Clint. Oh, yeah, I'd love a, a Clint conspiracy. What you got? All right. Um, so I don't know, uh, did you see the live stream that Clint did with the Farmers Association? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the farm stream that made him really angry because trolls got on it. Yeah, um, so I actually looked at Clint's credentials, and he does a lot of those, and he does a lot of in-person workshops at the college he works at for social media marketing. <laughs> I haven't what heard that term chances? in forever. Go, go on. What are the chances that he knows exactly what Josh posts and when he posts it and he just don't give a fuck because he has hella life insurance, <clears throat> sorry, hella life insurance out on George's head. So he just doesn't care. He's like, you know what? Let's just let him drink himself to death. You know, we'll get that payout and then I can take the family that I do like on the best vacation ever. <laughs> <laughs> he loves taking no his real to... family on vacation, doesn't he? I'm just saying that, you know what, it would make it worth it. If you think with the little amount of money he spends on Cobes, he would actually be getting quite the dividend back with one life insurance policy. I have joked about that in the past, and there might be a grain of truth to it. I, I love the idea that he just lets it ride and takes out more policies and maybe like a 2x payout 
for uh, getting ground up in a lathe or something. Yeah. There's no downside to it socially once you think about it. Because uh, all of his <laughs> friends just think of... Sorry? <laughs> no, but all of his friends are going to be like, oh, that's Clint. You know, he's such a sweet guy. You know, he takes care of his autistic son. Meanwhile, Clint is, you know, rubbing his little Jew hands together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. You got to warn me. <laughs> Clint, Clint is not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that shouldn't be that funny. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. So you, yeah, Clint wants the jackpot, huh? I, I mean, he did it with his car wreck. Yes, he, he got a taste for it, didn't he? I mean, he got so he got so much sympathy. Imagine all the sympathy he would get when his disabled child dies. Oh. You know, he might pull a GoFundMe. Yeah, you a little know, fundraiser. A little bit of, you know, you know, spent, you know just, yeah. just, just give him a little cardboard urn, you know, cremate him. <laughs> and take the, 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 the funeral's expensive. The funeral's are like 15 grand. I mean, if he just, you know, fucked off and got him cremated, put him in a little cardboard box for 500 bucks, <laughs> that's fine. You know, that that's a lot of, that's like a thousand dollars that he can do whatever he wants with. Buy himself a new camera. All about being economical. Yeah, he can get himself a new Mac, some college stuff, a new, uh, the newest Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. I think Clint, last question for you before I, I, I drop you. Uh, you've been really funny, by the way. Uh, do you think Clint ever I encourages the behavior by maybe like dropping off a little care package? I don't think he encourages it okay. per se, but I think he enables it. I think so too. It's, uh, I, I think what you were getting at for the most part, I really agree with. He, it's all about convenience, being economical, and getting that sweet and payout. And so, looking good. I mean, actions speak louder. He keeps Cobra in his room. He does basically nothing. I'd love to know if he has uh, insurance policies and he loves going on vacation with his real family. Uh, these are the things he actually we'll does. We'll find out soon enough. We'll find out. No kidding. I want to see how he handles uh, Cobra's missing teeth when that comes about. You know? Like, when well, Cobra's teeth finally come out. What's that? Gothy. That's, Go yeah, that's yeah. what's going to happen. Just going to pull him out and be done with it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, he ain't showing out for no gold, that's for sure. No, he's not putting any gold in Cobra's mouth. I think it's going to be a, uh, a punishment tooth that he's going to put in there or not put in there. And uh, Cobra, you know, honestly... If there was ever a time for him to understand that uh, his negligence has consequences, it would be the teeth. He needs to just maybe later on give him some teeth, uh, but for at least a little while, let it ride, let Cobra not have any teeth. What Thank do you think you about that? Robot. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. It would, no, you were, you were great. Thanks for the laughs. And uh, I, I promise I'm not anti-Semitic. That was just really left field. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Sorry, man. I've been listening to too much Medicare. Sorry. Oh, that'll that'll do it. That'll do it. It'll rub off on you. Oh, Sky God's blessings. Farewell. Ah. <laughs> get, get Clint with like a nice little skull cap on the back of his bald head. Oh. Yes, caller, you're live. Hey there, butt munch. Hey, butt munch. Hey, <laughs> joking. Uh, first time listener, long time caller. How's it going, hey? Oh, yeah. Gosh, who do I have here? Who is this? Um, uh, just go again, me. Cool Taste 5000. <laughs> is that our, uh, that's the project we've been working on, right? Cool Taste 5000. And Cool Taste 5000. Cool Taste 5000. Wow. How you been, that's buddy? Nice. Haven't heard from you in a while. 
<laughs> well, that's good. You never call me. Oh, I try. I try. You're a busy man. You're a hard man to get a hold of. I'm doing this again. I'm doing every day like the best I can. <laughs> we were talking about uh, tooth loss earlier. How are your teeth doing? You guys were talking about me bought some money earlier? Oh, just Cobra. Because uh, Cobra's, he's going through it. You know, you know what it's about. Uh, the tooth loss. Uh, yeah, I don't bless my dentures. Oh, I don't even yeah. wear them that much. Sometimes. I mean, you clean them, I just bop them in some water. <laughs> How's Trash Mountain doing? Yeah, um, the good day lounge is doing great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trash Mountain, a.k.a. the Cool Taste Lounge. Am I right? Yes, I forget to switch the camera over, so you kind of <laughs> see the trash. For the, for the listeners that are uninitiated... Cool Taste has a trash mountain that off off camera, if you were to pan the camera, you would see he just throws all of his trash into a corner of the room, which makes total sense, by the way. I'm going to get to it at the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I learned everything from you. I know. I, I live like a filthy animal. Uh, my mom used to say even pigs keep all their trash in a corner of the room and I don't even do that uh, <laughs> that's yeah. a good one that's a good one right. yeah uh, cool taste do you want any of my conspiracy well yeah I, I was just about to ask if you've been working on anything lately my conspiracy about Josh yeah 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 fire away hey, Josh a bitch <laughs> you still have some nasty feelings for old Josh? Yeah, that's it. That's my conspiracy. Oh, Josh is a bitch. You're a bitch. I don't want to go to Vegas. Yeah, tell me about it. You're preaching to the choir, cool taste. Well, uh... Oh, God, another conspiracy, uh... Yeah. Yeah, what you got? Another one. Okay, you want to hear song? Wait, what? You ready to hear a song? Oh, I love songs. Yes. I'm going to play the guitar for you again. Okay, you ready, you know, Chad? I'm... And this time I'm going to uh, ask for help. Is a crystal? Crystal, you going to get out of my closet and help me out, maybe? <laughs> yeah, the crystal. <laughs> Let's do this, crystal. You got me? Uh, karaoke time And it's a night uh, My butt is weak I'm on the run I got no time to sleep I'm on the run I don't know where To bring it And you get The long way to go And you make it In the world to make it go And right I know when. Oh, fuck. Uh, and I can ride back to win. Uh, I always forget the words either. Oh, I am going to tell you, I don't know. We don't go. pass out. I make it to the morning, I don't think I go. No, I ride. <laughs> oh, you know when. I ride when. Yeah, yeah, come on. Go to the ride like the wind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Chris is doing good. Crystal. Crystal, wow. Uh, Crystal, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what a team. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm dead. that was a mess. I can't involve her. You fucked everything up. Yeah, it's easy to blame, I'm, Crystal. She can take it. I'm... I'm tired of it. She bugs everything up. It's done. She knows how to take it on the chin, for sure. Oh. Yeah, I, I, that's the last time I'm involved in anything. I'm blocking her for my life. Is she visiting you right now, or was that like a conference call you had no, going? No, back in the closet, Crystal. Back in the closet. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Just shove her back in there. Yeah. I'm tired of her. What about uh, like does she have Jeff with her? Her uh, her stooge? 
or is it just Christian? Uh, no, he's out getting groceries or something. I don't know. Some errand, yeah, going to fetch quest. I hear yeah. y'all loud and clear. Ninja, that was me playing the guitar, by the way. Oh, you're very talented. Thank you. I guess you gotta play it by ear, huh? Given your condition. I learn everything by ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that my talent is uh, Josh. I yeah. don't know how to play. Any, uh, any final thoughts about Josh and his antics lately? Is he alive? Is he dead? Have you seen him? I got one more conspiracy. Yeah. Fuck Josh. <laughs> oh, I see Chauncey in chat. Chauncey, you want some of this? Uh, chat. Chat is always asking for Chauncey. Always. Yeah. Uh, if you want on, send me a message and we will make it happen. Uh, I'll tell you what, that was, that was completely organic, by the way. Cool Taste has an amazing ability to get in. Uh, I'm going to see if Mr. Wayward wants to talk to me. He sent me a text message here. <clears throat> oh, God. One second. I think I just lost it. I, I just lost Wayward's uh, text message. There he is. Okay. This is your chance, boy. Better not screw this up. Tell you what, if you don't answer this right now, I'm never calling you ever again. Do you understand? This is it. Fool. I'm calling Van Wayward. He's been harping on me. Your call has been forwarded nope. to an automatic voice message system too. You blew it. You blew it. Eat dirt, okay? Hello? Yes. Hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Am I on? Yeah, you're on. I'm running the timer. Whoa, seizure. Hey, Whoa. big fan. Uh, I stumbled across your Snake Bones podcast. I love them. They're fantastic. Great to hear. Uh, is this like a recent thing that you found the Snake Bones? Yeah, absolutely. It was like within the last month. That's good to know. Uh, Susan, me and Susan are working it out, it seems. She's really promoting my oh, stuff. Oh, good, good. I'm glad Susan's a big fan, too. Yeah. Uh, that's very niche. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in your recommendation. My girlfriend you know, also loves your stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Always always the girlfriend. Yeah, she loves it. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. she can't get enough of Josh. She cannot get enough of him. Oh, you are truly blessed, my friend, to have a sweet, caring woman from the ground up that likes Josh, blessed. Way to oh, go. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, as far as conspiracies go, I think um, this has just been a long running art project for Clint. And the mm. grant money from the college ran out. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it just, just shut down. Just, yeah. It, it's done. The, it's you know very avant-garde because we know that he he runs some pretty risque uh, photographs. So I mean, it's not out of his wheelhouse. But naked, you want to see Clint's bare ass? Yeah. Look no further than ClintSaundersPhotography.com. Precisely, precisely. Yeah. I I think it's just like this very very new age kind of organic art, and the university said, all right, well we're tired of funding this. So, uh, oh, so he he was making the uh, Dakota College of Botany bankroll this, huh? Is that it? And they said no more. Exactly, exactly. Ugh. It was all through grant. Well, it's what not happens FBI. now? It's just it's just grant money. With, with now that the money's run out and it's gone dry, what happens to Cobra? Oh man, who knows? I. <laughs> 
Cool. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a new era of street art at the at this point. Oh, a new sweetheart. Street art. Street art. Okay, okay. Yeah, Clint. You, you could be like one of those street performers, uh, like on Free Fremont Street in Vegas. He's just gonna pose and have people look at him, uh, chasing that dream. He just wants to be an exhibitionist. Just making making drink combos on the sidewalk with a buck in front of him. Oh yeah, I was, I was talking about Clint, but uh, Cobra, absolutely. <laughs> oh, for Cobra, yeah, I'd yeah. I'd love Clint, to yeah. make a, a little stand for Cobra on Fremont in Vegas. If y'all have ever been, it's really fun where he just uh, mixes things together and then you drink it uh, 100%. Just pie high hat on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, damn, so that's the conspiracy, huh? The money ran out for the big art demonstration exhibition a living exhibit yeah living exhibit amen that's a good one that's a keeper all right bro thank you i'll let you go i'll let yeah. you go bud all right get ye gone bye bye thank you all right hmm. Hmm. i've been trying to get in on your passport podcast i never get on okay Well, in that case, I guess I'll just call you. Hello? Hello? Who's this? This is Seizure. Who's this? Oh, Seizure, dude. Long time listener. I'm so glad I'm on, man. Oh, no, no, no. no problem. It says you, uh, you've been trying to call in the past four streams and you couldn't get on yeah man i've been having a hard time and you know as a fellow jew you know i do normally go to bed earlier and have temple tomorrow but i can't confirm that josh's dad is jewish i thought temple was on saturday it's it's tomorrow sunday okay all right yeah so one of my theories is i had um one of my sister's ex-husband was um claimed to be really straight and any time any mention of homosexual activities came up he would get really disturbed by it and talk down to it similar to josh and it turns out a year later that he was in fact gay and what i think is going on with josh is i don't think he was born homosexual but i do believe over time <laughs> He has uh, intuitively kind of merged towards men because that's what he's been handed to. That's his cards. Someone that disturbed by that is normally, uh, you know, the extreme of what they hate. Agreed. Uh, that's how it was with Chris Chan, who's been my working model for predicting these types of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know I got a timer, but one other thing. Um, mm -hmm. I remember a, a live uh, Josh put on a while ago where he said that his dad, Clint, threw away all of his Legos. Now, I don't know if you've seen the picture <laughs> I sent you, but I rebuilt Josh in Legos, and I'm invested in sending him some Lego sets. Hopefully, you see him try to get frustrated building it on stream. What do you think about that? I think that's the litmus test for autism is whether or not they like Legos. Uh, if yeah. he doesn't take to the Legos, we're calling Big Daddy government right away to say this guy's yeah. illegitimate. Pull his funding. You know, and it's not Legos. I, I'll substitute for Mega Bloks, you know? Sure. Mega Bloks, discount. Whatever works. But, um, you know, th that's my two cents, and I appreciate you answering the call, man. For sure. Well, I mean, technically, I called you. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> also, thanks for making my nine to fives more doable throughout work, you know? You're very welcome. Real talk. Uh, if, if I can make it more bearable, that means a lot because uh, wage slaving is very real and it will crush your soul. It will pulverize it. Uh, so to, to help out with that means a lot to me. Yep. Man, yes, well, uh, have a good night, bro. Oh, well, you too. You too. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Ugh. Well. Eggnog said too young, hang up. You guys are uh, very picky, aren't you? Very choosy. Very choosy. Um, just a reminder, Chauncey, if you do want to get in, send me a little text message. 
I'll get you. Looking at my other texts right now, just to see. Mm. Okay, wayward. <clears throat> Last chance. Last chance. And then I'm really done. Hey. What is up, brother? Yo, finally. Yo. Yeah, what's up, man? Is this is this band way? Uh, me, me being hyperbolic, I'm just I'm just bored as fuck over here talking shit. Oh, is that it? Saying uh, that you can't get in? Uh, you, yeah. You wanna poo poo <laughs> my callers? In, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Except wow. for a couple. I don't know. Cool taste and the uh girl was actually really entertaining uh but no i'm sitting here in my new uh sofa uh, i got so okay. you know smoking enjoying the day and i just want to give you an update uh i actually thought it was a facade like like a like a, a, a like a, a worked play but cobra is is genuinely defensive like he I couldn't break him, man. I could not break him. With that interview, like, I could not get through it. I, I tried to move to the left and then move to the right, and I went, tried to go straight through, and I got blocked. So I had, like, a whole divert page of ask-around questions, and he he literally blocked every avenue to a sub-question, and I had to, like, pull from four different sheets to get through the interview because yeah, I bet. nothing I planned went to the next question that he like he saw everything it's it was mm -hmm. I've 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 been around a lot of um mm -hmm. mentally uh, uh -huh. yeah yeah maybe maybe uh, okay self diagnosed maybe uh yeah. mo mostly uh, but they walk freely among us. <laughs> I mean, um, but, but he is genuinely, there's, he's genuinely lost. And like, I, I mean him no ill will, but it, to me as a viewer, it's just, a, it, it's, a, it's a character study for me. And as the chap, as the chapters ride on, I want to know about it. But as I see it right now, this dude is like genuine. This is, Mm -hmm. This is not his final mm -hmm. form, but mm -hmm. he's working toward, like, I just... Hey, Wayward. Uh, hey, hey. Yeah, what's up? You ever see my uh, my video where I talk to him? Yeah, it it was very... You you wouldn't... No, nah, he was deflecting everything. He, no, and take he some was, notes, dude. He was dude. easy on him. No. He told you me a lot. You talking about the one where the girl joined in? Well, she'd been uh, there, technically, the, Crystal, yeah. Okay, well, I... Yeah, well, maybe it was just me being, like, completely, like, making it serious. I don't know, like, me just cutting my teeth on internet. Uh, no, you M asked maybe. some questions that were, uh, you touched like, on you tell me, what was my problem? You, you brought up past subjects. Basically, if, if you were to personify a troll trying to get more content out of him, that's what you did. You asked him about things that humiliated him, embarrassed him, questions that served to irritate him. You you have to work around that. You can't be so on the nose. Well, see, well, in my what I what I'm looking to do is have honest cuz that is technically his history. Now, if that was me and I was asked to do an interview about my You got his last name and, wrong. You called him Josh Sanders. No, I was I was stutter stepping, man. I, okay. I yeah, I was I was stutter step. It was you know like I'm still nervous about interviews. That's why I, I don't do them live because I'm still second guessing myself. Mm. I'm still working my voice down a little bit. Like I'm still trying to. I'm still you know it's just a hobby for me. This, You're really good this, at this, not, like pressuring them though and sending them text messages, uh, asking him to do things for you. Pretty we're pretty good what, at that. You don't seem very nervous about doing that. Well, it's it's more of a 
to me, it's more of a – that's how I've interacted with people, and they get it. Yeah, Maybe that's yeah. just a high-functioning autist in me, but it's like – I, 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 just hyperbolic, funny, but they're not serious. It's just it. it I, I guess I assume I, I. I maybe try. Maybe assume mm. people get the joke or something, mm-hmm. but I don't. But I don't know, man. It's just me joking. I don't mean no harm. So how's I just, the, just how's like the future that. projects going? You, you got real excited at the end of your your interview with them that you were going to do more projects well, with them. Is well, that, is that going um, good? I want to have. I don't want to give nothing away, but I'm working on something for a, a live stream that I'm actually going to go live for. I've worked up my. Mm. Um, I think I'm. I think I'm ready for it. But I've I've done that and. Um, I, did you Did you pay him within to, the to talk to him? By the way. I paid just in like little, uh, donations like just uh-huh. for him to say stuff. I was like, hey man, that's how I got a hold of him. That was the only way. He he yeah. cuts every avenue off. Like, hey, dude. And, I, I and you, you. had, yeah. 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 Well, no, no, just like, hey, man, I, I'm literally, like, I had to break down his wall of this is a troll trying to get to me. Like, I was, I genuinely want to have honest conversations with people like a, like a man. You know, no diverting shit and, and just be on, because I want to do something that nobody else is doing. And it, mm. it, it, I'm not trying to demean anybody. It's just, it, you, you're on tv man i'm the you know like i'm not making fun of you i'm this is yeah like i'm just being i mean it's honest like i'm not i'm not out to get nobody only yeah well i i I, you know with with exception of of a meme content and what what i just i see something and i make it you know but i'm not i'm not out to get nobody's reputation or nothing i'm just trying to make content be a creator you know i i'm very uh See, like I, I stay to myself. I don't really have many friends. I get like five good friends, but like this is what I kind of do. I've got a couple problems, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and and I edit. And but yeah, it, it, Cobes will always be a a character study for me. Okay. Um, well, maybe maybe but, like watch more of his videos uh, before you uh, interview him again. Uh, do like well, a little I, more research. Well, I went through to make sure and i got a couple things wrong Mm -hmm. but i was expecting him to catch me and 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 kind of maybe i should have buttered him i should have buttered him up too much was it was it when he turned his camera off that you realized things were going wrong no it was before that when he when he started (laughs) folding his arms (laughs) yeah Yeah. it was it was when he started folding his arms it didn't take long for that to happen but uh but yeah. yeah man i was just you know uh, but whatever i, well, I did hope it, it was and worth it. uh hope all the donos were worth it dude for the uh kick-ass channel exposure well i well i i mean i worked i i, I know what i did wrong i watch each interview and i try to be better on the next one and I, it, uh, with it. doing yeah study him all right man well yeah <laughs> well i don't want to commit too much time to him anymore no, definitely not. lord knows yeah sometimes but uh just gotta move on well, I got a, we got a couple of things going, you know. But when I yeah. when I hear him in the background, it's it's, it's pretty captivating. But yeah, love bet. the content. I'll bet. Yeah. Well, thanks for entertaining all of us with your uh, funny rhetoric. Uh, no, uh, one, well, no one wanted you to to jump off at any point. Uh, I know that you got on some of my my past callers in chat saying I needed to drop them, but you were quite the opposite. Oh uh, no! I, yeah. Nonstop laughs, nothing but belly laughs. Oh, mm, thank you thank yeah, you yeah anytime anytime well all right man well i just want to call and say yeah yeah hey <laughs> all right man good yeah. times see ya all right so let's take some calls yo hello hey hey hello. hey what's hey. up I didn't yeah. get it twice. Oh, you're back again. Yeah, it's, uh, what did I call myself? Uh, you think you butt or something? Call yourself, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, poor butt. <laughs> piss stain. Something like that. Big favor. Yeah, um, the Google Voice hmm. is, is unforgiving. If, if you can really project, just scream into the phone. We want to be able to hear you. 
Oh my god, really? Am yeah. I even that soft? It was a little oh soft. I think people could hear you, but they were having to really, you know, put their ear to it. Oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> just okay. just Too scream loud. at me. Just scream at me. <laughs> What's good? What's good? I gotta I gotta put on the timer for you. Hey. Uh, there we go. Hey. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something, but you kind of like blew everything out a little. Well, I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry. Uh, I derailed. Sorry. So now that's why the timer comes on now because up till this point, I was just distracting you. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Thanks for saying what you said about uh, Van Wayward. Um, he's a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know. Yes. <laughs> Just giving them tips and tricks. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he blown the fuck out. No, no, oh. just pro tips. That's all. <laughs> Little advice. Um, has anybody asked you what your um conspiracy theories are yet? Oh, my own conspiracy. Ah. Yeah. Um. Damn. You know, come to think of it, I, I haven't developed that many conspiracies. I know there's got to be something out there that I've talked about in the past, but um, in regards to like what's going on now and his absence, like, do I think he's really dead? Yes, he's dead. That's obvious. Uh, the latest video confirmed it. It said, I'm dead. Uh, LOL. I died. Um, <laughs> and he so basically there's a timer if he doesn't uh, like mash a gigantic button somewhere in his uh, apartment then it means he's died so he has to check in with it in set intervals and of course he didn't he didn't slam the huge button and so that video went out that said I'm dead wall and here we are he's gone hey yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, sounds solid. Case mm -hmm. closed. I think I think that's an uh, actual fact. What, what do you think happened to Goldfinger? Where's he at? <laughs> oh, bye, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Okay. That was too much. <laughs> that was too much. Hey, where's Goldfinger? Bang! <laughs> you guys already guess it. I'm going in the mood. Who's the king of Gasper? Uh, it's Gold hey. Days. Yeah. Everybody in chat, who's the king of Gasper? Who's the king of Casper? I need everybody in chat to tell me who it is. Google you know, it. Oh, no. oh, you you got your uh. Your text is speech no, I going. Got it. You told me right. Yeah. Hold on. No, okay. Not. Okay. I hate this thing. <laughs> Did I hear too tall, Rob? No, he's just texting me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll bet. I hate this phone. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sort it out. <laughs> the the text to speech was going crazy in the background. It was going nuts. <laughs> oh. Hello, you are live. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Seizure, my man. Yeah, what's good? Who the fuck was that loser saying, I want to have honest conversations like a man with him? He's one of the good ones. He's one of the last good human beings on this earth, okay? 
he really pisses me off because he he feels <laughs> like he's the first person who ever thought of that in his head. No one has ever thought Josh about like talking to Cobra before. Yeah, yeah. Like so, you've tried it before, for Christ's sake. I mean, now see, my defense in that is that he was soliciting it first time. He was taking Skype calls on Facebook. Uh, second time, Crystal was streaming, and uh, I'll be straight with you. I think it was Boglum Chronicles that messaged me and said, "Hey, you need to appear right now. Uh, Josh is talking with Crystal." I was not expecting to talk to him that night, but uh, I knew, yeah, it was wonderful. And thank we you. All thank know, you. Anyone who knows anything about Corber knows the last thing he wants is to have an honest conversation. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just taking a shower and I could hear that dude. He kept saying that. That's all. I don't want to pass the lines for too long. Love you. Good. Love your show. Chris Love Jam forever, baby. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Woo. He wasn't having it, was he? <laughs> he was in the shower listening and getting pissed off. That's amazing. That's amazing. Someone texted me, Hey, man, you hate Wisconsin? Us cheeseheads got some shit to share. Them government SSI dimes don't equal the dollars needed to buy liquor, spice, pizza hut, and rent. He's on government payroll as a legit op. I don't know what that means. Welcome, caller. You're live. Hey, holy shit. Is it... He's your robot. You done it. You done it. First time, long time. Ah, welcome, welcome. The long time listener. Yeah. Oh, kick ass. Out. Well, what's going on, friend? Ooh, shoot, I'm a little nervous. Sorry, DJ. It's okay. Take. You want me to? You want me to pause the timer until you're ready? Um, so, someone no, was saying in right. chat that it, it adds a lot of pressure to have the timer running. I'm sure Chad is already hating me. No, well, I mean, not from what I can see. They're uh, delayed. But, uh, I'm I'm fighting chat tonight. I'm fighting them. I'm giving people their fair due. So you can they just are. relax, uh, sit back, get comfortable. You're yeah, A-OK. You, you got a feisty chat. Y yeah, no kidding. The call-ins, this has been developing over time, and I will say... <clears throat> like my first call-ins, I would get back-to-back -back characters. Morrissey, Cool Taste, um, what's her face? Wendy. Uh, what's just, her face? Love Wendy. Yeah, like characters, well-developed characters, better than I deserve. But um, you know, with with you the Clint, call, right. uh, people were calling in wanting honest discussion, and ugh, pardon me, more burps. When people wanted um, just more funny talk compared to the discussion coming in, they get really cranky. And I learned a lot from that. And, and that is, uh, people say chat always wins, and it's because if you cater to them, you will always lose. Right. So anyway, your timer still hasn't been running. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, it's probably yeah. because Oprah's been gone, so I think everybody's just a little pissed off on edge. I understand. I've heard stories about the public toilet discords that have come up tonight. They start eating each other in there. They get cranky. Anybody dropping some links? I wouldn't mind getting in those. Oh hell yeah! Um, I don't know how you, know you find I mean. them. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> okay, so a couple conspiracies. Uh, one is just a note, Caesar. Mm -hmm. um, first thing, not really a conspiracy, but it's. It seems to me Josh doesn't know that there's a very fine line between uh, the, the trolls and uh, his fans, right? Yeah. If any line at all. Yes. He, the, I mean, many log cows cannot tell the difference. That's part of their build. He often divides them in, in his streams. He'll talk about them separately, like they're not the same people. Mm-hmm. And then I do have a couple conspiracies about Josh's new hat. Uh, it has been gone for a while, but that top hat of his. <laughs> I love that thing. I missed it. I, I'm sure I know where it came from. Really? Uh, that day that Warlord showed up with that Chuck E. Cheese hat that uh, changes colors with your sweat was the first day that Josh also had that top hat. So I'm pretty sure it was a gift for 
something or payment, but the the bats in the belfry hat came from Warlord. The most recent one from maybe I don't know half a year ago. Yeah, oh God, it couldn't have been that long, right? Time flies if that's the case. It was the day where Warlord showed up with a hat that was like green and orange because it's it's a child's hat. It changes colors with your sweat. <laughs> And then that's when Josh was, Josh was sporting his new hat. Oh. I know it came from Warlord. Oh, he's giving I mean, him gifts. Scary. Trying to Gift break them down. Gifts on the side. Yeah. I mean. Interesting. Interesting. And then I also have a theory that, uh, uh, or why Josh likes to hang out with um, Warlord so much in cool taste. I've been wondering, because Warlord is insufferable, but he still lets him in. It's obviously because when those two are around, or one of them, he's the smoothest boy in the room, right? And he's always oh, the smartest. He has his life together compared to Warlord. So he gets to, you know, flex on him, eat pizza in front of him, and not give him any. He gets to live stream, and, he, and he's the one with the right answers, finally. In his palace that has air conditioning, all the luxuries, as he put it. Damn. And, and then before I, I had off seas, I'm <laughs> pretty sure... Um, the reason we're not seeing him lately is because he's absolutely recently going off the deep end for real. He can't even pull himself together to be on stream. That's All right. that's dire. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna expound upon that because we still have a little bit of time left. Uh, Cobra did stream recently saying, "I don't know what else to talk about. I'm out of things to talk about." And I, I think that and ties into what you just said. Probably out of energy, running low on <laughs> money, low, running low on Clint's patience. <laughs> I think that the Bog Boy is reaching his midlife crisis already. Ooh, ooh! ooh. At, at thirty, this really is probably uh, middle of his life. Thirty-one, I guess. Oh, he's thirty. He's thirty, thirty-one. I always get his age wrong lately. It's weird, but it's oh, oh. very early thirties now. Oh no! Yep, yep. Casper dog years. All right, well, just chew on all that. I'm going to mull that over. It's great to have all right, you. I love you, Seizure. Love you, too. Hey, have great a great night. All right, bye. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I'm sorry. Give me, give me just, like, two minutes. I actually want to get, like, one more drink. Um, it's not about the prestige. I wasn't drinking earlier, but I'm having, like, a little drink now, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, before I go, DSP Historical Society says, Seizure Robot 5000, what is a stalk of celery's favorite item to bring to tennis practice on a Tuesday? Wow. That's a thinking man's joke. Stalk of celery's favorite item. You've got me. Uh, DSP, let me know. Let me know the punchline to that joke. Chauncey, I see you in chat, saying I'm sad to be honest. Come back, baby, rock and row, roll never. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chauncey, if you want on, this is this is the last time I'm gonna say this. Send me a text and I'll call you. Uh, otherwise, I'll be right back in just like two minutes. I want to get like a quick beverage. Hang on, hang on. Seizure Robot, I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the Lord of the Flies. Soon they will be under his command, and with the flies, me and my son will take over the mortals of this earth. He will not be spared. I will grind your bones into the ice cream. The ice cream that will nourish my boy and his growing flies. Dad's cream will give them all the energy they need to swarm and smother you into oblivion. Enjoy the time you have left on this earth, Mr. Robot. Seizure Robot, I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the... Alright, not gone as long that time, for sure. Uh, Chauncey says, I have no Cobra conspiracies, to be honest. 
Ah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. I I admit I froze up a little bit when they asked me. I've seen the conspiracies, but I haven't really come up with a ton of my own, admittedly. Yes, caller, you're our, you are live. Hello. Okay, I'm live. You're live. What can I do for you? Oh, well, holy shit. Yeah, you've uh, done it. Yeah, my conspiracy theory is the only reason Cove goes over to Ellen's parents' house and the only reason that Ellen's parents allow him to go over there and is because once a month they're providing with either Xanax or hydrocodone from the VA. Mm-hmm. That's that's great, and I, I think it's a really good topic in general for anyone who wants to call in. Why does Cobra visit Walt and Angie? I'm on board with you 100%. I think they're making deals, and I didn't even think about how Walt probably does have an in with the government uh, getting painkillers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're in the VA, you know, when you're a veteran in the VA... Uh, it's quite a bit easier, and especially like when you think about his condition. Uh, you know, he's probably pulling Xanax, and uh, if he's in pain, hydrocodone. Mm -hmm. So that's my prediction. Because why else would they allow him to visit when you know when that documentary dropped? And I think there was a lot of uh, probably talk between uh, you know Ellen and her parents. <laughs> about that subject uh, but <laughs> <Yeah>. then <laughs> but then you know you got uh you know them wanting to dump some uh some pain medicine and then uh he's got a ssi you know money coming in he got the the pay pig money so uh, i'm sure he uh probably pay pigs quite a much you know if people attract it i i am sure there was some pay pig right before he goes over there sure i mean even if he doesn't have the money to spend he'll go into the red uh, he'll spend money he doesn't yeah. have uh, he probably winds up yeah. owing them <laughs> on occasion uh, what do you think about how uh, he, he talked about how he's not into Ellen but he'll go there and not look at her and not even acknowledge her do you think he may yeah, be yeah, uh, you go ahead I don't think it's more about the obsession anymore with the, uh, I think it's more about the hookup with the, uh, the the drug that also the mind. I mean, unless he's like, you know, like obsessing, like going and sniffing her pennies and shit or some like <laughs> weird shit like that. <laughs> Otherwise, like he's just going for the narcotics. You know what I mean? Last question. Uh, oh shit! I just I had a question uh, a second ago. Um, I mean, he he kicks up his feet when he gets there. Why do you think he stays for so long? Well, I, I think, well, I mean, does he have a ride after he goes there? No, and, and the fact that uh, Walt had to tell him that the wind was dying down says a lot. Yeah. Like, the, well, the weather conditions were good enough for him to walk home. I think that explains it. Well, it, the only other thing I could think, like, is he getting too high to, like, walk home, or is, I don't know mm. why he would delay it. Well, you know, uh, one thing I wanted to point out, I don't think I've seen people on the subreddit point out, is uh, his uh, increased use of Kratom. Mm. I'm going to give you... And uh, I think I think he's, I, know, I mean, people don't might not think, but I think he's developed quite a bit of a Kratom addiction. You've seen before he had the powder, and then, like, one time he had the extract, and, like, if he's taking an extract dose, and not mm -hmm. throwing up. He's been he's been having a quite a habit there going on. I'd be interested to know if, if anyone else has uh, some insight about kratom because um, he might he might be onto that stuff. He loves the yeah. drugs that are just uh, barely legal stuff you get at a gas station. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people the people they send him you know Delta Eight all the time, and you look at those old videos they were sending him like powder kratom. And then he did that video where he's doing, like, you know, a Kratom shot. And, like, most people, that make them throw up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he has he has to have a habit if he can do extract shots. And, like, you know what I mean? Do, just he's do it tolerance. casually, like like yeah. a review. 
I'd be curious to know if he is like Ozzy in uh, that respect, that he can take some hits of drugs that would normally knock someone on their ass. And uh, I, I just stream. think he's just he's just uh, his brain's just used to like chemicals Abuse. altering it. Yeah, like you know he's gonna <laughs> he skates the line of legal, like you're saying. He might do alcohol, which is legal, kratom, uh, delta eight, or like skate by with like you know getting like fucking weed from like I don't know who Scott and then like skate yeah. by but like going to Ellen's parents and like getting some Xanax <laughs> and hydrocodone. Greasy. You know what I mean? That's all he's doing. Yeah. He, he he's won't not go smoking meth though. with like. Yeah. Huh? He, uh, like I was just saying, like he, he won't do meth. He avoids cocaine, like the actual hard drugs that'll get you in big trouble. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Go into that. Yeah. Yeah. He, but he's hitting the legal shit hard. Oh, is he ever? He'll abuse it. Yeah. All right, dude. Some good talking points. Much appreciated. What, was it not bullshit, or was it just me calling and drunk again like a jackass? Would I do it good this time? I thought you had some valid points. Now, chat, chat will say things like, oh, this dude knows about pills and stuff like that. Uh, well, but... dude, I'm fucking 36 years old. You know, I dealt with that shit in my fucking 20s to fucking 23. That yeah, was man. just bullshit then. I'm married now, have fucking kids and shit. You've got your yeah, shit together. Fuck it. I, I got some fucking, okay experience yeah. you guys yeah. you guys get that you fucking zoomers will get that experience too <laughs> understand your fucking shit it happens dude don't let them get on your ass and balls i uh I all right you, i thought you had some great talking points i appreciate it yeah all right i i seizure i love you i'm gonna call again hell yeah do it love you too all right take care brother all right bye bye all right all right we're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can get him. I'm gonna get him. One sec. Well, I sent him a picture from TCAP. Uh, though I think during that era it was Hanson versus Predators. A cowboy with a big tall butt. Uh... Oh, dang, I'm going real far back in time here. I think you know what I'm doing. Here we go. We'll see if he picks up. If he doesn't, I'll I'll let it go. I don't want to pester the guy. I think everyone just wants this dude. It's good company. Let's see. All right. Let's see if we get lucky. Yo, I don't want to go to Vegas. I don't want to go to fucking Vegas. <laughs> hey, I'm going to take you to uh, <laughs> Vegas on your birthday. I don't want to go to fucking Vegas. What's good, Caesar? Oh, you know, just taking these calls, cycling people through. I think it's been a good night tonight. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, you've been going for a hot minute. What's good? Yo, what's good, chat? Putting in the time. This looks really good. Man, Chauncey, you, I know that not uh, long has passed since you said you didn't have any mm, conspiracies, but anything that may have come to mind since then as to um, what the hell's going on? I mean, I'll keep it a hundred with you. Uh, the R.I.P. Cobra shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I, I believe it. Rest <laughs> in peace, Cobra. Um, but yo, not for nothing. I wasn't able to listen to the whole night. Um, put it on me. What's some conspiracies we got that you're kind of fucking with? And I'll, I'll tap in on, on a couple. So one of them that caught me off guard was congestive heart failure. And it was when I actually oh, looked at the shit. symptoms that it started to line up and and included a lot of very pale mucus, which we know was flying right out of them on the regular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, and we also, um, 
I don't know if this is a conspiracy, but um, we all have, uh, or not we all, but I think a lot of us have assumed that he's had uh, the Rona multiple times, right? Like he ain't, oh. this ain't his first. <laughs> 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 this, this ain't his first Ronio. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm drunk. That was a dud. But... Hey, hey, I liked it. I liked it. I could see it coming too. That was the best part. Listen, we yeah, I was like struggling <laughs> to get it out because I've been drinking. But yeah, we uh, we think he uh, we think he's had it more than once. Like a lot of people the other day were saying like. Oh yeah, he was at the Gore concert with yeah. coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it was like a super spreader. I think so. I think he was. I mean, he was at an event. Uh, whether or not he spread, I don't know, because he ain't taking no test or whatever. But uh, no. is that a little of a conspiracy? He's just sure. like fucking kicking around a war concert <laughs> with the fucking <laughs> with the Rona. <laughs> I mean, he always calls it a head cold, but he's he's miserable. He doesn't want to eat. He feels bad. He's drinking ZZ Quill. Could easily be Rona. I mean, it gets around. Yeah, and if you're like, yeah, he might not know, and I mean, not for nothing. It's fucking Cobra. He might have just, he might have had these type of symptoms for fucking years, you know? I'm going to post an image here. It'll take a second to actually show up, but uh, I've always referenced okay, this with Cobra that he has what's called Three Stooges Syndrome, which makes him a perfect carrier. And that is, he has so many diseases trying to get into him simultaneously that, in this case, the Rona wouldn't be able to fit. What do you mean he has so many diseases? What else do you think he's Cobra is care? sick. He's probably got the diabetes trying to make its way in there. Uh, Ooh, some kind diabetes. of respiratory infection. Uh, congestive heart failure, something he got from Warlord, I don't know, Ricketts. Holy fuck! Uh, I mean, Dog. all these things are Seizure. trying to get through the door. Seizure! Yo, you know what? Yeah. Seizure, you're speculating wildly. Yeah. Chat, tap in. I need the chat. When we have this much speculating wildly, this is the I place. need the chat to tap in. Yes. This, is, this okay. is the time for it. Yo, but I'll say right now, I don't disagree with any of the things you just said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the perfect carrier. I mean, he, he can have uh, several diseases at any time, and it doesn't bring him down that much. He's still at Fuck. operating capacity. That is fucking wild. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're right. I think he may be... I would, I always, like, any time he got a little hacky and a little coffee, I kind of, uh, I kind of assumed it was, uh, you know, him just having the Rona. Like, especially sure. during the pandemic. I was yeah. like, yeah, but, like, now that you mention it, maybe <laughs> he does have some other things. You know, negative <laughs> like, said liver disease. <laughs> A bag of holding when it just always has some set of diseases up in there rolling around up in him. Because, I mean, he's like in a zombie state now. He's never completely well at any point, is he? Yo, I'll, uh, I'll keep it 100. And I've been saying this for a minute, so and I'm not even trying to be like, oh, we don't even watch him anymore. But uh, <laughs> I don't really peep him regularly anymore. I, sure. Like, uh, Bogum Chronicles is, yo, shout out Bogum Chronicles. Bogum Chronicles is like, that's where I catch up now. He's, uh, he was cluttering up my, I mean, between him and Cyrax, uh, my YouTube was just getting so fucking cluttered up that I just, Freaking uh, cesspool. A yeah, sewer. I had to stop, especially, uh, I stopped with Josh during the, like, PayPal shout out fart joke like era oh the wet and juicy ago. yeah yeah but yeah, yeah. wet and 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty funny though. Wet ass posterior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Chad has some great diseases. Someone mentioned gout, which is really funny. The vapors. Yeah, yeah, people are going old school. I love it because Thrush. it would make sense that fucking Cobra <laughs> has some, like, really old school, like, fucking <laughs> Black Plague Parvo-ass yes. fucking shit, you know? Old world uh, diseases. Yeah, <laughs> colonial. Uh, colonial ass diseases <laughs> where they have a really weird cure for it like rubbing onions on him and submerging him in a pit of uh some kind oh, of weird well, stew we already yeah. know that he's no uh he's no stranger to rubbing onions on things so <laughs> right <laughs> no that just yeah, you know, he was tying those fucking onions and uh, garlic underneath the bandana that time. <laughs> that was such a good time for him. Like, I love looking back at the oddities he'd get up to. And yeah, he had a whole... Oh, yeah. He had a salad going up in that bandana of his that Whoa, he was cooking all day long. Last night. Yeah. And you know how that shit... Must, because, like I always say... Think about his base aroma at that. And then <laughs> my guy is just fucking onions and garlic in his head, wrapping it up, going to sleep. But um yeah, I've been uh I've been revisiting uh his older videos lately and uh I watched last night the uh the Danny Divine, the chips video. It's got uh Alex oh, yeah. Anderson in it. And yeah. Rest my peace. goodness i miss it he was so just fucking he was so with it back then he was a good I, companion yeah, i miss it very oh neutral. alex Anderson. yeah absolutely great yeah. brought car <laughs> one of his only friends ever to just bring him two monster energy drinks did he really two of them yeah. Oh, because he, and then he kicked got, his like, oven because he drank weird, both of them. Awkward. Oh, he kicked the fucking <laughs> shit out of his oven. Yeah, At it one made point, him really he cranky. The screen. Yeah, and he kicked <laughs> the shit out of his oven. But, <laughs> man, yo, rest in peace, Alex Anderson. You he know, was too he was good like, for this world. I mean, granted, he had a couple awkward moments, like any time that he was just like, hey, this guy on the bus today told me he was a pedophiler, and I just started kicking his ass. Like, he had a lot of these weird him war. beating yeah. up pedophile stories. Yeah. But he also had another story. Those were probably false, but the one story that always kills me about him, I can't even remember what him and Cobra were talking about. Or how this would even come into the conversation, but out of nowhere he goes, "Yeah, that's like the time I walked in on my wife and she was fucking that guy, and she tried to tell me she was giving him a massage." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a Yo, World War story. You, you know what? It does. It really does. But um. I've told Bite Size, I was like, yo, Alex Anderson documentary, we need, he's oh, the fucking yeah. goat, like, I love him so much, but, but, but Bite Size was just like, man, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to fucking throw dirt he wants to on respect the, dead, the dead, you know, Yeah. and I get it, and I get it, like, right when he said it, I was like, yeah, I'm with it, but man, fucking hot to the touch, I miss that guy. I would benefit a lot from that because my my knowledge of Alex Anderson it could use some improvement I'm sure there's some nuggets out there that would uh, oh, be amazing yeah, I think I'm one of the like rare Cobraverse people who like I dug back like I go back mm. just to find shit with him because he's like so fucking I mean I know it's <laughs> pretty easy to be wholesome amongst cobra people but sure. it was always something so special when he came over every video <laughs> that he ever appeared in with cobra <laughs> like uh when you know what i'm saying i'm getting emotional i might be getting a little emotional but um yeah the the day that the day that they showed up and cobra was making them the uh the calzone 
he was like, oh, yeah, the calzone is just like bacon, pepperoni, this, that, the other thing. And Alex Anderson just gasses Cobra up immediately. And he's oh. like, man, you're making my mouth water just talking about all those <laughs> ingredients. Like, yeah, he was so psyched, Great man. Accomplice. He was... Yeah, I, mean, I miss him. I'm not going to lie. I know I've said it enough times on here, but like, yo, R.I.P. Alex Anderson. We miss you out here, my dude. He got his yeah. wings. He earned them. Yo, but absolutely. Absolutely. The, the uh, angel of the cobra first. He is the angel yes. of the cobra first. He needs a you companion. Thought Darth, yeah, go ahead. You thought Darth Lenny could have been that one for a minute, but Darth, yeah. he kind of tapped out. He tapped <laughs> out in like recent days. I think his wife got in the way, personally. That's my conspiracy. Yeah, she's not about it. She no. don't. So, I'm going to share something with you. Uh, there okay. were there was talks of maybe taking a pilgrimage to Casper, right? And uh, a certain Wait, someone a what a pilgrimage visiting <laughs> Casper, me. Okay. And uh, a certain someone close to me said, "Listen, you can go there." But you cannot visit Cobra in person. And it was because she was concerned for my safety. Like, someone might try to hurt me. And uh, that's that's what it made me think of. No shit. Just yeah. like some, like, I don't know. He, I feel he like... associates with dangerous people. At least to the outsider. Is that how people view, like, a person like Cobra? In or this like, case, th- th- in like that a realm very surface-level knowledge. It's like, oh, yeah, uh, he hangs out with insane people, and he himself is crazy. So I think Darf's wife <laughs> is just like, hey, <laughs> don't go near that boy anymore. He's, he's Darf, no good. Okay, so what you're saying is Darf's wife doesn't want him fucking associated with these realms of insanity. Yes. It's not good for him. To, hey, listen, Darf's wife, if you're listening to this right now, too late. <laughs> <laughs> the germ is already in him. <laughs> right? Darf's yes. cemented. He's be a positive Listen, influence. Be like a big brother. You, if you're not just gonna make it, he's having homeboy Scotty syndrome, you know, mm. like how homeboy Scotty knew he was fucking in too deep, and he tried to dip out. He don't want anything to do with it. He's the new Darth Lenny. Yo, R.I.P. Darth Lenny. Hashtag <laughs> R.I.P. Darth Lenny. Let's get that Darth going. Lenny. Yo, yeah, because Darf Lenny, he don't want nothing to do with no. it. Cobra is fucking cooked, Gotta you know? Gotta stand him ain't... up at the bar on Halloween night. I'll say, oh, yeah, maybe I'll be able to show up. Hmm. Yeah, hell no. No. Darf Lenny ain't showing up on shit on Halloween night. Not on a Sunday night either. He's a working man. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yo, my phone's about to... Yo, my phone's about to die. I just got... To... Oh, no worries. No worries. I will oh, wait, let you no, off I the hook. Oh, wait, no, I got 10%. I got 10%. Okay, okay. So we got a little, little, little life bit, force left yeah, in you. I just got my, uh, yeah, I just got my alert. But, yeah, yeah that's wild. Whatever, did you, did, did you get any other good, uh, any other good theories? Wait, can I tell everybody, it's not a Cobra one, but can I tell everybody my favorite, uh, conspiracy theory ever? Please, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my favorite conspiracy theory. It's a music based one. Oh, nice. And it is, uh, I'll keep it really short and, and we can all mull it over. But uh, people said that Kurt Cobain from Nirvana mm-hmm. faked his death to become Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. Let's go. <laughs> Let me look him up. It sucks. 
it sucks. It sucks <laughs> so bad that it's great. Like it. <laughs> what? What a theory. I don't know why they I They really want to hang one. on to the idea that he's still kicking it. I don't know why I love that one so much. <laughs> I think because it's not even like remotely believable, but yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna put up a picture of Rivers Cuomo. This is a. Uh, oh my is... God, Hans Weezer man. Rivers Cuomo, aka going. Hans Weezer man. <laughs> I was just thinking about Weezer the other day too. Fucking Pinkerton, such a good record. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. This, this is pretty far fetched, if you ask me. Someone is uh, clinging to dear life that Kurt Cobain is. Uh, yeah, dream alive. probably. I'm, I'm believing it. I'll choose to believe it. I don't care. It doesn't take much for me. <laughs> Got nothing to lose. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, someone in the chat said, check out, actually. <laughs> I'm still listening to Shout music. out Swampy. But, yeah, let me get out of here before my phone peels. Yeah, I get that thing Yo, charged shout up. Yo, shout out, chat. Shout out. Shout uh, out, Alex Anderson. And... Yo, oh my goodness. R.I.P. Shout out, Alex Anderson. <laughs> uh, zero shout out, Down the Hill Dave. Shout out, Mr. Green. Yo, shout out the chat. Shout out, Caesar. Hmm. Um... If you guys want to jump on my Twitch sometimes, yeah. uh, Twitch, whatever, Chauncey CC, me and Caesar are going to be doing a, uh, and our boy Harry, just going to be watching some like old school uh, Halloween commercials, compilations. That's right. Chauncey has a great but, uh, Twitch. He's very regular. You can catch him usually about twice a week on set days. You do a. Uh, no. Oftentimes Monday and Wednesday, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. usually. But uh, I've been getting it in other days too. Nothing. It ain't. It ain't no. Listen though, if you jump in there, ad means you. But it ain't nothing serious. It's a hangout stream. It's yeah, just like pretty laid back. It's just like people hanging out in a basement with a computer, and I'm like <laughs> the fucking yeah. I'm. <laughs> but it's very. Yeah, it's really fun. I've I've really enjoyed watch, popping on there with you, watching infomercials and stuff. Oh, absolutely! We did the infomercial streams last week. They were great. But yes. yeah, we just we watch people. Man, last week we did an infomercial stream. Yo, seizure popped in with a custom made video, a custom made infomercial video, like private no, no, selection. No. Yeah, of, of my yeah. hand picked infomercials, you audio corrected. Wanna... Oh yeah, audio corrected. But yeah. yeah, if you want a little taste of, you know, shit that seizure likes outside of Cobra, if you jump on my stream, like, yeah, he's always going in. Check it See, out. Yo, shout out seizure robot, right? That's right. Let's get shout out seizure shout robot out in the chat. Robot. <laughs> shout out. Caesar robot. Yo, you know what's crazy though? <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody got mentioned and their name was actually Caesar, and I fucked it up. But I said Caesar. Oh no! We go in. It's yeah, Caesar. I'm too deep. You're, you're in I'm too deep. Fucking deep. Chauncey, too deep. But I'm gonna leave you with one last yeah. thing. I was what's thinking good? about. You know the Cobra and drinks live stream and uh, how I got caught off guard and ruined it. Uh, you didn't ruin anything. You didn't ruin okay. nothing. Okay. It's Gucci. I appreciate that. I was thinking about one more stab at it. We still have some combos left. I still have. Oh, let's go. The macaroni let's mix. Fucking go. For hey, the, say uh, no more, fam. Let's go. Oh, what are we yeah. getting into? The Everclear and macaroni mix. But in addition, we will drink. You ever watch the show Drunk History? 
I have not, but... Well, basically, we will drink and recap our favorite Cobra sagas. And... Let's go. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. We'll work on that. We'll yeah. get that going. Let's I think that'll go. be a good time. Holler at me. We, surely, we must have some ingredients left over from the last set that uh, it, it, Yo, it won't I break just, the bank this time. I just made uh wifey bring the the other five of those not your father's root beer to a weird family function yeah <laughs> like hey try this fucking newfangled city folk shit i've got a gigantic bottle of midori hanging around no one knows what no it's for shit. or where it came from green no fucking yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping but Cobra sure, has some yeah, more we'll recipes. So... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we didn't go through all of them. Obviously, we'll There's tap in with one. each other before this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get some. But, yeah, let's definitely do another one of those. That shit was great. Kick ass. I'll try to keep it together this time. It it beat me last time uh, around. I was out of my mind. Hell no, you were good. That stream was great. <laughs> I felt like this is so much fun. There's electricity in the air. The camera, <laughs> the the hijinks, the pillar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a lot more for you to deal with than me because I just kind of popped my <laughs> camera on and it was what it was. You had other shit going, but I guess yeah, so, let's yeah. get into it, man. Perfect. I'm with it. Part two part two yo thank you for having me for a anytime. little bit tonight anytime gang always a, always chat a gang thank you everybody have a good night have a good rest of your weekend you're gonna keep going for a little bit i'm listening i'll probably be going for um until at least midnight my time yeah that was my initial estimate okay nice i'm cooling but hey have a good night my boy i'll talk to you soon yeah. See you, everybody bro. in the chat. Have a good, uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest yeah. of the stream. Love y'all. Be yeah. safe, Caesar. Talk soon. All right, dog. Peace, 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 peace. All right, let's take some more calls. Let's get back into it. That's enough of a uh, diversion. Yes, caller, you made it. Hello. I made it. You made it, dog. The seizure? Yo. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, not too much. We're just talking hey. to Chauncey. Yeah. So I'm a little bit behind on the stream. Uh, I work IT too. I was working for a bit there. Couldn't really take any calls, but uh, shout out Caesar right. from Canada, man. Uh, I really love your work. A lot of trolls uh, in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all What's pieces up with you of guys? shit. <laughs> You're all oh, I don't know. <laughs> under the surface making fun of you. Weed, too much fucking liquor, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. It's too cold. That's what makes people cranky. It's cold up there. <laughs> yeah, man. Tell me about it. Yeah. Uh I got a theory. Yeah. <laughs> um has anyone I haven't been able to listen to the whole thing, but has anyone talked about him going full incel? And like trapping Ange and Walt no. in their basement, no. trapping Ellen. No, no. <laughs> and he's got the windows boarded up and <laughs> gone. <laughs> it's no. over. <laughs> no, I'm just out walking my dog, so he's pulling me around. But yeah. Uh... <laughs> I mean, are you able to elaborate any more on that? On him uh, trapping Walt and Angie? He just got fed up. You know, fed he said, up. sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> he, fucking, I don't know. he, he wants freaked the, out. Uh, right? The government gives because someone mentioned earlier yeah. that as a veteran, he probably has some kind of stuff with the government, and he uh, he just took over. Yeah, either that or they've they've trapped him and they're eating him for dinner and some weird cannibal fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about? But, that uh, one? I don't know. I think she. <laughs> she hasn't made it clear to him that you know he should fuck off. I don't. I don't know. What, what would you do if you were Ellen? Like I'd be like, what the fuck? But I'm wondering. I don't know if there was a big confrontation at some point because he understands now he needs to leave her alone, 
and and court yeah. with the stalking stuff. So was there a, a big incident? He, he has a history of this as well. He loves to stalk women. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's, she's probably realistically just dismissive of him. Like, oh, he's like retarded. <laughs> like, don't, don't deal with it. You know, got the kids uh, interacting with him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I've I've been I've been calling into your streams like you know for like seems like a year and a half or however long you've been doing them. Uh, Were you unsuccessful? Yeah, I'm, uh, no, no. I kind of always pussy out too. Like you know. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm J I'm J Walnut or whatever in the chat. I don't know if you ever noticed me, but uh, I'm always a huge fan of your stuff, man. Oh, wow. Glad <laughs> J- to hear. J Whoa. Did but you yeah. ever, did you ever um, get in at least once in the past on another stream? Nah, nah, never. Oh, I, oh wow! He just hung up. That dude just hung up. Fair enough. All right. That was right at the zero timer, too. He was out walking his dog, so he couldn't have known that. That's impressive. Yes, caller, you're live. Hello? Yo, what's up, Seizure? What's hey, up, bro? Hey, dog. What's going on? Man, just watching the stream, chilling, Man. talking about some Cobra conspiracy stuff. That's what I like to hear. You got any cool conspiracies about King Cobra? You know what? I don't have a whole lot of conspiracies on Cobes. I just think that maybe he might be an interdimensional wizard. You know, Inter- that's, that's about as much. Yeah, interdimensional. You got to elaborate. I think he might he might be existing on a plane that we don't understand and that's why uh you know, we, we kind of get up on his streams and say the things we do. We just don't understand him. He's a wizard living his life. Some kind of bizarro world where everything's upside down and all the things he does is completely normal in that place? Yeah, yeah. In his realm, what he's doing, he's actually ascended. Uh, and he's just on a, a plane of existence where observing from our plane of existence we don't get it we don't understand <laughs> just don't uh, understand yeah 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 he's on another level man it, from where he's from that's normal dude that's a that's every wednesday for them everyone uh, gets checks like from the government to oh, live yeah. you get everyone gets rent checked. free apartment it's cool yeah rent free they all drink themselves to death <laughs> uh their dad is <laughs> always like hey man that's how you, that's how those wands are shipped but they're all toy ones. <laughs> no skin off my shoes. Yeah. Common sense. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they all have magic. They can turn street lights off. They can uh, disrupt uh, computers and stuff. They can do very minor magic. Not a whole lot of magic, though. It's a you know, manipulation of electronics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very minor manipulation of stuff like that. And uh, they all have to ha- seem to have a puppet of some sort that just lives in their apartment um, for no other reason than just to be there. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, one more time with that last bit? They uh, Okay, so from Cobra's universe, they all have a puppet that uh-huh. seems to just be there. You know, for no other reason just to be there for um, their Cobras to manipulate like a doll. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Does he have like a Clint doll in his universe? Oh, absolutely. He's got a Clint man. doll, and and he can he can manipulate this Clint doll, but for some reason, it still talks down to him. <laughs> it still talks down to him, and he's the one manipulating it, so he's got some kind of psychosis. Yeah, it's a, a source of frustration. I was just looking up. <laughs> Something called Stretch Armstrong. That's the first thing that came to mind. And uh, oh, absolutely! You know, a tiny little fellow when this was big, but yeah, something like this would be Clint, his little doll. Interesting. This is a great theory, and people are really into the whole multiverse thing right now. So uh, you done think good. So yeah. Well, I try. I try. I'm just a vassal. A, a vassal. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm just a vassal for the Cobes uh, God to talk through in this universe. Yes, yes, he simply works through you. 
Well, friend. Yeah, he does. You done good. That would be some great things to mull over and think about. You still out walking your dogs? Uh, yeah, yeah. Them dogs are out. I'm walking them, and uh, they ain't going to stop. All right. Well, I'm going to let you get back to it. Hope it's not too cold up there. Well, thank you very much, Caesar. I hope you have a good one, bro. You too, my lovely Canuck. Farewell. <laughs> Later, bro. Bye-bye. One second here. Sorting out some issues with Google Voice. There we go. Something's going on. A little preferred you. Oh. oh, who have we got here? Who is this? Uh, uh, hey there, Caesar. Oh, hey, baby. Hey, boy, what's your name? I'm good looking. <laughs> oh, oh uh, just trying to, you know, take some more calls in the, the top of this hour. Uh, what are you up to? When are we setting the wedding for our baby? Another baby. Uh, I, I only no. got so many sperm cells in me. Uh, I'm dry. I'm dry. Well, you let me know when the wedding date is. The what? The wedding date? The the wedding date. Wedding. Wedding. You. Like wedding season. Wedding. We're getting married. Oh, the wedding. Yeah. Well, I can't You're wait. Right, yeah. Gotcha. I'm having second thoughts now. For for the listeners, sure. uh, who who is this? Uh, for you know, you sound a little different tonight. Um, this is Crystal. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I, I just wanted to be one hundred percent sure with what we were talking about. Very sensitive conversation. Um. In case you didn't know, you're my boyfriend, and we're getting married soon. Yeah, you've, you've been pushing that know. real hard. Just so you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might sound a little tired. I've been out batching a lot tonight. You're trying to so deliver uh, ice cream via the bus? Yeah. I wish. It's all very hot food. <laughs> Not only hot food this time. That's smart. Yeah. Maybe room temperature by the time it gets there. It's not, because I'm in Arizona and it's too warm. Don't get caught in any dust storms, okay? You mean I have boo boo boo? Boo boo boo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris. Oh, Crystal, you're the love of my life. I can't get enough of you. Are. That's what I like to hear more of that. Please. You're, you're a, a lovely human being. And uh, I want to spend all my time with you uh, from here on out. You moving down here in Arizona or am I going to do? Uh, I think I'd like to try the desert lifestyle if, if you're up for it. You like Mexican food? That's all we got. That's it? That's all we got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty shit in messes and food. Okay. Eh. Uh, gas station tacos for me, huh? Yeah, we can do a Cobra combo. What's a Cobra combo for Mexican food? Taco John's? Yeah, oh, just a God. bunch of stuff from the gas station. Taco John's. Pouring sauce all over it? Please. Crystal, I'm getting yeah, cold feet now. I don't like this. Oh no. You're gonna love it down here. <laughs> Let me think about it, okay? Yeah? Is that alright? Yeah. You're not too angry with me? Crystal? Um, uh, we can, we can work it out. Okay, let's sort it out. Uh, also, your, uh, your ex-husband has been uh, sending me a lot of threats via text message. You need to do something about that, alright? 
right? I need you to finally put him in jail, like you've been trying. I don't remind me of this. So uh, you you've been uh, trying to prove that he's been breaking uh, no no contact orders, and mm. you actually camped out at one point. Oh right, uh, my stocking, out, uh, camping out, yeah. Outside of like the police station, parole officer's place, trying to get him in jail, and um, I'm pretty sneaky, bitch. You are sneaky, but it didn't work out, and now he's coming to kill you, and uh, by proxy me. So I need you to do something about that, all right? I'm on it. All right, Crystal. Good to hear. Well, uh, I'll be visiting you real soon. I'm going to tuck you in. Uh, we're going to get that bed uh, suspended by chains like we were talking about. And uh, we'll beat those bed the... bugs once and for all. How did you know I got them again? Oh, I... you tell me everything, Crystal. All right, well, um... Call me after the stream, and we'll do a little fun time on the phone. A little, little night-night talk like we always do before we go to sleep. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, Crystal. Well, I'll, I'll catch you later. All right. I might call you in a little bit. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, bye now. Mm. That was Crystal. Love of my life. Not Stephanie anymore, only Crystal these days. Hello. Hello? Hey, who's this? Hey. Yeah. My name is Monaghan. I got a conspiracy for you. All right, let's hear it. Okay, so along the lines of the guy who thinks he's a, some other dimensional wizard. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking that Sean is maybe some sort of totem. And Cobes is a poltergeist. Continue. I think he's maybe a ghost of an old drunkard. So you think Cobra the is maybe The comes on like when the family's past. gone. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Maybe this Clint fella is the single guy who lives in the home, who has inherited this Sean totem. I could see Cobra huh. being like a lighthouse keeper in a past life. Is is that making sense? Yeah, I could see that. Okay, okay. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm thinking maybe the guy went and had an exorcism and he's gotten rid of the spirit of Cobes. And now it's just been flying around, nowhere to go. Yeah, and the guy you know, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is, but I'm pretty sure that he's exercised this dark spirit. Okay. And the and, and remind me this dark spirit. Where did it get exercised from? Oh, Sean. He's clearly the oh, totem. Okay. That he was the key. The spirit is attached to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Understood. Loud and clear. And now the spirit is just flying around. It's whizzing around. Yeah. Yes. Ran, random joke videos and yeah wet and juicy yeah random paypal shout outs do you think he has to like expel the spirit from his ass on the regular and that's why the wet and juicies have been happening that has to be have you ever heard of you know liquids dripping down the wall of poltergeist activities in house oh yeah 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 it's like, yeah, something like sewage that. dripping down yeah. This is making more anyway, and more sense. I gotta go. Ellen just showed back up, so... Oh, yeah. Better get the stocking, boy. We got business, too. Yeah, give her a nice, fresh Thank new katana. Alright. Get the <laughs> hell out. Farewell. Yeah. We have... Are we out of calls? Okay. Tell you what. Tell you what. Since, well, I'll take one more. I'll take one more. Yes, caller, you're live. What's up? Well, goddamn time, teacher robot. I got a lot of truth to come out. Oh, sounds like it. Yeah, go right ahead. Now, um, I, I can't use my real name. There's, uh, got a lot of people out. Uh, looking for me. Sound like Alex Jones. Uh, yeah. No. Not Alex Jones. Okay. That's, uh, 
No, no. This is um, Murphy uh, Jones. Okay. <laughs> Murphy Jones? I didn't, yeah, I'm, I'm Murphy Jones. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, what's going on is um, Josh has been dying uh, pretty much. It's not every single day, but it is within like three days he will end up dying and they have clones. Clones. They've been cloning them for years. Oh, I've heard about the uh, King Clonebra theory. Yes. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, let me take it. Let me take a drink here, real quick. Okay. Got a lot going on here. Yeah, I believe. Uh, it. The at the office, a lot of research. But yeah, so what they've been doing? They're trying to make the ultimate super soldier. So when World War Three finally happens. Mm -hmm. We know what's going to happen because the globalists. The globalists, goddamn them. Yeah. Yeah. They're the worst. I hate them. I hate them too. Preach. So, thank you. You know, there was a there was a young woman who uh, called earlier. Uh -huh. She was uh, she wasn't afraid to tell the truth, you know. True patriot, yes. So, uh, what happens is they're trying to make the ultimate super soldier for World War Three. Mm -hmm. When that happens. They want to have an army of resistant <laughs> to antibacterial, any kind of radiation, because you know Casper, Wyoming is just a hot spot. Oh yeah, everybody knows that. It's a big that's why they're all the breeding ground. That's why there are a whole bunch of weirdos over there. Yeah, no kidding. It was like a bunch of goddamn mutants. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's what they're trying to do, and the reason that. Cobra is always looking weird and he's constantly devolving. Why like he looks like he aged 40 years in just three. They are collecting his sperm samples oh. from the carpet. That's why he was evicted. Mm -hmm. They cut up the carpet. They were getting the samples. Samples. And then with those samples, they're constantly cloning him to make the ultimate life form. But they can't collect a sample unless he comes. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's got a cub. He's got a cub. That's why they're... <laughs> Has he been buying a lot of uh, enhancement uh, men's vitality pills? That's part of it, right? Correct. Exactly. That's why he's always watching Chatterbait. They programmed him. <laughs> now this army of clone bras, is, is it all going to coalesce into one big unit, or are we talking about uh, leagues of them? Are you uh, are you hinting towards something like uh, Akira and a sort? Yeah, like a giant baby. Uh huh. Well, uh, let me tell you about uh, article C E X two four one. I'll send you details later. Um, but it might turn into one. It could be several. But the Bilderbergs. Uh, you have the George Soros. Uh, the Koch brothers. Uh, I said brothers. <laughs> they're both alive. Don't let them lie to you. Did you say the Koch brothers? Koch brothers. <laughs> they're, they're always saying the one died. He never died. <laughs> yeah. They're just saying that so you lower your shield. Uh -huh. Don't be a damn fool. <laughs> this has been very enlightening. Get ready, you guys. That's why I was trying to get it. Try, trying to get a hold of you. Get Everybody's got to know. Chat's got to know. Uh, except for the ones complaining. Fuck you, chatter. You don't know the truth. Get your last God, ass so, ready. Uh, Prepare. Yeah. Time's coming. What are they going to do? Sue me? Yeah, right. You might have to eat your neighbor at this rate. Uh, I can't. Cobra's coming. He's coming. Mm -hmm. Make no uh, mistake. He, he, he's coming. All the time he's coming. He's coming. That's the main problem. <laughs> they stop coming, they stop cloning them. <laughs> so what, we need to get Cobra a partner stat, huh? Because he's coming otherwise. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need a real cum receptacle in that way. Uh, <laughs> the future's protected. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta protect our future. The, the cum dam is about to burst. Oh, 
My bad. I, I keep wanting to call you Alex Jones. What was your name again? <laughs> um. <laughs> is that top secret? It's Murphy. It's Murphy Jones. Murphy Jones. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a freelance. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Free uh, thinker. It, yes. Uh, Free first and foremost. Patriot. Free thinking patriot. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in God bless America. <laughs> Uh, land of the damned. Talk if about, uh, people don't change their ways, dam's gonna burst. I'm about to bust. I am full of piss and vinegar, as they say. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Um, tell you what, if you want to send me a, a quick text with uh, just just something about our conversation, I'd love to talk with you further. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the most dangerous thing: make sure you don't piss on your carpet because they will take the spores from it. <laughs> You can leave it too long. <laughs> they will take it. Nothing is sacred anymore. <laughs> no evidence left behind. God That's damn. my moniker. Globalists. Uh, making Fucking the frogs globalists. gay. Uh, we'll bless you. Bless you, know, I, you. I heard a wise man say that once before. Yeah. Uh, he's been he's been going through a tough time. I'm I'm gonna die if I don't piss on my carpet stat. So I'm gonna have to let you go. But again, please send me a. A nice little text with uh, words of wisdom, okay? Absolutely. Leave that carpet sopping. <laughs> I want it to squish. I want it to be real squishy when I walk on it. Yeah, so good in those big piggies. See you later. See ya, boy. Okay. So, for real, I got to take a quick break. I am going to explode. Uh, hang tight. We'll be back. We're going to round off this last hour. Uh, that would be very enlightening. Bless him. Bless him. Hang tight. Uh, we're about to enter the of age wet panty zone. Ladies. Damn, that guy smells good. Mm. What's up? You like guitar? I'd finger your friend. Board. His muscles are so huge. What up, girl? My phone's down. What's your Facebook? <laughs> I wanna pull on his hot dog. I want his hot dog. Hell yeah. Bad for his trip. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What's his secret? Get yourself some cat. Uh, we're about to enter the of age wet panty zone. Ladies, what's up? The sexy rock star is single. Damn, that goth guy smells good. Mmm. What's up? You like guitar players because I'd finger your fretboard. His muscles are so huge. What up, girl? My phone's down. What's your Facebook? <laughs> I want to pull on his hot dog. I want to pull on his hot dog. Hell yeah. He's a bad boy. Look at that sexy ass of mine. My walnut is dripping. Damn. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What's his secret? Get yourself some tactical soap! to enter the of age wet panty zone all right gang we are back yeah not muted that's good it's a good start i think we're gonna wrap up this top of the hour remaining 20 minutes um i'm just gonna read chat and talk with you guys for a little bit I always wind up going a little bit longer than expected when I get to talking with you guys. So I, th I think we can expect to probably go a little bit longer. We'll see. 
the Alex Jones impersonator inspired personality was a great closer. I'm very tempted just to end with that. So for you guys uh, still trying to get in, I deeply apologize. I, I think we are going to go ahead and close those lines tonight. I'm going to take down the phone number. There we go. And I'm going to be reading chat. I'll be keeping an eye on my uh, text messages and stuff. If you try to get a hold of me through there, put on do not disturb. And there we go. So that was a lot of fun. That was very enjoyable for me. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to make it clear. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Sorry. Whenever I talk a lot, I get this weird phlegm thing and uh, it's hard to like clear it all out. Uh, it's like DSP's post nasal drip almost without the giga snorts. <laughs> People talk about me having like a crack snip or something. It's like a nervous tick. I don't, I don't do crack. I'm not addicted to cocaine. So the Clint stream, I was paying close attention to what people were saying about that. And I'll admit I had a weird feeling about it with the Clint stream once it was over. And so <clears throat> I've had a kind of a, a dichotomy between, uh, we talked about earlier, funny guests and serious guests. And if you can believe it, there was a guy on the subreddit who really gave it to me. He really ripped me wide open. And he said, uh, you need to either be playing a character or you need to be serious. You can't flip flop. And so uh, in addition, they hated the soundboard noises. I get that completely in hindsight. And th there was some more discussion, but essentially if people want to call in to a stream that is asking for a serious topic, I can't dump people when they call in talking seriously and they're not like a funny character. And in addition, funny ass characters are pretty rare. I would say early on they came in constantly, but I got spoiled. That was like a curse of being a beginner. A lot of people just want to call in and say their bit. They listen to the podcast and say, oh yeah, I wish I could tell Seizure this thing. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So I felt really guilty after the last stream. I was too hard on people. I was dumping people. Uh, I would kind of make fun of them a little bit in, in backhanded ways. And I, I felt guilty about it. And it's because internally I was always thinking, I need to keep these people moving. I've got to boot this person. Um, and it's not so much like I need to boot them. It's just... A lot of people are trying to call in. I want to give them each their bit. And so that's where the timer came from. I think it worked out really, really well. Uh, timer, I think, is here to stay. Good. I was making sure it wasn't still running. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that's, that's what I have to say about that. I am reading chat. Underworld in background. Uh, bear with me as I keep up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing a, a big old list of music and there's a uh, filter that makes it sound like it's coming from another room. So some of you guys have very good trained ears. This is uh, Dark and Long, also known as Dark Train from Underworld. Well done. Of age of goodness. Usually go like four plus hours longer than you say you will. Yeah, no kidding. Chauncey says shout out chat. Seizure, let me send you that money, dude. Uh, in time, in time. Uh, when I, when I can prove that, basically when the promo comes out, I'll let you send it to me. Mm. Seizure, good times, man. Watch it live with us, Caesar. I guess Cobra 
put out a video, huh? Let me cue that up real fast. One sec. What did he put out? Oh! That's weird. He... Put out one, Kanye West causes controversy, just under 30 minutes, shout out video, and then Mr. West causes hate. Okay. Yeah, we'll watch these. Two seconds. Let me turn off these filters. I'll catch up on chat. Uh, this should come from the browser. Turn on my VCR view. I love VCR view for a lot of reasons. One of which is that it helps conceal text. <laughs> Things that might uh, be bad for me. I'm gonna engage studio mode. That also came from chat. Really, really helpful. How to do studio mode. There you go. If you're wondering what studio mode is, basically you guys see one thing, but in the background I can get something ready and not have it be uh, broadcasted. Really useful. So we'll kind of peruse through Kanye West causes controversy. I got a drink. Okay, yeah, that's working. Let me turn off the background music. You guys got some good ears. You're in uh, music memory. Whatever it was called. I don't know if you guys had that growing up. But <laughs> it was like a special club, usually in uh, elementary and middle school where you just had to be able to recognize classical music off of a little sample. All right, turn off studio mode. Oh, hang on, we'll go to VCR mode now. There we go, all right. And again, I'll skip through this. Uh, chances are there's some bits in here that are gonna suck balls. Combo. Mixing some strong 68 absinthe. I'll turn this up. With a splash of Mountain Dew. <laughs> There's about that much absinthe in there, and I'm like a little bit absinthe. of sugary goodness on top. That's what's up. It's about time. So Kanye West wore a t-shirt that said, White Lives Matter. And Sharon Osbourne stands with him on that decision. Now here's my take on it. I'm going to grab a sip of this drink. I don't think Kanye West was intentionally trying to be racist or edgy. He could have been just saying he's a black dude who supports white people and he's tired of segregation. All right, so I want to talk about absinthe for a little bit. I had a spell of exploring absinthe, seeing what it was about. It used to have uh, wormwood and thujosin something. Basically... Uh, things that can't be put into it now. So if you drink absinthe, you're just drinking a cocktail of chemicals uh, without any of the good stuff. It kind of tastes like black licorice. Um, there's like a, a fancy spoon you can put over it that you put like a sugar cube on top and you kind of like dissolve the sugar in it to help it taste better. But absinthe is nothing special. Uh, I would honestly only be interested if it had the original ingredients and that I knew that it wouldn't break my brain. Now, let's get back However, to the Kanye talk. if that was your way of showing that you support white people, it came off as super cringe. Considering that there's a lot of white people who support Black Lives Matter, which we'll get into yeah. in a second. Uh-huh. I myself support Black Lives Matter because I cannot, I cannot begin to imagine what it's like for people to grow up terrified. For uh, turning on live chat instead of top chat, I, I unfortunately, I don't know how to toggle it uh, for the browser window. 
mm. without just doing like a screen capture. Uh, I maybe I could edit the URL, but I I just don't know how, and I'm sorry about that. It's it's not on purpose. I want it to be live chat, but when you guys are seeing it uh, in the stream and it says top chat, that's not on purpose. Um, I'll try to figure that out. But I can see actual live chat from where I'm at here. Uh, Swampy says, what creepy experiences have you had with the Dark Cobraverse Secret Society? I, I can tell you a lot of negative experiences I've had in general that I think you guys would really enjoy hearing. And I, I won't forget about that. I'm going to get into that with you. Ever since, let me think, at least two years ago, I've had certain individuals that I, I've worked with and had to cut ties with because I knew I was getting burnt. And I, I can tell you the full story. It's rough. Each time, I like to think I learn something new because I, I don't know anything about any of this and what's going on um, and you know how to react to people. It's easy to be naive and, and think you're being presented with like a really good deal. And in the end, it's just shit. Uh, it's piss. But I'll tell you about that. I'll definitely tell you about that. I'm getting shot at just because they're black. I can't begin to imagine what that's like. Also, Cobra's several the only years, guy. Several goddamn He's like a years boomer where he's talking about things. Martin Luther King Jr. Several years speech. after the fact, he's talking about Bog Lives Matter. Black people are still Chauncey. being murdered by corrupt white assholes, and it's sad. I can't begin to imagine what that's like to have your. I'm sorry for all the pausing. Uh. <clears throat> Black Lives Matter, probably at the core, had good intentions, but I will never forget, there was a Bernie Sanders rally where he was talking to a big-ass group of people, and the the back, sorry, BLM faction ran up on stage and started literally screaming into his face while he was talking, and... It's all conspiracy stuff, which is appropriate for this stream, that people were theorizing that they were just payrolled by whoever to disrupt it, and I fully believe it. Uh, Bernie Sanders was not the guy that you want to rush his stage and scream as hard as you can while he's attempting to talk to people. The last guy. Anyway, anyway. Josh, of course... If anyone was going to get me talking about this well after the fact, it's Jord. Race harassed for the last 600 plus years simply, from, simply just because you're black. This is a shit stream. I can now, Sharon that. Osborne feels cheeked because she I'm donated $900 million dollars to Black Lives Matter. No. And we still have racial issues in our society. Unfortunately, you you think nine hundred million dollars would fix everything, but it doesn't. Racism is at an all time high, and the internet's made it worse. <laughs> Seizure going mask off. Chauncey said, "Tell me to stop." There are some individuals. Okay, I'll quit it. Sorry. Who are part of these are matter who have done some really. These are thoughts that I had, unironically, probably four to five years ago. Uh, so I could have been very misinformed. I'm going to apologize in advance. Uh, I, try to, I try to not get into my actual conspiracy side that I have with me because uh, I, I don't want to get people mad at me. But uh, I, that, that really that caught me by surprise as well, if you want to know. I'm sitting there using sexism and man hate. I'm going to get off of that. To uh, gain equality. And all it does is make things worse. Anyone have a rundown of what this was all about? What the hell he's talking about in darkness here? Honestly, I don't. Regular I don't garbage take that on Sharon's something? Racist. Yeah, I, I really don't. Because she went on Fox News crying her eyes out about it. What Sharon? Talking about how like she was just on the floor crying, and her son Jack had to come in and help her off the floor. Who gives a you shit? Know, Etc. It's all super racist. 
it's never really talked about in our society. It's just brushed under the rug. Like, no, no, don't talk about that. White people are the only ones that are racist, and men are the only ones that are sexist. No, we, we can't have... <laughs> if you disagree with us, you're a bigot. And this you're is not a stream for the truth to like, come out? Maybe. Maybe. People are allowed to have an opinion. Seizure Demcuck confirmed. Shit. Yeah, that's funny. Stand on your knees when you apologize. You guys got some funny takes. I like this. I think from Sharon's from Sharon Osborne's perspective, all that matters is she the got Coca-Cola a lot of crap agreement. for agreeing with Pierce Morgan. Because Caesar, he's what do you think of Soros? All I know about Soros, one, so Sharon, he's got these big eye bags that just hang really loose and low, and they're full of something. I don't know what. I I want his weird pus bags to be drained that hang from like below his eyeballs. They make me uncomfortable. Uh, for all the money he has, he should be able to get those removed. Uh, no matter what, I'm always distracted by George Soros's giant eye pus bags. Uh, other than that, I've heard that he bankrolls all kinds of uh, distractions and uh, underhanded means of getting what he wants. That's probably why the BLM talk got you thinking about him. I don't know much else uh, beyond that. He's one of those shadow government people that you just hear about and you don't really know what they're up to. Aaron thinks, well, if I agree with Kanye West, who is black, then people can't call me a racist. And I'm like, okay, people's opinions should have Kanye nothing said, to do with oh my. Okay. the color of the person's skin. That they're all You evil. agree with them or you don't agree with them. You know, we gotta stop making everything about This won't race. last forever, I promise. I'm not gonna stick around for this video. We'll move on. Keep people fighting. Yeah, yeah. What was it with the Romans? Uh, yeah, and I genuinely bread believe and circuses. that from a lot of people's perspective, it's like, well, where's my representation? That's just part of the whole Me Soros Too society Josh. we live in. <laughs> and to be fair... Black people have had it a lot harder than white people. So it's like, even bit. if you're saying, hey, don't be a creep about it. This you know? Just and that's just it. This is all propaganda that people do to. to make the movement look bad. This they is probably several years old stuff that he's just picked up and on. Who also identify as some form of LGBTQ. And it just ruins it for the gay community, <laughs> dude. Hashtag gays against groomers. Chauncey's saying, Caesar gone wild. I try to conceal my power level, okay? It's really difficult to come across as a sane, rational person when you talk about these things. Now, if you want to check out my Some Lives Matter t-shirt before it drops on my customized girl Monday, like I Shadow said, government in quotes. I don't know what else to call it. In the comments the section of this year's the video. Bilderberg. The Rainbow Roses uh, on the back Rothstein's. How... How we're controlling all things. Of the rainbow, I, I think that money individuals. talks. We're all people just trying to live our life. And then I'm sorry, we all it. die once we get over that rainbow bridge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of thing. So it's sure. goth in the uh, aspect of the message behind the shirts. Not all lives matter because there are some real sick fuck. I think I'm screwing up the last name. The, uh... And I'm sick of it. I feel like an idiot. But what right do now. you people think? YouTube. The, the you family that West they come from like a lineage of uh, owning banks with the, uh, white and they have a colossal amount of influence. And do you think Eminem uh, would be cancel cultured quickly? Shit. Never mind. I need do you to think really Eminem would be cancel cultured if he right wore now. a shirt that said white lives matter? Oh fuck yeah he would. Eminem would be fuck it. It's going to drive me nuts though if I can't remember. Let's move on to the next vid. Two seconds here. That was probably his attitude. The other vids are pretty short. I'll we'll get into like a story time um, after that. Hey, wait a second. Oh, no, oh, whatever. You can't see anything. No. Mr. West causes hate. I really think that Kanye West is a racist white man trapped inside a black man's body. All jokes aside, 
Kanye West, I tried defending your ass with the White Lives Matter t-shirt, dog, and I'm sitting here. Rothschild. You know, this is my critique on the anti-Semitic bullshit. Oh. You're definitely anti-Semitic. Can I say Rothschild? Even if you have black ancestors being so anti-Semitic is just as bad in my opinion. Yeah. So, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the Ross trials. There's this great image of one of them poking one of the U.S. presidents in the chest, like bullying him. And it says so much about their influence, at least what you could take from it. I don't know for sure. And cobras are actually venomous, but here's like one of the world's worst dad jokes. What's a cobra's favorite jam for their Thank you sandwich? again. I feel like an idiot. I heard right it now. was poison berry. Poisonberry. All right. All right. Those are Josh's recent videos. I don't know what you take from that. Beats me. A lot of trash. A lot of stuff he's finding well after the fact. So. <laughs> Roth Goldberg Steins. I'm really embarrassed that I implied that it had something to do with uh, Jewish people. I fucked up. The Rothschilds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bilderberg, the Rothschilds. People who have a lot of wealth, especially generational wealth, they tend to have a gargantuan amount of influence. And beyond the realms of government... And, and things like that, there are families and, mm, <laughs> I want to use something archaic like guilds, uh, but factions, whatever, that go way back, way, way back. And to me, I feel like that they pull a lot of the strings and we don't know about them. Anyway, so we're going to get into some stories. I know that I was uh, probably going to end it at 12, but we're going to go a little bit longer because I'm having fun. Now, people are talking about what I've seen in the gothic underbelly of the King Cobra JFS community, the weird things I've seen. And I would say it's more so just the strange people that I've interacted with and the people that have burnt me. And funny enough, it usually happens after the New Year's stream that these people come out of the woodwork. There was a guy that approached me once and he was like, hey, I want you to make some promotional footage for me. And I was like, that's cool. He said, I'm the president of a game publishing company. I have a lot of influence. And I've worked with these prestigious game companies in the past, uh, game developers. Would you like to make something for me? Yeah, sure. So we talk for a while, and he, he puts out this uh, game. It's a copy of, um, what was it called? You, you wind up bouncing a ball, and you, you break these blocks. It's been around since, like, computers that have, like, a megabyte of storage, uh, legitimately. And he, he just kept stringing me along, and I think maybe two months passed, where it's just like, hey, dude, what do you want from me? And he'd be like, oh, hey, show up on this Twitch stream. Why don't you be a personality on this Sonic Adventure Twitch stream? It's like, no, I don't want this. What do you want from me? I want to make this like content for you. And um, more time passed. And eventually uh, I, I got sick of it because they wanted a lot of my time, but they wouldn't tell me what kind of video they wanted, what kind of promo, uh, and what they were going to pay me. And uh, I worked my way up to the, quote, CEO and I said, hey, can we please talk sometime soon? And uh, 
we had an appointment. He didn't make it. And he said, oh, yeah, I was in a big business meeting. Sorry I couldn't make it to that. I found out later from the other guy that he was asleep. This was like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. He'd just fallen asleep. I said, that's enough. I'm sick of this. So that was one guy. Moral of the story is you you can quote to be a game publisher and be a CEO and a president, but there are time wasters out there who exist simply to distract you and take as much as they can without paying you. I remember when things got near the end and I had made a demo of what I could offer them. I put time into it without getting paid. I made a little thing. And he was like, dude, you want some money? Is that what this is about? You want me to give you some money? I was like, no. What is all this? What is this? And that was uh, January two years ago. Let me read up on chat. <laughs> I, was, I was talking for a little bit there. Someone mentioned uh, Jesuits. You're not supposed to say it's them. Yeah, put that in uh, three to four parentheses when you're talking about them. You know, bra and your review bra would not get along. I can tell you about review bra. That's an old story. I have old interactions with him, and that's gonna that's gonna start some stuff. I don't. I'm scared to get into that, but I can tell you. I need to chat a little bit more here. I see the parentheses. Chaz burnt seizure. I've been fortunate enough to not have interacted with Chaz at all. Was his last name Rothstein? No. No. That was my mistake. I really screwed up there. Swampy said games. I can talk about games. He didn't really do anything, so it's hardly worth talking about. Sonic Adventure Stream. Yeah, they were... They were streaming Sonic Adventure, and they're like, hey, dude, come on. It's like, no, this started as uh, me making some promotional material for you, for your game that you're, uh, you're publishing, dude. DJ Fixol says Michael Games, infamous. Yeah. Yeah, he knows what's up. Is this your villain arc, says Chauncey. Chauncey, for real, if I'm going off the rails, let me know. Uh, I, I gave it to Wayward earlier tonight, and it felt really good. And not... I've been a hermit for a long time now. I haven't talked to people on Reddit. I haven't talked to people on Discord. I just... I, I've been an island. And so... I don't know if I'm coming from a, a different perspective here, but I'm just doing what I want right now. But if I'm going off the rails and going too hard, let me know. Chauncey, like there's people that I still trust, and if they tell me things, if I'm out of line, like I'll take it very seriously. I have more stories about the people I got to know over time. I can talk about that easily. We need review bra story. I'll, I'll talk about that. Yeah. Seizure, you going to do a Halloween stream or anything? Yes. It won't be Dancing Pumpkin Man, but it'll be an old throwback to something that you guys enjoy. And uh, there will be a, a Halloween-themed activity slash stream that you're really going to like. Irish Joe asks... Sorry, it just jumped for me there. Where has TWU Games been? Well... Uh, 
Ah, he's, he's been up to it. He's, um, to briefly recap, That's What's Up Games was starting to make an Earthbound clone that was supposed to be like a King Cobra game. This went on for about two years. He'd post screenshots and stuff to the Reddit. And people get really hyped and giving him encouragement. Until finally one day he just said, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make it. I've been getting too much backlash. Uh, this, I, I, I want to make this as a gift to the Reddit, as he put it. And then he went to Kiwi Farms and hung out with them. He hasn't been doing anything since. That I know of. It was Tamers. <laughs> I love Tamers. I'd love some Tamers talk. My disappointment will be immeasurable if I don't hear about Review Bro. I'll talk about Review Bro next. Okay, you guys are jonesing. Okay. All right. So, my saga with Review Bra is as follows. Let me see if I can get the thing that he is still selling to this day. In the early era, I would say 2015, he'd do his uh, Voice of the Report of the Week podcast, and he would do reader mail, and I would send him fan art. And uh, eventually, I sent him some fan art of something, and it was like a whole Illuminati confirmed thing. I can show you the original. Um, I can. I have the receipts that show that I actually did make this. Uh, as you guys can probably guess, I'm pretty good at doing like pixel art, MS Paint kind of stuff. And I sent him some fan art that had this in it. Uh, let me move it on over to uh, VCR view. And it was like this unsolicited fan art. Um, it was so that he would read it eventually. Ugh, it's kind of hard to see this, isn't it? I can't even see my cursor. <laughs> you can't really make that out at all. Uh, I sent him fan art that had this in it. I can go to my webs.com account that has the original. And it had this in there. And it was like, hey, review bra. I like you. I think you're cool. Here's some fan art. Time passed. And he wound up sent, or, uh, selling this sweater that had it on there, uh, my fan art. And around that time, this was very early on that I was trying to get onto YouTube and I fell into the trap of being like, oh yeah, I'll interview people. I'll do an interview and it'll be great. And so I sent him emails over the course of a month and he wouldn't reply to me. And uh, I got salty. And I posted on his subreddit and I said, review bra been emailing you I'd appreciate a response I've been wanting to talk to you maybe do like a YouTube video you've been using my fan art for your merch could you please at least respond to me and eventually he appeared on his sub in that thread and he said well tell you what someone said that they were doing this already that they made the artwork so I don't know if you're real or not and two, it wasn't selling that good anyway. So I'll take it down. And three to four weeks later, he put it back up anyway after taking it down. And uh, that's that's my story with Review Bra. I gave him some fan art. He went on to sell it on his merch, continues to. And he never credited me um, or acknowledged me. He, he never even like responded to my emails asking for like uh, anything from him. Uh, but it was kind of a lesson that I took from it. And I, I still like Review Bra a lot. But again, lessons that you can learn. If you provide fan art to somebody, chances are they can use it within reason and get away with it. And someone else can say like, yeah, I made that. Use it, dude. Let me, let me get the original. I'll get the original. Hang on. But that's the story. And I'm not, like, salty about it. 
I <laughs> I certainly sound like I am, but I haven't pursued this for many, many, many years now. Uh, I haven't chased this. I haven't talked about it. That's that's just like the review bra story. Please don't harass them over it. This is old news. There are people out there who want your time, and when they don't get it, they try to punish you, and it sucks. And that's probably been my punishment since this has happened. So if you can, uh, please just leave him alone. If you're inclined to actually get on his case about this. Let me check chat. Sorry. This, I've, I've literally never talked about this before publicly. In other news, go get your Caesar Authentic sweater art. I don't have any. I don't sell any merch. I'm genuinely surprised to know about or this about him, really. Yeah, things get really muddy when when you're on that end of things. You don't know what to believe. Um, things get really gray, and I don't hold it against him. Um, <laughs> I really like Rapport of the Week. And I've looked to him as kind of a model of what to do when handling certain things. In his early days, again, this was like 2014, he almost shut down his channel because of really negative feedback. And he used to reply to people in his YouTube comment section with some hate speech. He would, he would do some like serious, nasty words yelling at people. And eventually you learn that th there's nothing to gain from that and you just keep going. Uh, but yeah. Tamers is amazing. Yes, he is. I don't think I could do another dancing video. It went so bad last year. I think I'm the kind of guy that has to do something new each year. I have to like risk it trying a brand new thing. I, I can't do the same thing twice for various reasons, so I probably won't do another dancing video. Seizure, make a drink combo. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's see how this night goes. What do your two YouTube bookmarks go to? Eh, I don't know. I'm not sure what it showed in the uh, VCR view. Nothing good, that's what. You guys don't want to see. Mr. Wizard says, I actually remember this. Did you make a post on a subreddit about it? Yes, I did. That was me being like, hey, I, I need to make this come to a head. Uh, here I am. This is my problem. Can you address it? And he did. And then I stopped. I got off his case about it. Caesar, did you make the music that's playing in the background? If so, uh, what DAW do you use? I didn't make the music, no. So, music is really tricky. I love being able to include different kinds of music. <laughs> Sorry, that's me sniffing again. It's not cocaine. Uh, if I had to actually pay someone every time I played some kind of music, I wouldn't do it. But essentially, what you're hearing is uh, music with a low-pass filter. It's the playing from another room effect. And I think that simultaneously helps me get away with playing music and get to hear something. But also, when people are talking, it's always in the background. It never overpowers. I think it's really cool, the way that works. Chauncey says he's unsubbing. I know I did. Yeah. I still check on them from time to time, but uh, that certainly soured things for me. Which fan art exactly? My bad. I'm on my webs.com account right now. This is stuff, literally MS Paint drawings I would do during work back in the day. I called it, I think I called it napkin. Let me see if I can get it up for you. One second. I'm, I'm really going to try to get you the receipts because this is a 
big ass claim that I'm making here. While I'm looking it up, I used to draw stuff in MS Paint. You know in manga where there's like tones and uh, it creates like a semi grayness to a drawing? I don't know how else to put it. I tried to do that in MS Paint by making like a series of dots and repeating it. I thought it was the greatest discovery ever. Hang on. I made other fan art for him too. If I really dug deep, I could find all the artwork that eventually got featured. Here's a napkin, I think this is it. Here it is, okay. Uh, let me go into, I'm, I'll am i straight up do uh, display capture if need be, but I'll do VCR view for now. Let's see if this uh, actually shows up correctly. I blow it up or maybe even like sharpen it. Ugh, this is gonna drive me nuts because you need to know that it's. If you go to this URL, <laughs> cedarrobot5000.webs.com slash napkin.png, you'll see it in its true form. But this is what he used. You can kind of see the, the fake toner here. This is what he used for his merch. And I did this in MS Paint and submitted it. And, um... It's... It was fan art. But it gets into this really gray area of like, well, I gave you this fan art. What are technically the rights when it comes to uh, using this for merchandise and stuff like that? In, in seriously 2015 maybe this happened I hold no ill will towards Review Bra I really liked him a lot and I can understand if someone approached him and said hey I made this you have full permission to use it but yeah if you, if you go to that URL you'll find the actual artwork there you'll see it uh, and then if you <laughs> search Report of the Week merchandise, you'll find the, the website where it's on mugs and sweaters and t-shirts and stuff. Old hat. Uh, ice under the fridge. Let me go back to chat here. Review Bra is actually a straight G op cam. I, I, I like him. I like Review Bra a lot. It is what it is, as he says. Go get your seizure authentic sweater art. On a more constructive note, if there's any merch you guys would actually like, I'll make it. I'll make it for you. I'll put something together. I've got all kinds of 4K CG artwork that you can wear on a sweater or something. Let me know. Let me know. It's free advertisement. Fart. Fan art, says Chauncey. Chauncey, if you have any thoughts on this, I'll bring you on easily. Someone asked, dot matrix. Pretty close. Uh, that's the weird manga tone that I was experimenting with. Basically, every other pixel, you put in a dot and repeat it, and you get uh, what I would call manga toner. Fortunately, I eventually moved on to uh, Clip Studio, aka Manga Studio, in Photoshop and all that stuff. Uh, I eventually graduated from MS Paint. Type P in your search seizure. What are you talking about? No. No. No, thank you. No, something bad might happen. I don't like that. What, you think, like porn? <laughs> uh, there's some bad stuff in there. 
Don't worry about that. Uh, other stories when I was getting into all this, there was a guy. You guys remember uh, the fart contest? He did give you credit seizure. Not that I know of. Legitimately, not that I know of. Uh, Koshi asks, have you played SF yet? I'm assuming you mean Street Fighter. I'm not going to play the new Street Fighter. It looks ugly as hell, and I'm done with uh, Street Fighter forever. Why is there so much hate for you on the subreddit? There's a lot of positivity on there. I feel like I'm quoting DSP here. I'm channeling him. But whenever someone talks about how I suck or they don't like me or they don't like my voice, usually someone pops in and says something really nice. And if you really think about it, uh, if you have a nice fan base, I'd say one out of 30 people will actually take the time to say something nice about you in the face of someone talking shit. So I see that and take it very seriously. It means a lot. Chauncey. <laughs> Let me fire up Google Voice just in case he wants to talk with me. No. Oh. Is it actually Crystal? Nice. Okay. Let me try to make good on all the promises I made earlier. Sorry. Nice dithering. Thank you. The VCR view helps a lot with that for the fan art. I'll do one more story. I won't name names because I don't want to don't want to throw tomatoes at specific individuals. This these are experiences that I had that made me wig out and cut ties. Probably what they would think was prematurely. So sometime after the whole big game publisher saga, there was the deep fart contest, which I'm gonna I'm gonna go to right now. I love I love deep fart contest. <laughs> I own ad space for this thing. It's it's Neo Cities but it still costs me money and I won't let this go. Let's take a look. So, deepfartcontest.neocities.org. This was my first time really making a website. And it's hard to tell here because the resolution stinks. Uh, let me see if I can fix that for you right now. I think I can set the VCR to um, 1080. See if that helps you at all. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, you can see like stuff starts getting cut off, and there's issues. But I like this deepfartcontest.neocities.org. And for those of you uninitiated, there was once a art contest a while ago that I held, and someone in the subreddit said, "Hey, I nominate seizure." to make this happen. And I thought, you know what? I'm a guy who can make things get doing done. And I made this website. I made a fake Clint website where I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but this was a serious thing for me. Anyway, here we are, deepfartcontest.neocities.org. You scroll down, George's lips get bigger. It says hail which I say, I say to people a lot. You get Cobra's, uh, Cobra Graham. If you actually visit this website on your own browser, it'll probably look a lot better. But this was an art contest for all the amazing artists that exist out there. And I thought the web design was pretty damn good. Here you can email address is still up and going if you hover your mouse over this icon it will never stop getting bigger 
better days for Cobra's teeth. I'm not joking. It's just going to keep expanding. Get used to it. <laughs> it has to make room in the browser. <laughs> and let me go to the gallery. There's a caller from earlier tonight who should have his stuff still featured here. In addition to the artwork being hosted, I did uh, pay money to something called, I think it was called Pole Unit. And I hope it's still working. But eventually I did have to say, hey, I, I don't want this anymore. This is the gallery. And it incorporated live voting. If you really liked what you were seeing, you could vote on it and it would retain it. And the winner got, I think, $50. This was the winner, by the way. Pretty damn good. I like it. And the caller from earlier, let me go to him. Was it the village drunkard or something like that? Ugh. Shit, I'll have to zoom out. Look at the quality on this. Look at the texture. Huge resolution. But I thought this was great. It's a great job. He called in tonight. We had sculpture. I think I made too many categories. So only uh, one person submitted to the sculpture category. And they won. And I still paid them $50. Check that out. Isn't that something? Let me go back. Abstract. Lennon Lime was in chat during the award ceremony. And he was casting doubt on this one. Saying that the original person may have sold it. And then the person who bought it went on to win the art contest. However, this was legitimate. This is a Pizza Hut box. Let me zoom out some more. Made into Jord. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. Uh, song. Eh, there was some good stuff here. Best song. The winner was uh, Denver Airport Train Sounds. Again, $50 per person. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of money paid out for this. And then uh, videos. Best video. The winner... It was... Oh! Gary the Demon deserved this. He won the video category. So I made a poll not too long ago asking... Um, should there be another Deep Fart contest this year? And almost to the majority, people asked, what is Deep Fart Contest? Correction, what the hell is Deep Fart Contest? So I think awareness is a real issue here. I'm not salty about it. We had a great time. But yeah, that's uh, Deep Fart Contest website. Let me catch up on chat. Bear with me. Blech. Did we get a dono? Satin Black Cat 666. What's up, Tubes? Jimmer sent me. Jimmer. Get out, Jimmer. Get out. Yeah, Crystals. That was the OG stream where I almost got ejected because I thought I was Jimmer. Hold up. Oh, never mind. Okay. Are you a hooker guy or an escort guy? I'm married. 
will that web uh, website steal my IP address? Only through a third party uh, poll unit might take your IP address to make sure you're not voting uh, twice. This went hard. Thank you. You'll draw the art, you'll make nothing, and you'll like it. No? If you win, you make $50. Oh, you might be talking about the whole uh, review bra thing. Never mind. Weston Evans, yo, hey friends. I remember you from specifically the New Year's streams. Um, telling some real stories during that when you thought, uh, or you were imagining that George's moon was going to crash into the earth and kill us all. You told some real stories, man. Uh, real things that you regretted and, and wished had happened. Anyways, Weston Evans says they're yours 100% and you can have them shut down the sales. That's what happened to DSP. You're not kidding. <laughs> he had fan art used in his, I don't know, intros or something, pre-stream content. He used the fan art in the podcast and had to delete a bunch of videos. Yeah, it tanked his views and it affected, according to him, his standing in the algorithm. And that was the beginning of the end. Let me catch up. I, I can tell that this was a long time ago, these messages. Seizure merch is greater than cover merch. Thank you. I'll make some, some really good stuff if you guys are into that. <laughs> I'm not making any uh, Ahegao merch. I don't know how anyone wears that in public. Holding a grudge against Review Bra for nearly a decade. Meanwhile, he's just wondering why you, his top guy in parentheses, haven't sent any more fan art. Listen, I haven't, I haven't said anyone, sorry. I haven't said anything about this to anybody for a very long time now. I'm over it. Games suck. Agreed. Fuck Reddit. Agreed. Seizure confirmed old Street Fighter head. Yes. Yes. Loved Third Strike. Uh, I was a big Street Fighter V guy. Really big into Bison. And almost made like a stream thing on Twitch of me playing uh, online. But not worth it. Not worth the effort. Uh, I'm very good at Street Fighter V. But it's, it's just a really big time sink. And there's so many guys out there just wanting to do the exact same thing. Someone talking about getting me on to Third Strike. Friend, I, I was so into Third Strike before Street Fighter V. I was on Fightcade. Uh, <laughs> it was a bad choice, but I loved the character Q. I was always playing Q. If you can parry everything, then you can win. I want that uh, the capture and to uh, deadly combo. Yeah, I love Q. I thought they did him dirty with uh, G and all that crap. I stuck up for you on Courtney's video after you and Crystal interviewed Kobes. Thank you. Thank you. Courtney was going hard on me. And to today, I still don't want anything to do with Courtney. I don't want to appear on her streams. I don't want to argue with her. I don't want to make videos about Courtney. She needs to just give up. And she can talk about Cobra and stuff, but stop attacking me. And she has her original channel. Last I saw, I got shut down. Uh, I'd probably argue unfairly because a lot of people reported her for sharing some explicit material. Uh, but her original channel is gone. But in the end, I, I don't want to add fuel to the fire. I don't want nothing to do with Courtney. Oh, man, I've got a lot of catching up to do. Bad baby! You're in chat. Hey, guy. 
Chauncey saying, yo, super chat, shouts out. Yeah, people talking about Halloween. We've got a big thing coming. There's a big event coming. And <laughs> there's an individually that, Jesus, I've had too much of the prestige. Bear with me. There's an individual that I'm referring to as the chairman that's made it all happen. And there's there's a big event coming, a big competition. It's the revenge, and you're going to get it. God bless the chairman. You can call it the Black Black Club. Uh, what was his name in Yu Hakusho? Sakyo? I think is his name. He's very handsome. He had a lot of money. And he wanted to gamble. And that's what this is all about. We're going to do some high stakes gambling, friends. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. We're going to do some high stakes gambling apocalypse by Halloween. I hope you're ready. It's coming. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, am I up to date? Am I up to date? People dogging on Crystal. Swampy asks, so what happened with the contest? Well, let me answer you. If you're asking about the deep fart contest, there was a live stream where we awarded the awards to each individual person and they were given their money. Each category, the winner got 50 Boglum Bucks. Tell you what. Let me look it up real quick. A lot of people haven't seen it. I love the Deep Fart Contest promo. We'll watch it together. It's got some of my uh, Stephanie fan art in there. Hi, welcome to be here. If you're watching this video, you have expressed interest in the deep fart contest. Now I know what you're thinking. What is this deep fart contest? Well, I'll tell you. Deep fart contest is the brainchild of Seizure Robot 5000, mm. a granular, holistic Thanks solution that cements the foundation of the basis of an information hub, which ties together the storytellers, artisans, and dreamers of the Cobraverse. Web. Let's circle back to what Deep Fart Contest brings to the dinner table. The website is not just simultaneously submitter-centric and viewer-centric. It creates synergy and aligns them both. Content creators can directly submit their innovations to the website while viewers consume and engage with the content through voting. In terms of content availability, of all the everything that has been doing, we have gone and done this even better. Let me unpack that statement for you. When we peel back the onion, we can see that artwork, so sculptures, research. abstract works, songs, and video can all be viewed and voted for. Content is in the DNA of the website. The DNA of the website. <laughs> That's the best part. The rest is just me explaining the rules. Oh, great song, bro. Uh, Dream Hunter Rem. All content seen in the current gallery is purely for demonstration purposes. Submit your work to deepfartcontest at gmail.com. Please notate your artist name and the title of your work. Submissions will not be accepted after August 15th. You will receive an email with your submission status. Voting will begin on August 16th. Please use the gallery to vote for your favorite submissions. The system is designed to prevent multiple votes from the same person. Viewers will no longer be able to vote on September 1st, at which point the votes will all be counted. An awards live stream will be held to recognize the winners of the our contest. The date of the live stream will depend on scheduling. Channel. The winner of each category will win 50 Boglum Bucks. 
that was the outcome of them. Deep fart contest is near and dear to my heart, by the way. No touchy says I'm gay procedure. Mm. Mm. Back at you, buddy. Wait. Hold up. Breslin Nation, what drink combo can you make for us to enjoy your streams with? If me and Chauncey go ahead and make good on part two of uh, combos, I can't remember the name of it, but it was Everclear and a weird kind of macaroni mix. It was um, fruit flavored, like strawberry flavored macaroni mix. And uh, it was awful. Cobra's Fire, I think. Really bad. Uh, hold, hold on. I mean, stay patient. Wait patiently. And you, too, can enjoy Cobra's combos with me and Chauncey. And uh, you can enjoy it in real time. Friends. I've had too much of the prestige tonight, and it's really setting in. So our time is short. I will do my best to keep up with you, answer questions, keep up with chat. But I know that I'm really losing my faculties right now. And uh, it's not a place I want to be. So... Just as a warning, maybe 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how this goes. Seizure wishes he had Cobra's internet presence, more or less. Uh, any tertiary content creator of Cobra is going to be less than Cobra himself. You're going to attract fewer viewers easily. Maximum fart, minimum two. Says doomed nuclei. What'd y'all think of the deep fart contest promo? I really like that thing. Hang on. All right, chat's catching up with me now. Was that you in the first photo? No, sorry. I actually ripped the entire contents of an old website that had like old uncanny Polaroids from the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, if you ever wondered what I've looked like, a long time ago, I did a video with my friends, two other friends. It was called Asian Market Food Special. And we got really weird foodstuffs. Uh, that we could get in person, and we ate them. And my face is included in the footage. But I'm not a I'm not a freak. I'm not a weird looking guy. Uh, arguably, I look good. But in my own experience, whenever I've seen channels where they finally did a face reveal, I didn't like what they looked at, and it detracted. And it hurt things. So, and, and in addition, um, there's been channels that would cover uh, old Super Nintendo RPGs. And suddenly, they'd want to show their face and make that the focus. And I didn't like that about it. So, I feel like it's only a net negative to show my face, show what I look like, and, and make that a focus. To put all the attention on me. I want it to be about my content. But listen. I, I'm not a mutant. Uh, I go to the gym a lot. If you've ever seen the Asian video. I look okay. I'm not, I'm not a weird looking guy. So get off of it. Don't worry about it. Swampy asks, what was the contest controversy? Nothing, really. The deep fart contest went without a hitch. Um, 
as far as I remember. The thing you're probably thinking about that I uh, hinted about earlier is I was trying to make the website. I wanted to make the Deep Fart Contest website. And the big thing for that was I could make the web page, but how do I get the live voting? How do you get that going? Now, what I ran into, and I won't name names, I ran into a guy who said, I can most definitely do the live voting. That's no problem. I'll help you. I said, okay. And uh, this all took place over the weekend. And this is what I call the speed run of, of ditching weirdos, strange people. Friday, he makes the offer. I accept. He says, I can do the live voting. Saturday, he gets to work on all the wrong things. Sunday, I get an invite to a Discord called Sean's Lair. I pop in. I go into voice chat. Some dude is talking about how he's not about the clout chasing. He's not here to clout chase. I'm immediately disgusted. I get out. I yell at the guy. I say, hey, I ask you for some, <laughs> like a voting system on my website, and you're here inviting people to a Discord I wanted no part of. He says, yeah. And I said, I'm out. I'm done. I'll figure it out on my own. And I did. I absolutely did. I, I, Deep fart contest is completely of my own doing. Uh, the guy says, I, I'm about to cry. I'm so upset. I'm ready to cry. Tears are ready to come out of my face. And I commiserate with him. But that, that was it. From Friday to Sunday, hey, I need a voting system. I don't want this Discord full of weirdos. What is this? Let me get you a tissue. That was it. And that was the guy. He had his own little restreaming YouTube channel where he would do uh, Cobra's videos, but with chat. And um, he was really easy to find. If you Googled him, he got cold feet and he disappeared. The end. Um, that's the story of being able to vote on Deep Fart contest. That's it. Yeah. Let me uh, get some music on here. I just realized now, a little late, that it's been stopped. Again, this is hitting me hard, and I recognize it. So, this is a very special time. I don't often stream myself when I've had too much of the prestige. Going over chat again. Don't make us order 69 you. Crystal. I might talk for you. I'll talk with you for a little bit. Check your texts. Okay. <laughs> the squishy carpet. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all for trying to call in. If you were unsuccessful, maybe next time. I really struggle with the call-ins because usually I, I want it to... I want to build on certain things and like a month plus passes in between. I take criticism very seriously. Seizure, you've been a staple in my consumption for two to three years now. Love you. You silver-tongued bastard. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, people talk to me about re-watching live streams like the New Year's streams, and that always surprises me. 
I, I just can't believe someone would want to go back to them. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, Swampy asking what the contest uh, controversy was. Yeah, that's old. That's really old. Let me get back to the present here. Keep the mystique? Thank you. It's not about me. It's about the content. I hope you understand that. Again, I'm not a mutant. I'm a decent looking guy. But it's not about me. Chauncey says, I show face, I'm ugly as shit. Laugh out loud. Chauncey has gold teeth. Did you know that about him? He has gold teeth. Chauncey is amazing. I feel terrible for YouTubers that finally decide to do a face reveal, only to be completely shitted on when they do. Dream is a perfect example. I don't know about Dream myself, but I've seen it time and time again. And it's usually, uh, if you've had any popular series that says like, oh, we're gonna do the SpongeBob movie. And by that point, it's it's been over for some time. Uh, the twilight years of whatever series you got lucky enough with. When you finally do a face reveal, that's it. It's curtains. So, true believers know what I look like already. Again, Asian food review video. I remember when I finally privated it, some guy commented, he said, uh, white people enjoy Asian culture for the first time. Dude, we got the weirdest food we could get from Asian markets and convenience stores. You're an idiot. That's all I gotta say. I've been wanting to say it for years. Crystal says, I regret ever showing my face on cam. Crystal! Crystal! What else are you doing? You do StreamYard stuff. Where randos show their faces. Sometimes with crickets playing in the background. Make some content. This is what you do. You don't know how to edit. Jaeger says, K murdered children. I don't know what that means, but uh, Jaeger1420, I know that name very well. He's a big crystal watcher. Someone asks, still going, A boy? Yeah, I fell into the trap. Supposed to end an hour ago. But I'm here. I'm here. This is the, the afterglow of the stream where I really like talking in chat. If uh, I were to edit this afterward for people to enjoy, I would absolutely cut after I took calls. I, I would not, con I wouldn't keep me ranting to chat here. Who white man says, as a completely heterosexual man, I must admit you're a handsome dude. Have you seen me? Do you know what I look like? Let me know. How do I find Asian food video if it's private? Which channel at least? I would love to take a gander. I understand if you do not wish to share though. Hang on. No. No. I... I just, I won't do it. I won't do it. Uh, I don't think anyone successfully captured it. And at some point, I like, I recognize that, that it was not, it's not the route I wanted to take. Maybe, maybe like next year, I'll, I'll do like a face reveal or something, but for Halloween or something, but it's just not my bag. 
We haven't seen Josh puking his lap in months. <laughs> yeah. Around the time the last warlord happening, he made the egg yolk. Where he cracked an egg out of his mouth and into his lap. Koshi says, this is a seizure rips people apart stream. I do like to punish people, but so far, everyone's been on good behavior. People like the rave music, amen. Punished seizure. Listen, I see a lot that goes on behind the scenes. The sub, of course, my comments, and you don't feed the trolls. Some stuff is legitimate. Some stuff is unfair. I really try to learn from stuff. And... Yeah. What you wind up seeing as the result of that is in, is in my content going forward. I won't say like as much. I deliberately won't say like as much. Very early that I got that kind of criticism. Crystal talking about being wet, another saying gross. People saying Crystal's the worst troll ever. Yeah. Seizure robot negging stream when? Depends on what you mean by that. My, am I throwing shade at other channels or are people talking trash about me? Who white man says, I can't remember exactly when or where, but I know for a fact I've seen a picture of your face somewhere. Maybe I've mistaken. You haven't ever revealed yourself. False memory. White man, tell me what you remember about my face. And maybe I can confirm. Literally, there's been either two or three videos where my face has been present in the early days of my channel. And you may have seen that. But uh, peak visibility times would have been Asian market food review special. Let me know. All right. Ah, I'm gonna do one last break. I'm having a lot of fun. I know that the audience is not what it was before, but I really like talking to chat, answering questions and stuff. I'm gonna do one last break and be the last leg let me know if there's anything that I talked about that I'd say I would talk about I didn't get to and I'll cover that the review bra story was a big one but uh, I'm going to take one final break and we'll get into it <laughs> Chauncey if you want to talk to me again I'll call you let me know we can do like a little segment but uh, otherwise we're going to take a little breather here. I'll be back with you. Dude, dude the chat's booming, bro. What up, people? Rick Ross! Rick Ross! It doesn't matter who he is, he's a fucking ugly fat fucker and he gets late all the time. This thing. tried to have please stop please stop i have tried to see you i have tried you're making me out to look like the bad guy like always that's cool i'm fucking sick of it please stop yeah can you please stop oh my god
Chat's booming, bro. What up, people? Ross. Rick Ross. It doesn't matter who he is, he's a fucking ugly, fat fucker, and he gets laid all the time. Just saying. I've tried, Tina. Please stop. Please stop. I have tried to see you. I have tried. You're making me out to look like the bad guy, like always. That's cool. I'm fucking sick of it. Please stop. Yeah. Can you please stop? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm done now. I'm done now. We are back. We're back. This is the last leg of the stream have any apostles or guardian angels remaining to let me know that I'm getting out of line. Send me a message. Otherwise, we will finish the remainder of this stream here. I'm going to be keeping an eye on chat and answering questions here. What happened? I see a lot of Fs. Seizure, explain the fascination with Mr. Dink. Well, Mr. Dink has a very funny voice. He's dual income, no kids, which I can relate. And uh, that's the long and short of it, really. You have a Mike Tyson tattoo. I, I admire Mike Tyson a lot more than the average person, but I don't have a face tattoo like him. Sorry to say. CZ, when is Papa's next stream? Papa's? When do you mean it like that? Or what, what do you mean? Oh my goodness, I'm far gone. A lot of uh, Dahmer references. There must have been a documentary or something recently. Crystal is a law cow tipper. Yeah. Snake Bones, troll episode or else, boy. We can make that happen. Swampy, big favor. Just a few. Uh, if you want to talk about the major trolls, we had mm, Fake Cobra, Chaz, mm, Courtney probably counts, Bite. But let me know what you're thinking of specifically, if you can. Breslin Nation says, please ban one of us. I nominate myself for sacrifice. Make it like a spell ingredient and use a cobra wand to cast it. Have you been doing club drugs, boy? This is some rave music. That's what's up. No. I wish. I... Man. I've, I've known someone now throughout my time of getting to know people who has done a lot of drugs and they look down on me constantly because I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Uh, very boring existence. So no. This is core audience, I'll say. Devilish Woodlathe Six Exists says, I just can't fathom Cobra's future. What is he going to do in these covering years? Um, collect paychecks. Worry about his teeth. Cobra's in limbo. Uh, the only thing he really has a, to worry about is his finances. Jesus. Are his finances. So... 
his rent is very expensive compared to what he's used to. And then it's not enough to cover his rent and what he likes to buy on the regular. That's all he has to worry about. Now with Chris Chan, eventually they would categorize him in a certain esteem of responsibility, which would include, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the sole provider of my household, that kind of stuff. I don't know what the benchmarks are for that, what requirements you have to hit, but for Cobra, I, I, I don't know like what year it is where he gets more money. He is getting priced out of his apartment right now. I'm telling you that without joking. The apartment he's in right now is becoming too expensive for his monthly social security income payments. And he relies on pay pig donos to pay his rent in addition to his filthy habits. That's the reality of the situation. <laughs> Breslin says... Everyone grab your favorite energy drink for the seizure boost. That's where I'm at right now. I'm in the uh, recovery portion of this stream. Yeah. F's in chat? No. 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 No F. No F. Hey, what happened? Oh, no. No, everything's fine. You can hear me. No way. Oh, you guys are, you guys are scaring me. Scrolling through right now, chat. Seizure, when I try to picture your face, all I see is JP from the movie Grandma's Boy listening to Apex Twin and making videos. Well, I, I can tell you the second half of that already sounds pretty accurate. Uh, I missed the boat on Grandma's Boy. Let me look up Grandma's Boy JP. So many people have told me that I, I need to watch that movie. Oh! Oh, look at him. <laughs> Let me post a picture of him. JP. No, I've, I've seriously never seen Grandma's Boy. Uh, in terms of this guy... So my go-to is uh, there's a character from Hajime no Ifo that I think I look like. I look like a villain, okay? Um, but not in like I have, I have itty bitty eyebrows like this guy. I look like Mashaba. Get a picture, my go-to picture. I always like to post this one if there's a circumstance which you know several years of being on discord and participating in gay ops I, I've had a few opportunities um, kind of feel like I look like this guy <laughs> I look like a bad guy okay I have I have really big eyebrows I have a long nose um, I'm swarthy I have long hair. Uh, I've, I, my eyes, I think would look, would look pretty on a conventional man's face, but because I have a villain's face, it takes on a different look. About as much as I'm willing to tell you. I go to the gym. I like to work out. Uh, fitness is a big thing. Let me find chat. I lost him. Here we are. 
Seizure, are you a weeb? Yeah, probably. So, when I when I got into anime, it was late 90s, early 2000s, and it was a different time for what it meant to be a weeaboo. But uh, I'm probably a weeb, yeah. It's just what I value as being a weeaboo probably differs from a modern weeaboo. Don't ruin the illusion for me. Amen. Amen. So, if you have a guy with a mask on, you you formulate some kind of image, some kind of thing about them that you expect, and when you finally are presented with the reality of it, you are disappointed. And again, this is why doing like a face reveal is not advantageous. Just let them roll with whatever they're imagining. What's the point? Seizure has one green eye and one red eye. <laughs> I thought of Chris Chan right away. That image looks like a sad Sylvester Stallone from the 80s before Roids hit. It's, uh, well, it, it gets weird because I'm, I'm Basque. Which a lot of people don't know what Basque is. Uh, I'm Basque and Swedish. Uh, it's it's not quite Italian, but you get the like the swirly features. We love you anyway. Thank you. Shinchan is the greatest ever. I love Shinchan. Mike Tyson is a rapist. Yeah, I believe he is. I love Mike Tyson's stories, though. Um, without the influence of his dick and balls, he he has some really relatable stories about being bullied, about treating to everyone at the bar at, or whatever club. Um, he would buy drinks for everyone for the entire night and then sit with a guy and, and actually say to him, he'd say... This is it, right? Isn't this it? And and can you imagine being on the other end and be like, yeah, Tyson, you're the champ. You done it. He really wanted to please people. But being a man, we we do some really heinous things that we regret afterward. And I'm not excusing Tyson and what he's done, but there's some stories out there about him. His, his weird um, stand-in dad that he had, that it was his coach, that he just wanted to make happy. Um, he had a story about how well after the fact, this is Tyson as a grown-ass man, how his coach told him he was going to be the champ. And Tyson, probably in his 50s or whatever, He's crying, and he's asking, how did he know it was going to be me? His, his coach was just an old white dude, died well before Tyson came into being a, as the actual champ. It meant so much to them, to Tyson, that he had this guy believing in him. But yeah, I, I, I feel bad that he did those gross things he did. Nothing is black and white in this world. Doomed Nuclei says, sent you a text earlier trying to make sure you got it. Let me check. See Crystal. The uh, Alex Jones guy. Send me a new one if you can. Nuclei. I'm not 100% which one of these is you. Real question here is when do we see Peach Monster 666 unmasked? That's a great video. Let me see if I can find that. Because he wears a scream mask. It was a false flag attack from Josh. 
trying to garner sympathy. <laughs> All right, let me try to queue this up. Three, three K views for what's a pretty critical video. Let's put this on. Let's watch together. VCR view. That's fake VCR view. There we go. Let's watch. Great video. Peach Monster 666. Uh, make sure this isn't muted. Looking good. Greetings, YouTube. <laughs> Monster 666 is back from beyond the grave. It's a troll. You got it. <laughs> think you can play guitar. The truth is, you suck. <laughs> so we go to your stupid gay channel. Stupid and gay. <laughs> and we realize that you're a mediocre guitar player. <laughs> Take a moment. Check your notes. Uh, legendary Gothic King Cobra. <laughs> yes, I've been gone for a year. In the battles of hell. Consuming souls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally not Josh, by the way. Avoiding copyright lawsuits. <laughs> What's this gay shit about? These are some big pauses. He cannot remember um, what he was going to say about Cobra. Checking out my videos. Just kind of just getting out there. But I'm looking for sort of a deterrent to my face. Is, is he watching videos from his own channel? Like I figured out, you know, one of those YouTube videos. And, um, no one cares. Um, he so is. I guess it's just decent. Oh, it's been confirmed. Okay. That's Peach Monster 666. It's him in a scream mask berating himself. False flag attack. Check it out if you're curious. Yeah. It's uh it's still around. Uh, if you're not aware, the original Gothic King Cobra 52 channel was taken over by people he trusted. And then shut it down. But Peach Monster 666, they never got to that one. So it's still up. But yeah. <laughs> Check it out if you're ever bored. F you, Gothic and Cobra. It's out there. I will. I'll do a hard stop. 145 my time. So we've we have about 20 minutes. It's been really really fun. To be transparent, I feel much better with you or just in general about this stream compared to the last one. Reading chat here. Yeah, Cobra liked to call stuff gay. And what I'm running into now is that I'm past the era of calling things gay as wrong. And I'm back to it uh, being ironically funny to call things gay. It's really satisfying to call something gay now, and I know I shouldn't. 
but it's for different reasons. I had to step away, but I was listening and wanted to say a couple things. Basque is that farm country, right? They have massive strongman competitions, if I'm not mistaken. Tyson's Post Psychedelics is A, and then it ends. It's like you hit the character limit. You're right. Uh, Basques love strongman competitions. They'll do Basque stone lifting, where you just lift a, you lift a giant rock. Um, they like to drink something called Cali Mosto, which is really old wine that's gone bad, mixed with Coke, drank out of a sheep stomach. Um, it's between France and Spain. They have no designated country, but they have resorted to a form of terrorism to try to get their own land. And, uh, you can find them commonly around Idaho as a uh, sheep herders back in the day you can find basques but yeah my grandpa was very near and dear to me and that's that was my my basque grandpa and then uh, on the other side is Swedish but uh yeah 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 uh, fascinated with uh basque culture that's where I get my big old eyebrows from makes me a bad guy Doomed Nuclei says your streams are always good, in my opinion. Them being lighthearted or interesting uh, chat conversation and your presentation keep it good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I try to keep things interesting to look at, uh, keep things moving, segments, and so forth. I want it to be a big deal when there's a seizure stream. I know that this is kind of like the tail end of a stream, but I hope that those who have stuck around are actually having fun talking to me and stuff like that. This is kind of its own special kind of entertainment that you get. Nobody says I'm part Basque also. Thumbs up. Good. It's pretty uncommon. Brincola. I know that name very well. Not going to lie, it is making a comeback for some reason. If you can expound upon that, let me know. I'm not sure what you're referencing specifically. Calling people, calling things gay, because uh, <laughs> I'd be tickled to know that people are calling stuff gay again. <laughs> It'll always be funny, just like the word regard. Amen. People getting here, saying they're drunk and they like the music. Hell yeah. So Portugal, I don't think so. There are a lot of Basque here in Idaho. Uh, Phaedrus Live, if you can tell me your experiences with interacting with Basques, let me know because I don't know anything about them uh, personally, only secondhand. Are they rowdy? Do they cause trouble? Let me know. Stereotypes, tell me. I'm in the dark. Yeah, this is an old danger song, for sure. Uh, 4H20. Shout out to Fat Baby. Mr. Kong, I know you're trying to get in earlier. Uh, let me know in chat if you want me to actually call you and we can chat. We can talk it up. Let me know. You were saying that the number didn't work because I imagine you were hitting voicemail a lot. Seizure, laugh is contagious. Thank you. First ever call in after show coming up. Crystal, are you serious? Are you going to take calls? That'd be amazing. <laughs> I'll be watching. Yeah, there's... Brian Cole is saying, lol, fake and gay is coming back on random conversations, even at work. Interesting. So it's a very ironic use of it now. 
makes me feel a little bit better. Basque potatoes in Idaho. Dang. I, hmm. I know that the Basques like sheep herding. I never thought they'd have uh, any kind of attachment to potatoes. Any kind of branding. Always a good time here. Thank you. I love the intermission segments. I'd fall asleep and wake up to them since it's about 2.30 in the morning. Someone has Bite Size's logo, but uh, Baby Dong's. Bon Mi Check. So, Bun Mi's are delicious. They are Vietnamese uh, basic like sub sandwiches, but with barbecued pork, um, pickled vegetables, and in some cases, uh, pate. Delicious. G says there should be a rule of seizure having a Cobra combo in the last hour. I agree. Uh, tonight, it's, it's just been Crown Royal, but there should be like a camera and the column and everything where I have a little uh, Cobra drink combo to end things. I have information that will lead Bite Size's baby peen being put on a t-shirt. Tell me more. Tell me more. So, I say this jokingly, but Bite Size, he's been in Crystal streams lately. He loves sex jokes. He'll say like, hey Crystal, would you have Jeff pee on your face for money? Or what do his balls look like? Or show us your boobs. Bite sometimes sounds like a sex pest. And I could see him maybe inadvertently sending his dong to somebody. So, bite size, little baby peen videos, let me know. Let me know if you actually have something. We'll see where we go from there. I don't want to uh, defame bite, but... I can tell you, talking about Basques here, I can tell you that the one I've met were shepherds, yeah, and only a fraction of them could really speak English. My father knew them and would set up uh, his hunting camp near their wagons. Yeah, they're kind of like nomads. They'll have, um, it's like the, the traveling wagons. I should talk about the mystery bridge incident that bloated cobra's head. What? THMs were leaked into the groundwater in Evansville in 1989, traveled downstream to Casper. Is this how they all mutated? Interesting. It, it jumped ahead here. I'm trying to find it, but someone had said... Uh, they always left happy, and uh, thank you. You're very welcome. Breslin Nation, I actually found about uh, found out about Cobra from your videos. Somehow your Cobra analysis came up on my feed. That's why I'm here. Each fan of your art, style, and perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the stream. Certainly. I hope you had fun. Unknown memory says good night to you, my boy. Good night, sweet dreams. Another person says good night, sweet prince. Good night. I love talking about dreams. If anyone wants to get into that, dreams are a big thing for me. Crystal's still in here. If that's the real crystal, telling people to shut their damn mouths. Mr. Kong, I would love to call in. I'm just shy. Well, damn, dude, you're, mm, you're griping. You, you got free reign at this point. I would absolutely talk to you. Uh, 
saying that the line doesn't work. Free pass, minimal timer, some timer. But, yeah. Damn, I saw you earlier. Uh, people tell me the chug. No, I'm I'm on the up and up now. No more uh, alcohol. Getting back up to speed at this point. Harbinger, yo. Good day. Great stream as always. Thank you. Thank you. Bite size is a sickle confirmed. Not so much. He just, in terms of his sense of humor, he loves talking about like sexual stuff. It's too much for me uh, most times. Please keep doing these for as long as you can. Ah, I'm torn. I'm torn. Uh, I can't. Ah. There has to be... Me just talking to chat is secondary. There has to be a primary purpose. So... Listen. Look forward to what's coming later this month. Something big is coming later this month. It'll blow your mind. And uh, we, we can have a little after party once it's done. Uh, but I really appreciate you enjoying the, my interaction with chat. That means a lot. It's like genuinely, if I could just do this, me talking to you guys and answering questions, I would do this for hours. It's just, I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to just, just produce like videos of me talking to people. There needs to be something a little bit higher than that. What else we got here? Always have dreams of being back in high school somehow and freaking out. Yeah, it's real common. I have uh, dreams about being late to like a test or something. It's me, says Crystal. I'm getting ready for the after party stream I'm going to do when you end. Do it now. You don't got to wait. Don't worry about me. Shoot. Chat just jumped. Uh, do you think that dreams are just mind projections to work on personal issues? Are they just souped up survival mechs or what? So... Dreams are most definitely your brain, in some cases, trying to sort out things that you have issues with. Yes. I had one this morning, which dealt with uh, IT work and being in an unfamiliar environment, but finally someone approached me asking for help, and it was about an IT issue that I, I knew a lot about. So I went from feeling useless and confused to feeling in control and useful. Uh, sometimes it's sexual. Sometimes it's things that we don't want to think about, but our, our brain brings us back. But almost always it's an unconscious thought or subconscious thought that we've shoved away that comes back to haunt us. Yes. I think that's a lot of what dreams are. Uh, if you were to compare it to a computer and like uh, defragmenting, the whole, like if you have an old, uh, not solid state, but hard disk drive, defragmenting is like taking a huge pile of books, of library books, and categorizing them to the Dewey Decimal System. You get this huge smattering of thoughts and you need to organize them and sort them out. That's what I think dreams are for the most part. Other times, there's, there's no rhyme or reason. And those are the really fun ones. Uh, lucid dreaming, I feel like crosses that barrier where it, it's not about sorting personal issues out anymore you have some semblance of control and you get to basically go into uh, second life and fly around but yeah 
bite-sized little baby peen videos asks, what's the number? Yeah. Uh, I'll repost it here if you want to send me a text. Send me a text message. Someone asks, is Josh's pocket knife legal in Casper? I think not. The thing about pocket knives is that they're built in a way where if you were to actually attempt to use them in a way where you would stab somebody, they'll fold in on themselves. So it's not a, a lethal weapon. Uh, Chris Chan got into big trouble in Virginia because a, a can of pepper spray... They considered it, um, I can't remember the, the verbiage, but it, it will net you a felony. Harmful gas, dangerous gas. But a pocket knife, if you actually try to stab somebody, it is designed to fold in on itself. So Josh's whole strat of I got a pocket knife if someone wants to really hurt me, it's awful. He's not going to uh, protect himself. Defend himself with that. Seizure, can you narrate your dreams as, uh, to us as you crash into slumber? I'm afraid I can't. I become incomprehensible as I actually fall asleep. I require prescribed medication to fall asleep. It's been this way since I was about 15. Uh, I can... I can stay awake indefinitely without help. Um, it's a long story, but since I was like hitting my adolescent years, I became a legitimate insomniac and I cannot fall asleep without help. And so uh, when, I, when I get my stuff, I'm not very useful. Very vivid dreams though. I love talking about dreams. If you ever want to get into that, Dreams, dreams are big. There was a little RPG game called Yume Nikki I got into uh, maybe 2009, 2010. That had a huge impact on me. And it's about a Hikikomori, basically a shut-in who doesn't work, who would fall asleep to go into dream world goes into this abstract setting it's like RPG maker thing and depending on if you find all the artifacts or not she will either jump off her high rise apartment and die or decide she wants to live but Yume Nikki was so inspiring for me back in the day really had a huge impact scroll down here Stage fright, yeah. Mr. Kong, if you get brave, let me know. Crystal once sat on my face. Doesn't sound like too much fun. She says she doesn't have a ass anymore. Pancake ass. I only have one dream. And it is driving a car and can't get the brakes to work without a lot of effort. Okay. The, the best I can relate to that is I'll have a lot of dreams where I'm uh, driving on a freeway that is absurdly high up. Uh, or it will do like a loop-de-loop. -loop. It'll go upside down. And my car just succumbs to gravity. And I fall off into Stage like right the ocean. Here. Mr. Kong, if you get brave. I don't know if that made it into stream or not just then chat. I was trying to keep up with chat. I accidentally refreshed. Don't qual anybody. Worst nightmare I had. A nuke went off. Shattered the glass of the building I was in. Killed everyone. While I bled out and watched myself die. Yeah. Fears of, of nuclear annihilation are warranted right now. I don't want to get too far into it, but I... I enjoy reading comics. Um, Alan Moore, 
80s Watchmen, Miracle Man, so forth. He had a lot of fears about uh, the Cold War and, and dying because of that. And I, I think dreams of a uh, nuclear bomb killing you are completely understandable, uh, more so now than the 80s, for sure. Dream Chat with Seizure Robot 5000, 9 p.m. every Friday. Yeah, I'd be down for that. It's something I've considered. Uh, it's always humiliating to talk about, but I'm very good at tarot readings. And that's something I've wanted to try out on Twitch with visual effects. And I wanted it to feel like uh, Pachinko. The same lights and noises and affirmative effects. High energy, but with um, tarot readings. Uh, that's what you, you may see me on something like that in the near future. I'd say, uh, as, as Cobra would call it, near distant future. I'm not immediately planning on that, but it's a possibility down the line. Dream is really about feeling unsure of yourself, but your experience is bolstering your confidence in yourself. A sort of you got this about something you were unsure of in your life would be mine, then it cuts off, probably character limit. Uh, maybe talking about the dream I had earlier, where I was uh, giving tech advice in a really unusual place. Lit stream, thank you. Twig and berries. There was a smoothie shop that sold that. And I think that's a euphemism for dick and balls. Worst, oh, there's the uh, the nuke one, okay. Locking pocket knives. Just get like a, get like a switchblade, you know what I'm talking about? You hit the button and it pops out, just get that. If you want something that doesn't fold in on itself, you may as well. Chat, what's the most effective self-defense armament for me what i consider most effective that people sleep on and uh, funny enough cobra says you can deflect it with your open palm with your stigmata pepper spray pepper spray is brutal and take it for me you can't just put your hand in front of it to get out the way I took a thing of pepper spray. I was hanging out with some friends. We were in their apartment. And I sprayed a little bit of it because I was curious. We were having fun. It was a party night. And they were so mad at me. They were so mad at me for the pepper spray incident. I didn't think it was that bad personally. But... Pepper spray sucks. They hate it. Everyone but me hates it. And from what Cobra said, he said you just put your palm in front of the blast. No, no. If someone whips out the pepper spray because they feel threatened, some creepy guy is approaching them, and they want to get them, they're probably going to unload on you. They're going to waggle it. They're going to do a left to right. There's no deflection of that. You can't put your beefy sausage fingers up in front of that. I don't know where that story comes from. It's very suspicious. Much like his... Jesus. Much like his whole... Uh, you gotta be of age. Uh, alive. Female stuff. It only draws attention. And, and makes you suspect him. But... Uh, where did that story come from? Why is he talking about how easy it is to deflect pepper spray? Did that actually happen once? Anyway, I think pepper spray is really hard to deal with. There was a little video of a uh, jackass I watched once where uh, they got tasered with the actual projectiles that stick in you. And then they got pepper sprayed. And the guy said, 
that pepper spray was far worse than being tasered. And that stuck with me. Anyway. In New York, it's the same way. You can't have pepper spray. Interesting. It surprised me when Chris Chan was charged with a felony for... <laughs> I tried to remember how the policeman had said it on the phone, but he, he said he uh, sprayed gas. Uh, unlawfully sprayed gas. It's strong stuff. Oh, there's, there's locking pocket knives. Okay, okay. I'm out of the loop then. So there's models of pocket knives where if, if you deploy it, and intend to defend yourself with it, it won't go back into place. I didn't I didn't know that, honestly. He's got the fixed blade. Tell you what, if you're gonna defend yourself, I don't care if the pocket knife has a fixed blade. Give me the uh, pepper spray. You guys ever see Silence of the Lambs? You know when Hannibal is in the cage and the two cops are checking in on him. They're giving him the lamb. And one of the guys, he sprays the pepper right into his eye sockets. That's what I would do. You can't, you can't fight pepper spray in the eyes. Hold it right up to their face. And they will be debilitated. Easy. You can, uh, you can eat their face and wear it if you want afterward. Whatever. But uh, I'd take that over a pocket knife. It's... Getting stabbed, I'm sure, sucks balls. But, I mean, imagine, like, someone throwing sand in your eyes. That's probably the feeling. Call museum? No. <laughs> I'd call him back, but I'm not going to call museum directly. He scares me. To my bones. People like the music. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's fun to play music, but you don't want the music to overpower. Again, it's it's the whole next room feeling. Dreams are fake and gay. You know, I have a close friend who only dreams about going to the grocery store. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> that's all he does. <laughs> He just goes to the grocery store and he gets, uh, he picks up things that he's been ordered to grab. Is that what your dreams are like? Uh, I'd have the same feeling. I'd say they're fake and gay if that's all I dreamt about. <laughs> <laughs> it differs from person to person. Some are very profound compared to others, but <sighs> reading too far into dreams, yes. That's stupid. But I've, I've had dreams where after waking up, the feeling stayed with me for the entirety of my shift working tech. Uh, it's amazing to think about. It was like taking a really potent drug or something. And it's neat to think about. But again... Those are rare. I don't have dreams like that often. If Josh goes full autistic alcoholic boglum mode, he could definitely stab and kill with that six inch blade. Six inches? Pocket knives aren't that long, are they? I don't think so. Anime is gay. Depends on what anime you're watching. Some anime sucks. Other anime, I, I wouldn't give up for the world. I mean, yeah, it's a little dramatic, but anime isn't gay. You just need some good recommendations. Yume Neki is such a good game. I'm glad you think so. Hang on. Uh, chat just bumped up again. No one wins in a knife fight. Yeah. 
I've seen some videos of guys fighting in Brazil with knives, and the adrenaline sustains you for long enough where both people can think they've won and then they keel over and die. It sucks. Uh, Tim Heidecker has an incredible story of being stabbed in the back and running for his life and not feeling it uh, until way later on. He, he knew it was, I don't know, midnight, the West Coast, and he's running for his life. Uh, a tenant in his apartment complex was chasing him. He had taken what I imagine was spice, some kind of synthetic marijuana, K2, and was trying to kill him without knowing it. And Tim talked about running into a donut shop and then reconsidering because there was just a little Korean girl inside <laughs> and she wouldn't be able to do anything for him. And he ran into a gay club full of bears and hid. And uh, the guy followed him inside and all the bears got in the way and stopped him. But again, this is Tim Heidecker. You can find the video of him talking about the whole story. He had no idea how much pain he was in until he was lying surrounded by big gay men and a bears club. Uh, and then taken to the hospital. And during the story, he talks about that being stabbed in the back is extremely painful. But in the moment, you run faster than you've ever run before. Uh, more dream talk. He, he mentioned how it's not like in your dreams where you're way too slow to escape the person who's pursuing you. You run faster than you've ever ran. And you don't feel anything. But yeah, he got stabbed in the back several times. Yeah. So that's to say no one wins in a knife fight. Cove is the moon to, immune to pepper spray. I want it again, where does that story come from? He said it several times now. You hold your palm up against it and it's ineffective. Museum texted you. He wants to chat. Let me double check. Oh. Okay. All right. Whew. All right, Museum. Let's get to it. He knows the rules. He's called me before, and he understands the delay. Uh, it'll be ineffective if he's actually trying to mess with me, but... Um, I kind of have a passing fascination with museum privilege. Uh, let me see if I can get a hold of him. Yeah, Kyoto. Hey, is this Muse? Yeah, hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, boy, uh, doing good, doing good. I'm that that's nice. That's saucy, saucy, saucy. Yeah, I've got some dreams lately. Um, yeah, I've been talking to my um, psychoanalyst, and we didn't quite get anywhere with it. So, any sort of input would be great. Sure. So it, it it all started. Well, I've had like a, a, a sort of an array of dreams. Like the last dream I remember, I started dating a Down syndrome girl. That was kind of like my girlfriend, but it was also this Down syndrome girl at the same time. And the Down syndrome girl was like, you know, she had a, she, she wasn't quite there, but everyone was like, hey, it's so good of you being being um, inclusive of her. So that was like, oh, I felt really nice. It felt good, you know, being told that you're being inclusive of someone. But yeah, anyway, the, the actual dream I've been um, struggling with recently was. I was working on a job site, and it was this house, an old geriatric couple. And I was, I had some like young fellas working for me, and we were installing some security cameras. And so, to get to this house, you had to go down this long driveway, and there were all sorts of other houses off to the side, to the left, and the right. And finally, you got to the 
end of the driveway and he took a hard left and the house was just down this little hill and it was a new build and so I was getting these young fellas to um, pull these cables to install the security cameras and a switch um, that just confused this old geriatric couple about why they needed some data to switch in their house. Anyway, we get to it. So I'm there just chilling out, looking at my bank statement in the garden, and I notice that the old woman, she's laying there in the garden. And I'm like, oh, okay. And up comes a care worker, and she just, the care worker starts frottaging and humping the old woman into some sort of ecstasy. And I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting, doing that right in front of me. So um, it continues on, and I talk, like, what's that about? And she's like, well, I've got lots of these um, ailments, and they, they just don't go away, and my husband can't help. And it seems that this dry frottaging um, can really help. And um, but one thing was really wild that when this care worker was frottaging and humping this lady, out of her tailbone came this tail of like varicose veins that kind of looked like a, a rat king. If you've ever seen a rat king which is when a whole lot of rats get all their tails tangled up. Yeah. But the varicose veins had completely inverted themselves and all came out of the tailbone into this mass of um, you know, tail. And the geriatric lady was not being um, turned on by it. And I was like, oh, that's weird that she's being turned on. Um, <laughs> so she, it's just the, the care worker had disappeared and she was like, hey, can you help me out sometime? Come around next Thursday and I'll pay you double at what you're getting now. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. So I got there um, that night and we were in the garden. News. And hey. I started humping. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'll let you continue. Are you being serious with me right now? Yeah, I'm being completely serious. This is a big ass dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been on my mind for quite a long while. All right. I'll ask um, you one more I, one more question before you continue. I apologize. Yeah. Do you like yeah. uh, Cronenberg movies? Yeah. You ever see Existence with a Z at the end? Um, oh, is that the new film? It's not new. It's like late 90s. It's like right around yeah, The Matrix funny. came out. They kept coming out with all oh, okay. these like simulation movies. But if, if you haven't seen it, don't worry about it. No, but that sounds good. I've missed that one. Um, Love of Sun's work as well. Anyway, so I get to the point where I start humping and frottaging this old lady. And, like, I'm getting no gratification from it whatsoever. And, and then all of a sudden, she stops. And I get off. And I see this thing. Her whole vagina had <laughs> inverted itself. And it was poking outside of her asshole um, through her cheeks and through the back of through her thighs was the like negative void of her like geriatric pussy and she just like started stimulating it Muse, and off can you say like, can you scream yeah. a little louder for me a little louder okay, it's google so voice was, there you go we're stimulating it there we're you go stimulating it and off comes these layers as if you're like peeling back an aloe vera leaf and this sort of aloe vera gel was coming off and just layers of it was on the floor and i was just shocked i just but she was really good and like as soon as she started like um stimulating her inverted vagina her like health was back to normal and so we agreed to do it once a week what do you take from that dream? Well, I'm not too sure. So there's the time and place. So it was once a week, and once a week I go and see my psychoanalyst, mm -hmm. um, and we talk about things. And dreams are really important, you know. There's a lot of excess and a lot of unconsciousness. Wait, did you say um, incest? No. Okay. What, um, what was it? But 
they can be incest if you want me to. No, no. What was the original word you, you, you were trying to say? Um, what was I saying? There's a lot of okay. unconscious. Okay. Um, and yeah, you're, you're, you're exploring that. So yeah, and the, the, yeah, the, the inverted vagina, the negative space, like becoming inverted and being polarized through the legs. I don't, um, I mean, there's a lot of high talk here, if that makes sense, but none of it is really translating to anything specifically to me. Mm. What does this, what does this mean for you? Like in your day to day life, if you were to boil this down, explain it to me like I'm a toddler, okay? What does this yeah. mean? Um, I think it means I'm doing a good job. Yeah? Yeah. What about the old people? There's that... a lot of geriatric talk. What does that have to do with it? A lot of, a lot of geriatric talk. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I, I should talk to my granddad a bit more. No! That's gross. Yeah. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. How old is he? He's, he's in his um, he's in his nineties. Nineties. Um, okay. Yeah, he's he's a bit of a woman's man, but you know, he can't really um, get off with the ladies in the rest home because they all have broken hips, so he can't really. Wait, broken hips? Yeah, broken hips. What's that? Well, you know, when you break your hip, and then you've got broken hip. Oh, but you said it like in the rest home. Birkin with a U in there. Yeah, all my vowels sound the same. Okay, okay. So you're trying to say broken hips. Yeah, that's correct. Muse, I, I've been wanting to draw fan art of what I've imagined you to be for a long time now. Oh, cute. And it's a... You, you wouldn't really be pictured, but it's, it's the most gigantic overstuffed chair ever that you, you're just completely sunken into um, oh, yeah. some palm fronds and yeah. like an I, compost like an IV bag of yeah. uh, drugs going into uh -huh. you so oh, yeah. maybe like a yeah. limb would be poking out uh, you're, you're just the yeah. world's most comfortable man is what I'm trying to get at yeah I do feel quite comfortable <laughs> <laughs> You always sound yeah, but, like you're in, in the world's deepest, most comfortable chair. I guess that's correct. Uh, really, that's quite a nice leather says lounge. Um, I think would, would be quite nice. Um, I, I'm quite fond of the Wasilli chairs. If you ever know any of those chairs, not offhand. Um, no, I, I could look it up, but I, I don't think I could spell it yeah. correctly. Yeah, I think Wesley. Um, if you text me. W A S I L O Y Wesley. Yeah. If that's quite nice. Uh, w A S S I L O Y. Quite. It, you know, it doesn't look. It doesn't look nice, plush, and comfortable. But it really is. And your posture feels fantastic. Okay. All right. So. Hey, can you do you remember any of your like your formative wet dreams? Did you say wet dreams? Yeah. Uh, there was there was a really weird one when I was very young. Yeah, we got to do yeah, a nice. a little Hannibal quid quo pro. Okay, we got to exchange. Yep. Yep. Okay, one for one. Do I have to do I have to go first and then you tell me afterward? Well, I can tell you my. I've got a theory. I've got a trip deck. I've got three. Uh, that were kind of formative to my to me. Mm. Well, it's probably not that high stakes. But uh, mm. no, um, when I was really really young, I had a really weird dream. I was maybe twelve, and um, it was in CGI. And I don't I don't know if it was like a wet dream or not, but it was a sexy dream, and. Uh, it had, it dealt with CGI women. And that was nice. like one of the earliest dreams like that I ever had. There were pillars oh, yeah. and like a pool nice. and uh, like a thing that kind of looked like the Parthenon. <laughs> nice. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there was allurements to Greek 
Yeah. There's what? You know, it's nice allurement to Greek. Greek, it's something like that. It, yeah. It's it's yeah. weird to think about now. Um, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my, my first wet dream it really did traumatize me. It bothered you? Months. It really did bother me for months. I felt disgusting. I felt. Um, so I was, I was brought up in quite a Catholic upbringing, quite a me too. Catholic upbringing. Me too. And so um, a, a lot of Catholic guilt. I, I never masturbated until I was 15 because it was, the, it was just way too naughty. I had to repress that. Mm-hmm. So there was this one dream I had. It was my first wet dream. And it was really innocent because I, I really did not know much about any of the sexual pursuits or the, the body so much. Me too. I knew a lot of dirty jokes from joke books that I would have read, um, but I had no idea of the context. I thought so, people had sex standing up when I was really young. Yeah, yeah, I had that as well. Um, that's another story. But <laughs> um, so this this one wet dream, this my first ever wet dream. Um, it consists of, it's, it's, uh, I'll warn you, it's anti edible. Um, so, what happened is it was me and my dad. We were at the mall and we ended up giving each other um, piggyback rides. So, I jumped on top of him and he walked around the wall with me. Mm-hmm. Then I did it too, and he jumped on my back, and I gave him a piggyback ride around the mall, <laughs> and that was that. And I was that, and it felt really nice. It felt nice to have that attachment to my father, and to be close with him, and to help him. Mm-hmm. And so I woke up, and I found this great big mess of cum in my underpants. Okay. And I was absolutely shocked i did not know what was that about and for months i was traumatized about this experience of piggybacking my father and having a wet dream about it do you talk about this with your uh, shrink yes okay what'd they say um, um oh well we just unpacked it a bit um didn't really go anywhere they didn't have any kind of take on what it meant or what it said about you? No, that is not. That's disappointing. What do you think it means? That's okay. Um, hmm. I, I still haven't unpacked that. Um, are you, uh, well, I guess. Are you, uh, are you a homosexual? No, not practicing. Okay. And no, no, not 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 practicing homosexual. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So nothing like that. No. All right. All right. Nothing. You nothing understand me asking, that, right? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And no, yeah, not a formative experience. And nothing ever happened with my father. No. Um, yeah. So, sadly, that was all I got to be traumatized by as a, as a young little me that is that is disturbing that was one of your earliest if not the first of your uh, intimate dreams you had uh, yeah it was my first the um second one was i was out and having a forest walk and actually it, it was a uh, most pretty she lyle no oh. muse are you still there yeah. Muse. Yeah. I promise I did not cut museum off. There, hey, 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 you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are, okay. Myself some interesting babes. So yeah, the, 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 the second one was, um, yeah, something that we actually lie or end up doing kind of. Where, um, I, I was I was in the forest, and there was this deer, and I come up to it, and its gut had been flipped open. Normally, you slit the guts open to feed pigs, um, so that they can smell it and get into it and eat the deer. But instead, I found the lurement of the wound attractive, 
and I ended up actually mounting it that time because it must have been about 15. Louder muse. And can you can you can you bring up the volume for us yeah. just for the listeners? I can hear you, but it doesn't it doesn't carry well for the viewers. No worries. So there was this, this deer, and it had a cut wound in its gut, and I found the cut of the, the deer way too alluring, and so I ended up bending down, mounting, and um, thrusting inside of the dead deer carcass. Um, two full weeks to see. It's pretty gross, Muse. Yeah. What was. do you think about that? Um, well, there's, there's a lot of sexual politics with meat. Um, it's kind of nasty but, to, uh, to do that, though. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta concede that, Muse. You, you ready mm. to concede that it's kind of gross to do that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, most definitely, because if you've ever been around a dead beast, it's not the most alluring of objects. I haven't. Um, well, roadkill, I guess. Roadkill, well, that's alluring for to Lyle. Um, <laughs> you mean what, well, Steve? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not know? He, 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 he admitted he's found an antelope dead on the side of the road, and his carnal desires went straight into it. What did he uh, do with uh, that? Did he act on it? Yeah, he completely acted on it as if it was a masturbatory aid. Do we have receipts? Um, there's DMs from Once Upon a Time. Does that, Has anyone uh, seen these? Maybe Bite? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can ask him about it. Would you ever um, share these with me? Um, he might be able to um, get them to you somehow, but yeah, there is that confession from Lyle once upon a time. He's terrifying. He's a really he is, scary absolutely. guy. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he's made many people freak out in real life. Poor Jesus Morris. Uh, when Jesus Morris met him, um, and um, I think he was smoking weed with a wee with Josh, and um, they got pretty stoned. And then, out of nowhere, Lyle turns up in his um, sassy goat girl head, um, and that was a bit too much for a poor little Chinese man, Jesus Morris. News that I'm I'm being serious with you. Something about you talking about Jesus Morris and and all that like scared me to my bones uh i don't know why that suddenly got so serious for me but uh what happened oh, I, 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 he's still, I think he's still alive okay I hope. yeah um but yeah that was but yeah that was a good um into introduction to um lyle for <laughs> jesus morris do you think there'll ever be a documentary about him? Who, Lyle? Yeah. Fuck, that would be incriminating. Um, yeah. Oh, well, you mean it might get him put yeah, in jail? Be... <sighs> well, yeah, it might put other people into a psych ward. Other people? For doing it. Yeah. Like who? It would... I don't know who ever plans on doing the documentary on Lyle. Bite. Okay. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he might have to. How good is the NHS um, mental health system? I don't know. He might end up at Broodmore or something. Mm. This is what happens when you get in too deep with some of these characters. It gets nasty. Yeah. And especially with Lyle, well, I wouldn't want to go there whatsoever. Museum, have you ever been uh, convicted of any crimes? Yeah. Would you be willing to share um, with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was a bit of a naughty boy, and I, um, I didn't know the consequences of drinking and driving. Um, because I don't know, I was from a pretty comfy suburban life. My dad was a cop. Um. Um, and actually used to teach the deer program. Um, 
and I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll just get a fine, but no, he had to go to court, and then I just got pretty fucked off about it with life, so I just started drinking for a whole week, and then ended up getting caught again, so got in a bit of trouble for that, but no, other than that, I'm a pretty good boy. Who is, and you can use like a code name or something, who is closest to Cobra right now? in terms of, like, field agents, whatever you want to call it? Um, uh, oh, there'll be a couple of fangirls that will be close at the moment. If there was going to be a, a a person who was really close to him, it would be a, a quote, fangirl. Yeah. Okay. As always. What, what yeah. do they do to get close to him? I think just be sincere. It used to be um, uh, you, all you had to do was, was be send some tits. Mm-hmm. But, um, I think that's uh, worn off. So now there has to be a lot more of a, a connection um, with um, the girls. But no, old, old mate's a bit sick at the moment. Do you still talk to Oprah? Um, yeah, heaps. Yeah. He's How's he been doing since uh, getting banned from Reddit? Yeah, he thinks it's fucking hilarious. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. We're still there lurking in the background. Um, typing away. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's good times. But yeah, dreams are fun. And um, as as Chris Angel says, um, <laughs> a lot of a lot of people follow dreams, but I follow nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but... I'll, I'll catch you later, mate. All right, Muse, thanks Cheerio. for coming on. See ya. God damn. Ooh. museum is something else he's in deep he's in deep and you know it's it's real exciting to interact with them and see what's going down but if there was a hierarchy a food chain of cobra people he is the the ancient cobra lick lich whatever it would be Undead, uh, elder god, got powers. Uh, you can hear it in his voice. The museum is spooky, all right. But I wasn't expecting to talk to <laughs> museum tonight. All right, real talk. Two thirty a.m. my time. We'll wrap this up. We'll wrap this up. People telling me to hang up. Yeah, that was a weird one. That was a really weird one. Uh, you want to you wanna learn what you can when you have that kind of opportunity. He must know a lot about Scrapper Steve. And for me, it's very important to know what you can trust versus just hearsay. I want evidence, but... Steve is a scary guy and he started touching on some stuff about him that sounded like it could have been real. I don't want to I don't want to believe it just right off the bat cuz it's disgusting, but uh, I've heard firsthand from credible people that uh, museum knows Steve really well. Really really well. Have Warlord and Scrapper Steve crossed paths? I'd love to know that myself. I don't know for sure. Two giga perverts in the same room? Anything's possible. Handling my shotgun while drunk. Yeah, that was Museum. Spooky guy. 
Full951. I recognize your name. I, th I think you've gone uh, other other aliases. No, thank you. Off to go piggyback his dad now. Yeah, that was weird. Museum's the kind of guy where I can't tell what is fluff and, and what's just to, like, make me uncomfortable and put me in a weird position and what is truth. It's probably, like, half and half. So that whole sequence is... I've heard stories from Muse before. He, there's only so much you can fabricate on your own without it coming to you organically, if that makes sense. He was talking to Cobra once in a stream. Basically, Courtney held a stream, like a stream yard thing, and uh, Cobra came on. I think Harbinger was on there, and then Muse came on. And eventually, everyone dropped off except for Cobra and Muse. I don't know at what point in the timeline it was Muse and Cobra, but it was pretty late, maybe like three quarters. And Muse talked about we're thinking about like a girl getting in a car crash. And he went into like really explicit detail of the collision and the bodies, and he was getting very excited. Uh, Muse may legitimately be a crazy guy. And he's kind of dealing with that. Uh, I just don't know with him when I uh, talk with him what to expect, what to believe. Deuces, everyone, says Doom Nuclei. I gotta hit the bed or I'll be up all night. Hit me up, Seizure, or I'll spam you. Great stream, take it easy. Nighty night. We're almost done here. We're about to wrap it up. I know I've gone on way too long as it is. I've been having too much fun. You might have been cursed by that call seizure. That's the feeling you get when you talk to museum. Mr. Kong asks, can I still call in? Yeah, dude, you can be our last call tonight. Easy. If you're still down. Uh, <laughs> I think I saw some text messages. Yeah. Kong, I'm going to try to call you. Hope you're up for it. That'll be our last call tonight. We'll wrap it up. It's been really enjoyable. I hope you guys had fun. I always think about making this a regular thing and then like... It's hard to describe, but this just ventures into a, a territory where... Uh, I think I'm just going to wind up embarrassing myself cumulatively. Hello? Is this Mr. Kong? Yes, yes it is. Hey, how are you? Doing good. Do I sound all right? Yeah, you sound fine. There's a little bit of an echo. I don't know if you have a speakerphone or anything like that, but it's not a huge deal. Yeah, I've got my headphones. Oh, you're fine. Well, uh, my, my theory is yeah. that Josh is the only way he is today because he has some deep-seated like trauma. What kind of trauma? The kind of trauma Susan does not like. Who doesn't like? Susan. Susan. Oh, is there uh, some kind of placeholder word that you can say? Sick of it. I'll say that. Okay. My theory is that, like, the whole magic is a coping mechanism for him because he's been sickoed and makes him feel better. Kind of like, you know, Chris Chan and the whole dimensional merge or whatever. Is he kind of a victim then of, of someone in his life that got to him? It, it, yes, I would assume that. Okay. Do you remember what happened with Chris Chan? Because I do. Yes, yes. He, his principal who made him get on his lap and he said some inappropriate things to him. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, that, that uh, set the mold for a long time. And Chris hid under his desk and wouldn't come out. Seems to be a, a trend, don't you think? I would say so. Uh, 
it's just because there's so few people that fit this archetype. Uh, I've, I've looked to Chris uh, just as a, a rough example of, of what may be the cause of these things. And you know, Josh's phobia of, of anything gay is uh, certainly parallel to Chris Chan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And especially the whenever Sasha was over, he said he was thankful or grateful that he didn't do anything to him while he was out of sleep. It's not a, a normal thing to say. <laughs> yeah. In any right. Did you catch the bit where Cool Taste said, hey, you can sit next to me, just don't uh, drug my drink? Oh, my God. I did, did not know. You didn't catch that? Oh, it's like a little bit, but... It was really spooky because it, it suggests that Warlord has been putting stuff in people's drinks. I uh, wouldn't put a past him. Yeah. He's horny. Yeah. Yeah. Horny little meth being. Pretty meth much. Bug. Yeah. He's, he's nasty. Uh, have you seen any NSFWs of Warlord so far? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 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 I'm uh I'm looking up. I was making fake Polaroids during a, a certain era, and I'm trying to find them right now. Um, I have a few. I have like one of Steve. He appeared in the little promo. But uh, did you hear about the stream that Steve was that appeared on a while ago? No, which one? It was some random IRL stream where he was just sitting there. Wearing his weird furry garb or whatever. <laughs> his shirt. Was it kind of almost like a fisheye lens of this weird bedroom and he, he crept in from like off screen? They were in like a park or something. Like oh. IRL streamer kind of thing. Well, uh, here, it, it'll take a second for it to actually hit the, the stream, but I'm just going to post a nice fake Polaroid of Warlord kind of looking like he has been starved for a long time. Uh, it's a very legitimate photo. He's wearing um, some kind of um, pro-choice set of underwear meant for women. But uh, mm -hmm. scary. Really scary. You'll have but, to look at that whenever I hang up. Yeah. So you were, you're trying to get in throughout tonight? Is that correct? Yeah, I was trying to get in earlier, and I had it 3557. It's a little... Oh, all right. See, we weren't even getting the Jeff Grubb voicemail. Just nothing. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm glad you got in. Only in team? Yeah. What, what are your takeaways from this stream tonight? If you were to offer any uh, things to do going forward, things you liked, any criticism? Uh, More Jeff. Oh, you like oh, Jeff? I'm a big Jeff fan. <laughs> That's good to hear. He was very unpopular when he first came. Where did the idea for him even come from? The name Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb wrote fictional... Uh, it would be like StarCraft and uh, Diablo strategy guides, as well as fiction. <laughs> and I, I love the name. It was Grubb with two G... Or, sorry, Bs. <laughs> and I thought that was great. And there's a um, personality who's like disgraced now, but he was called Tom Lycus. And he hated women and he had a really funny voice. And I kind of took notes off of him as a like uh, old radio personality that has no relevance anymore. He's stuck in the past. That's it, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it hitting your screen? Are you, are you able to see this, the stream right now? Uh, I've got it on my phone. Okay. Okay, I got you. It may be hard oh to see that. Oh, my God. Do you see it? You see Warlord? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, yeah. When I, this, I, I hope he doesn't mind, but this came from Byte. Uh, he's part of... Like of, of all the echelons that go deeper and deeper, he's he's pretty deep, and you wind up seeing stuff you don't like, and this is one of those things. Uh, it didn't have the the Polaroid quality; it was a normal ass picture, but.
but I I took it and, and ran with it and made this thing. It amazes me people still take these photos. Yeah. Nothing ever has good come from these photos. From well, photos of himself. He'll go further and, and do like X videos where Ooh, he's just yeah. having sex with people. It's disgusting. Yeah, I've heard I've heard of those. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. Rotten. 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 Warlord is probably one of the most disturbing characters in the Cobraverse by far. Definitely a sicko. He's a sicko. He is a sicko. Cobra needs to stop hanging out with him, Stad. Yeah. Who's your favorite well, Cobra Verse character? Goblin. Do you have a favorite? Cool taste. I don't know. Cool yeah, taste like is pretty that. good. Little blind boy. I don't like it when he throws cats, but uh, everyone yeah. has a yeah. Everyone's got their dark side. His is just has to do with cats. Yeah, something that makes them uh, detestable. Mm-hmm. A little bit. All right, dog. Well, you uh get all out of your system. Uh, I did. I did. Hell yeah! I think I'm about to wrap Shout it. Shout out to the Thunderdome. Shout out to Fat Baby. Oh, hey. All right. All right. Before I let you go. One. Thunderdome. What can you tell me about Thunderdome? It is a group of people that uh, watch or discuss a man by the name of King Cobra JFS. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And then <laughs> Fat Baby. Um... How'd you know about that? How'd you that know about baby. Fat Baby? What do you mean? Fat Baby, he's, he's a Thunder Domer. Is he? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. That's all I need to know then. Uh, yeah. I thought he just party, ran his own little club outside of that. Damn. All right, all right. I owe him a VHS a, tape. A peeker? A peeker? A peeker. Yeah, he calls his little Twitch people that. Oh. Little Twitch followers. I didn't know Fat Baby did uh, Twitch streams. Yeah. Fair enough. I've never heard his voice before. I just owe him a tape. I, I really owe him <laughs> a, a tape right now. And he made it clear I need to send it to him. And that's completely A OK. Sounds like you should get that, that mailed. I agree. I agree. I'm spooked. Yeah. He means business. You don't want to know what happens if you don't? No, I don't. I'm going to send him a cursed tape. It's going to be covered in sigils. Going to cast a circle of a a hex on it. Something like that, yes. I'm going to get some bad luck. Use your wand, your Cobecraft handmade wand. Eh, that... Unfortunately, I don't know anything about wands. I just work in archaic technologies. And uh, yeah, he's going to yeah. get one cursed tape. I'll guarantee that. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to sell it to someone afterward. He's going to pass it along. He'd like to stage with him, like a final destination. Man, no wonder he's so uh, eager to to get that tape. He, said, he sold it to someone already. I don't know <laughs> that for sure, but damn. Entrepreneur. Yeah, you could say that. I'll be making it. I'll be making it. I owe it to him. All right, all right. All right, fool. Well, Mr. Kong, it's been real. I I think I'm about to wrap up this dingus stream. Sounds good. Thank you. Anytime. Much love. Well, lots of love. I'll have to do this again sometime soon. All right, baby. You gonna go to gonna go bed after this? Gonna go beddy bye? Gonna go beddy bye? Yeah. yeah. Put on your little nightcap. Get your candlestick. Yeah. Got my, my onesie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Get the hell out. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. <sighs> Friends. It's been fun. One last pass. Over chat. Well, then it's at 2.40 my time. I know I've been calling uh, times over here 
over and over again, but this is the last one for real now. Gotta go to bed at some point, right? Let's see if I can actually get back in the chat. Doesn't look like it. Hang on. Lots of shout outs to the various Discord channels. That's interesting. I kind of like it. They're all in good behavior, really. Don't worry, we're gonna end the stream. I'm trying to get back into the creator studio so I can see the latest and greatest on chat before I shut it down. Ugh. Hang on. And then we'll end it for real. There we are. Okay, latest in live chat. Shout out from Ireland. Sunday morning. Hey. Back at ya. Boglum says the call-in streams are always great. Great to hear it. She says great stream. Thank you. I am Veruca. Excellent stream. Excellent chat. Excellent guests. Hell yeah. Thanks, Seizure. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night. Sweet dreams. Love the content and stream, Seizure. Thank you. Thank you. I aim to entertain. Keep you guys happy. And you may be dipping in and out from the stream, but as long as there's something going on when you're paying attention, I'm happy. Full nine, full nine five one. Wow. And the apocalypse regards count as zero the boat on that one. Danny Filth, catch you cool Cobras later. Had a great time. Good to hear. Have a great weekend. Says Breslin. Devolio asks, what was the track you played at the very beginning of the pre-stream countdown? I'll tell you. Let me review really quick. I know that some people go crazy wanting to know what they're hearing. Chances are it was Echo Droid Underground. If I were to try to remember offhand, Echo Droid is really good. I'm gonna make sure here. Did y'all like the CG in that one? I realized only after it was done rendering that I, I didn't like the like caddy corner angle of the clouds. It should have just been completely vertical. It, it would have been less nauseating that way if it was just completely up and down. <laughs> I've almost found the promo. One sec. song was okay yeah echo droid underground I'll put it in chat there you go yeah this should be up afterward i don't think we had any objectionable content that would cause me to just straight up take it down gendo asking where's chauncey he appeared but you're a little late lennon says another great stream seizure thank you i hope you had fun i hope this was a fun night for you guys hopefully working hard on the next big thing it's coming it's a big one. It's a real big one. Shout out to the chairman. What was the one from the end of the pre-stream? Asks Mr. Kong. 
Uh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> that was King Ass Ripper. Uh, goes for a drive. I'll play that on my way out. That'll be our outro, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll post a link. I'll at you. Yeah, Mr. Kong. Love that song. There you go. King Ass Ripper. You and your CGI women. See, it's a weird one. That's a weird dream to have, I'll admit. Uh, it's funny enough that, like, Catholic guilt would come into play because I think there was some kind of barrier in place that was like, well, you know what? You can't can't have a nasty dream about real women. Have some CGI women. Seizure, please shout out Wall Talker Dave's fan club official. Is that like uh, Van Wayward? Fart Cactus says, thank you for a rocking good time. You're very welcome. It's a rocking good time. Shout out to Museum Psychiatrist for letting him contact the outside world. Sometimes I do think that a uh, museum belongs in like a dungeon, just like Hannibal Lecter, with like a big uh, plastic wall with holes in it so you can talk to people on occasion who want to analyze them. He's a freaking nut. Seizure, do you have a Twitter? No, I'm afraid not. I'm an old man when it comes to a lot of social media. No TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, probably just to, to have more of a presence, it would do good for me to be on that stuff. But uh, no Twitter. The presentation is great, Seizure. Thank you. Came in at five hours. Damn, some of you guys came in late. Seizure your late night? Yeah, yeah, very late. We're about to wrap up here. Shout out from South Africa. Jeez. Another cursed Halloween stream that gets taken down. No, no. Listen, this is high stakes. You want to talk about high stakes gambling? <sighs> the thing I'm working on, if everything goes to plan, this is not... This is not anything that will ever be taken down. It's going to have audience participation. That's going to be up for you guys to see. N no taking it down. I'm sorry about last year. That was a disaster. King Ass Ripper was amazing. Yeah, we'll play us out with that. Seizure fell off. Eh... I went off the rails tonight, but I don't think I like completely lost it. Oh yeah, Reslin saying that the uh, music references are why people talked about uh, JP from Grandma's Boy. All right, fools. Let me see if I can get. Visual from earlier, and I'll play Fart Ripper, and we'll we'll just take ourselves out here. It was really fun. It was really really fun. I always keep prolonging it because I'm enjoying myself so much. Uh, but I know it has to end at some point, and eventually it's just not entertaining. But I really enjoyed myself. I'm going to do one last thing here, make sure everything is where it should be before we play ourselves out. And I think we're ready. Yeah, we are. We most definitely are. Friends, I'm going to keep this up. You can rewatch at your leisure. It's been so good. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thanks for sharing your conspiracies. Thanks for behaving. And I hope to see you again soon.
Keep your ears to the ground for a big announcement that's on its way. There's going to be some punishment. There's going to be some revenge. And there's some big money behind it, baby. Yeah. I'm feeling tired, my time's gone today You flirt with suicide, so sometimes that's okay I heard you say, I'm here standing hollow Falling away from me, falling away from me You're fading, that's when I would say and flirt with suicide, sometimes kill a pay. I can always say it's gonna be better tomorrow. Falling away from me, falling away from me. Beating me down, beating me, beating me down, down into 
to the ground, screaming so sound, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. Yes. Falling away from me is spinning round and round. Falling away from me is lost and can't be found. Falling away from me is spinning round and round. Falling away from me soon go down. Beating me down, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. Screaming some sound, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. As she black and road, perhaps to not come back to slay that phony cobra troll. I grin, the wind blows on my black within. I miss my gothic shack right on. The troll must pay the toll. One hand to grip my mighty wand, I spit upon your phony sky god lifted. My thoughts are my special blonde, I call out. Lightning striking like a cobra swift through the night. Oh, my rain cleansing Mother Earth of all her sorrow. Some homies on the way, scrapper sleep to join in for the sleigh. We ride on past homeboy Scotty's grave. 
to your path. From this I will not stray. That for me will learn to rule the day. That he believed that he could play. The real King Cobra. The mighty rain coming down upon us all. Thunder booming like a fiery cannonball. Lightning striking like a cobra swift through the night. We arrive at his place, the clock tower, I'll seal his fate. Through the gates, I see his face, a twisted shape, I draw my blade. It's time to end this devil's spawn, a worthy foe, an even match. I reach and draw my magic wand, the killing blow comes in a flash. No mighty rain coming down upon us all. Thunder booming like a fiery cannonball Lightning striking like a cobra swift through the night Oh my rain, it's the mother of the father sorrow Oh my rain, coming down upon us all Thunder booming like a fiery cannonball Lightning striking 